at the <laughs> Second World Conference of Peace and Light in the Dominican Republic, Bratzo received the title World Ambassador of Peace and Life by the Foundation 1A1 and its president, Dr. Angel. Ah. Uh, Dr. Angel. <laughs> That's his name. Sure it's not Dr. Angle? Right. Yeah. Depends on the, the spelling. Angle. And hell. It says angel, and I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> so what's his title again? World Ambassador to Peace and Light? And Light. Specifically Light. <laughs> so what you're looking at here is a showreel of all the light. I don't know what the fuck this guy is, yeah. but... Like, all the lives he's touched and all the miracles yeah. he's performed. There he is. Oh, nice. Oh, Look at that gaze, man. man. I'm cured already. They just tease you because you have to pay for it. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He doesn't give you the gaze. We don't give that shit away for free. Come on. Oh, look at him admiring all the... Uh... <laughs> The nations he's traveled and healed. He's such a dollar store um, Fabio. Oh, absolutely. Right? It's, it's like, oh, he couldn't quite get the real guy. So <laughs> he just looks really, He's a. he's got a strong gaze. And usually people cry. Look at that. Oh, my God. He's, he's healing the whole damn city. He's got a droopy yeah. thing going. You know, like the character Droopy the dog? Mm. Just kind of, hmm. Right. But apparently it's miraculous, so good for him. Yeah, the no. street fight's just ending throughout that entire... Right. right. Just, like, okay, well, upon this. So I thought it'd be nice to open with that. Yeah. A mm-hmm. couple of gazes. Absolutely. Couple of, hey, how you doing? That's... Guys, welcome welcome to our show here. Uh, my favorite guests. We have Jax Films and Eric from Comment Etiquette. Internet Comment Etiquette. Uh, cheers. The whole precise name. Cheers. Two of my favorite guests here together... <sighs> Can I ask for anything better? I have a void in my heart that had to be filled by some Hennessy, some cigarettes, and some sparkling rosé. Yes. So thank you guys, and thank you guys for coming here and joining us on this glorious Friday. Good job making it through the week to you guys and them as well. Yeah, here's to the weekend. And we're just here to have you know? a laugh, have have a couple of goofs, a couple of boofs. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you know what just... a boof is? Uh, a oh boof? yeah! <laughs> you know what a boof is? Oh, well, I'm gonna be boofing this later well, on. <laughs> let's, I have questions. So let's cheers to boofing, and we'll tell everybody about the boof. <laughs> to boofs. To, to boofs. You're gonna love this specifically, you, Jack. Oh, I'm excited already. Ooh. So you guys know about like the goofs and the spoofs and the gaffs. Naturally, it's your it's your specialty. So I saw this on the line. I saw this word boof. I was like, what the fuck? There's like a whole new. There's a whole new like. Uh, Piece of the puzzle that Wait, I didn't even know existed. A boof. B O O F. Exactly. Okay. Just making sure. And so I'm like, okay, what's this mean? And I look it up. It's not actually a word, but you found it on Urban Dictionary. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. The best. Which, which is the perfect place to define something like this. Apparently, and correct me if your definition is wrong, it's when you shove drugs up your ass, when you go to a rave or yeah. dance party, you boof it in. No, that's, <laughs> we're on the same page. That's accurate. How did you know that? Independently of this, yeah, Eric. you pick these things up through life, you know. Yeah, okay. You've been around the block. When you when you, you walk a mile in my shoes, you know that boof is just the beginning of the road, right, <laughs> Mister Boofs? Uh, they call me Mister Boofs. <laughs> they call me Mister Boof. <laughs> well, wow. we've got a couple of goofs and a boof. I'll be boofing all kinds <laughs> of shit later for charity. <laughs> yes, so, that's great. Tune in. <laughs> that's great. So that's my new favorite thing is a boof. It's a bit of a boof. Yeah, this whole episode is going to be a bit of a boof. <laughs> uh, before we get too deep, I want to thank our sponsors, Quip. Stitch Fix and Wink with a C. More about that later. And I also want to give a shout out to Ela, who isn't here, by the way. To Ela. Sh- cheers. Let's, I don't know. Should we spill it out? Like, well, yeah. We need like a patch of dirt or something if we're going to do Is that. It dirt? Just gonna... But she's not dead. No, well, I mean, <laughs> to catch it, because you don't fuck the table up. Or we can just drink it, you know. I spilled a little bit earlier, so count it. Oh, look at that. There, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, that's, that's for Ela. For Ela. I poured a little bit in a shot glass. She uh, had to go home for f- some family stuff. Oh. Hope everything's and she's all gone right. for two weeks. Two yeah. damn weeks. It's kind of, it's a rough. Oh, man. Her dad was diagnosed with lung cancer. Ah, oh, man. Looks like stage three. Ah, oh, sorry to hear so, that. So, and you know, it's, it, shit happens. Yeah. So she's there spending time with her family, and I'm here fucking trying to boof. Yeah, well, we'll move with you, buddy. We'll make sure you get She's with your fam, and we're your fam today, okay? Cheers. I love you guys. Hey, love you, man. I need you guys today more than ever. Cheers. Boof. So, speaking of Hila, and I have a boof there for you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. God, we were prepared. We've got, like... Too much liquor. Too much stuff going on. You know, I I want to talk about Hila, but uh, I seen these cigarettes here, and I'm like, before the show, I don't know what's wrong with me. Hmm. Every time we start this show, I have to shit. It's a I, trigger. It's, it's fucked a, like up. a like a natural like 
when you go to the movie theaters, I always crave a cherry coke. You know? Okay, and it's one of those like you know you you have to <laughs> right. do it's the same thing, same yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I, like I think I the analogy the cherry coke. is perfect. Yeah, absolutely. So it's it's one of there are other examples too. I, I'll think about it forty minutes into the podcast yeah. when we're talking about something completely different. Absolutely. Like, oh, another one, and you guys will be like, Jack, <laughs> shut the fuck up. But um, yeah, it's just a it's a natural biological thing where it's like you have to do it. You have that though, where it's like. Not not about cherry cokes and stuff, but specifically about shitting, mm-hmm. because it's so. I don't know what's with the body and poop. Like I'll poop in the morning every time because I'm like, I cannot go through this again. And I'm like, we're gonna be smoking, we're gonna be drinking. Mm-hmm. If I don't shit now, I'm gonna shit my pants during yeah. the show. You don't want to shit your pants during the show. Yeah. I mean, what if that did happen though? Like, what would we do? Like, it makes if you obviously shit yourself, they wouldn't know at home, but me and Jack would know. <laughs> well. Your viewers we, would say there'd be yeah. some weird looks maybe back and forth. I don't know if we could contain right. that. I don't know if we could. It would get out. I don't people know. at home would know yeah. you shit yourself eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you guys could just be classy about that. Yeah. And I wouldn't tough. want you to. I would, I would, me and Jack would be like texting each other and we would right. just look rude. Like, but like, really, we're like, dude, dude you fucking like, literally smell shit himself right? right now. Like, that's not just me. Yeah. Well, I would blame it on Eric. People would buy that. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I have shit myself right now. It's <laughs> right now. Currently shitting. Good way to do that, actually. As, I don't know. Do you have like poop triggers? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same as uh, what you were just describing. I think whenever you're about to get out of the house and do something, you yeah, know, yeah, right, right. your body's like, "Well, <laughs> one second, yeah, yeah. can we <laughs> we huddle up real quick and right. talk about yeah. what we need to do?" Well, shitting is so obnoxious because it's like with pissing, you feel it coming. You know that you got to do some shit. You and take get care ready. of it, and it's done. Right. Not but just, shitting so. can creep up on you. Anytime. And then you're incapacitated no. for X number of minutes. Yeah. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. I'm still reeling from that one. Well, anyway, we were a little late to the start on Twitch. So if you guys, had those shit. I just, I was sitting here, yes. I was ready, I was feeling confident, and I was like, I'll be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> and they were coming in, I was going out. You know, there's nothing like sitting on a public toilet yeah. and shitting your brains out, knowing that there's thousands of people waiting for you. Yeah, so you, if I'm ever late, that's what happened. Yeah, he's shitting. Yeah, I'm uh, shitting. when you're when you're shitting in public, do you <laughs> stop shitting if somebody walks into the bathroom? Yes, generally. I I like that. I do the same thing. I I always wonder what it is about people that they just like fucking don't care. Like they just keep going. If I walk into a right. public bathroom and someone's taking a shit, I envy those people. I expect oh my them God. to so, keep quiet. You know, how so how can you? You know, you're so yeah. empowered. You yeah. Know? I have Usually, trouble at a urinal. I'm like, oh, man. Oh, man. Gonna, I, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I shy peer. I'm no, a shy me peer. Too. Always have been. I have severe stage fright. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody walks in next to me, for the most part, I'll just... I, it's so bad, I'll sit there and pretend, like... Yeah, yeah. I'm contemplating. Mm-hmm. I'm taking my time. Right, you gotta close your leave. eyes. Yeah. Waterfalls. And then what yeah. happens when you have two shy peers next to each other? It's oh. like a fucking standoff. That's what yeah. you call um, uh, eternity. That's that's <laughs> right, what that right. is. That's like a four four blondes at a, uh, a four way intersection, right. four way stop. Right. That old I, joke. I always wait them out. I always win that game of chicken. Well, if it gets real, like, I'd be here all yeah. day, buddy. Yeah. Right. Better finish up. <laughs> right. Right. Because you're not hearing anything out of it's this. It's a standoff. <laughs> it's humiliating. Yeah, of course. You know? Oh, it's it's one of the worst feelings in the world. But what you do if they take too long? You just slowly turn to them, right? And you go, just with it out. Yeah, you're yeah, just yeah, yeah. and you just stare at yeah. them like. I like that. It's a game of chicken. It's, you dominate. You get your alpha back. Ooh. You can't okay. pee, but you get your alpha back. Right. And that's, just, and that's what matters. Yeah. Who cares if you didn't empty your bladder? <laughs> right, yeah. I, right. I bite them on the neck, right in the nape. Ooh, that's so good. So they know that I'm daddy. That freaks, okay. that freaks yeah. <laughs> That's a little further than I went. I carry them out of the bathroom. <laughs> well, do you want to be the alpha or not? I guess there's, al- al- there's levels of alpha I didn't realize. Yeah. Step it up, man. Yeah. Do you ever do this where... You'll go to the bathroom and it's just way too awkward that you'll actually be standing at the stall and you'll completely leave the bathroom without peeing. Yeah. Um, that is the fucking well, I don't know if that's <laughs> that, I've done no, that. No, I've definitely, <laughs> I've, I've cucked that low for oh, sure. Oh, I was like, mm-hmm, I did my business. Oh, and I just walk so out all bad. stiff-legged. It, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Go and stare at yourself in the mirror for 20 seconds <laughs> and then just leave. Yeah, pretty much. Everybody I don't pissing is like, far. what the fuck is that? Is <laughs> Yeah, uh, but people who talk while shitting, like, I, I've told this story on the podcast before, no. but just no. to give you guys the Reader's Digest, because it happened to me in this office, mm. I was absolutely fascinated by it. Mm. Fascinating. <laughs> I can't say fascinating <laughs> what anymore. What the fuck was that? We have a soundboard. Oh, my That's God. Awesome. Yeah, I love That's it. awesome. There's one button. It's just fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> um, that was a nice open, too, you know? Really. Yeah, I was like, damn. 
And he nailed it. Okay, so yeah, this, so this I, happened here. I go in. I'll give you the short one because a lot of people probably heard this. I go in. I'm sitting at the stall. They don't know I'm in there. They come in. They're talking. Dude, th- one dude's at the urinal. One dude's in the shitter. They're talking the whole time. Nope. Dude is blasting ass at 10. 10 Damn. volume. How can you maintain a conversation? Doesn't miss a beat. <laughs> they boyfriends. finish at the same time. They're boyfriends. They fuck. They were yeah, talking about they fuck. Yeah. They finish at the same time. Dude doesn't wash his hands. They leave together and they're all good. And they moved on with their life. Doesn't wash his one hands. One peed, one pooped Different. at the same rate and left together. I, my best friend in the world, I wouldn't do that with him. You Absolutely know, like that's, not. That's a level of friendship that that surpasses any that I know of. That's like army shit. Were yeah, they, that is army <laughs> shit. Yeah. They were in the shit. Yeah. Yes. Were they Pun old intended. men? Were they old? Yeah, they were They were middle age. They weren't from that generation. It's always that. That's why. That's it, why, because m- millennials. But, you know, like, we, we wouldn't do that. I can see. I think when we're that age, we might. You yeah. think so? I think when we get into just like our 40s less and our 50s, when you get older. we're going to be that guy talking on the phone while shitting. I kind of hope, hope so. so. That's Fuck my ambition. Yeah, jinx, man, for sure. Yeah. For sure. But these are the guys who you go into the gym and they're the dudes who uh, are just there. Naked dick all the time. Out. Yeah. And they'll just look I, at you. See, that I, don't, I don't get that. I don't get that at all. I, I'll, 70 years old, I'll never do that. Well, I hope not. But I mean, you know what I mean? Like, no, I, I don't, don't think get... you will. It's a generation yeah. thing. These kids used to shower together at the gym naked. True. True, true. And they'd have the gym teacher so being like, So they don't like, think anything of it, whereas we're, yeah. <laughs> right. We don't do that. No. Because yeah. it's fucking weird. But they they would make doors you. doors on stalls back then. What's that? They, they didn't have doors on stalls. Oh, right. <laughs> just open, it was a really open, open society. Yeah. It was just like. Right. I mean, back then they would make you. Sh- it was like this whole masculinity thing. They'd be like, "You have to get naked and shower with your friends, or you get a nap." Is that real? Dan, look that up. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, look that up. Somebody look that up. I'm sorry. No, you're right. It's real. That's real. I want to believe. I want to. Uh, that's what I've I heard. Believe. Yeah. They were hard just back the whole then. Camaraderie you know. thing, you know. Yeah. Just to tighten the the bond of brotherhood. Right. Nuclear war was right around the corner. And they yeah. Were just like here's my dick. Yeah. For mm. some reason, bathing suits were so much bigger. Mm. You know. You know. That well, does, that's what wasted world. You see what I see? You see? That's yeah, an exactly. inverse. That's what you call an inverse relationship. <laughs> if you ask me. So anyway, what, what the fuck's the point of this? Where are we? We were talking. Oh yeah, I was talking <laughs> about Teddy Fresh. So and I just want to say, give a quick announcement here. That Teddy Fresh Elis clothing line is getting close, guys. Ew. Teddy Fresh Woo! official. This is just a, a basic shirt. The crazy shit she's working on, she hasn't really shown yet. But I think by the end of this month, early next month, we are going to be jamming. That's awesome. This is Teddy Fresh official on Instagram. I'm super excited. Send your love and wonderful thoughts to the Ela cloner, dubbed by you, Eric, Ela cloner. Mm. Uh, oh, did I? I think so. Hey, I'll take it. Well, during nice. your clone segment, and maybe it was the Twitch chat. It might have been an offset of that. I don't <laughs> think I'm that clever. If I buy Teddy uh, Teddy Fresh? You don't have to buy it. We'll send you everything, both you guys. Well, yeah. can, you ha- can you hand deliver it to me at my address? <laughs> Either and then guarantees it. it. Yeah. Cool. cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'll dox the hell out of you, buddy. Please do. Absolutely. <laughs> it's yeah. an absolute guarantee. Um, and uh, just another announcement before we get too deep into this. Oh, look at this. The... Raffle and charity giveaway is still live. We're going to wrap it up. We decided next, or this coming Tuesday, we're at 233000 Guys, Woo. listen to this, okay? God damn. Fucking listen. If we get to $250,000, mm-hmm. me, Justin, and Alex are going to sm- are gonna wrap Skippy's belly button lint and pubes into a blunt and smoke it. Ew. <laughs> that was Justin's idea. <laughs> Oh no! Not Listen, surprised. All right, this do it. weekend we need two fifty. <laughs> we will make an H three video of us smoking a blunt of Skippy's belly light. Oh. it's yeah. Justin's like, all right, I'm not going to inhale it though. Look, I'm the doctor, but pussy. I don't, I, Have you I, seen that I, shit? Um, you want to smell it? He, it's here. Ian, can you bring in the lint, please? Oh my god! All right, get, pour, all right, give me the Hennessy. <laughs> give me that okay, shit. I, I need a. So guys, uh, get on those donations. Yeah. Jesus, Howard Stern ain't got shit on this. There's two. Oh my god. So oh, uh, he's packaged god. it. He's now, packaged I, it. If I remember correctly, his reason for doing this was that. <laughs> what the fuck I'm was good. his reason for doing this? He was some kind of part of his missionary work. Oh, okay. So they collect part, something. He had to do a daily ritual or something. Yeah. And so. Am I going to throw up if I smell this? By the way, this didn't get a lot of bids. I was saying, yes. <laughs> I will politely yeah, pass. Yeah. I. I 
I will. I'll just you know believe you guys. How much if like somebody hell. donates it for you to smell? Say that again. Somebody donates. How much? What's that threshold that you'll sniff that? Twenty five bucks. Fuck 20, no. Twenty five dollars. I love you. You're cheap date. <laughs> if someone donates, oh god. If someone donates, you can be as high as you want. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. But if someone donates, like. Five thousand dollars. Oh fuck off! Notch, Notch, are you watching? <laughs> Five grand. <laughs> because oh come on, that's rancid. How about a thousand? One thousand, sure, okay. sure. One thousand. Yeah. Eric for twenty five. Twenty five. Hey. <laughs> hey, you want to smell? 20, it. Wait, wait, yeah. twenty five dollars, not twenty five hundred, just twenty five. I was just yeah. about to do it for free. <laughs> I'm gonna do. It. I'll do it with you. Yeah. At least look at it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take yeah, a look. Yeah. I want to know what I'm gonna. I mean, sell I'm looking at it right now, right? We bit, we raffled off all these great. Now you have to take a close look at it. It's God like the it. most. It's like a nug of weed. Yeah, it's it, seriously a nug of it weed. Looks, that's and what it looks like. And instead of dank, like you know how there's like red tendrils, it's pubic hair. Oh my god! I swear. And you guys are trying to sell this. <laughs> well, Skippy valued it at twenty five hundred dollars. And who's I? I missed the start of this. Whose is this? <laughs> Skippy, like, the virgin, the thirty four year old virgin. Okay. okay. You know, yeah. I I can't believe there's not like any witches out there. Who need this for like a spell? Like, you don't know the that. Belly button lint of a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Who says our art, man? It's true, but uh, well, I mean, I still have it. So they're not bidding yeah. on it. The witches, but we all signed council it. Council needs to know about this. We all signed it, That's so nice. it's still available if you guys want to. Yeah, I like that. It's in a Christmas tree. I'd like to buy it, but can you dump the lint out and send me the signed uh, container? <laughs> I'll let you. Oh God, just just cast your eyes on that. But doesn't it look like a nuggy, like a Bizarro nugget? It smells like lunch. Get your nose in there. Oh my god! Doesn't smell like anything. Okay, your your chance. It smells like it just, pieces of clothing that became lodged fine, in someone's fine. belly button. Pe- yeah. Thousand dollars. Somebody owes us now. Put your get your nose in I there. I did, man. That's great. No, that's great. Yeah, that's real, actually not not as bad as I real anticipated. Dank. Really, I feel nauseous just with. A, I don't it, know. It's me, more it's, of like, yeah, you when you describe the, it. the pubes and stuff? Oh, yeah, I see it all. It's it's when you describe it. Yeah. That's when I start getting... <laughs> yeah. The idea there of it is. smells better. Yeah. Or it's worse. The, the idea the of idea, it smells thank worse. You. That's it. That when you actually stick your nose in it. Uh, you yeah. guys are... Yeah. Just don't think about it. Can I get... Can you get somehow... It smells a lot better than my belly button lid collection. Oh, that's it does sure. it? Yeah. yeah. How's your collection looking these days? Well, I got I got like a like a rupture, so... Oh, God. It's a bit of a smell. Yeah, it's got it's some bit smell of a stink. to it. Uh, so this is available for for buying. This is available for purchase. Sign me up, man. It's available here on. So guys, I'm really counting on you. Two hundred fifty thousand. Come on. You're so close. You are so close. That is seventeen. <sighs> not even seventeen grand away. Yeah. All right, that's possible. You're gonna hit it for sure. Till til Tuesday. So? Yeah. This Tuesday. Well, I want to shoot it this weekend. Okay. Um, are you gonna put actual weed in the blunt or is absolutely it just... not? I need, I need a pure. <laughs> absolutely experience. not. <laughs> I need a pure. Oh I love that's where you draw uh, the line. No, you know the- <laughs> that's illegal. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, All right. So anyway, I'll check back in on those donations. <laughs> um, that is horrific. Mm-hmm. So, um, God, it was so weird. You know, I'm gonna have a cigarette. There you go. The thing was like, I need to shit so that I can smoke. Because mm-hmm. I don't know you. You've never smoked. Not really. I'm, I may have dabbled in like one or two cigarettes in my life, but it's not really. No. I'm, I'm a drinker. Being You're in the same room, with I compensate me and Ethan. for my lack of smoking. With well, I drinking. do both. You do, and that's fine too. Um, I literally for everyone who's crying at home. Oh, Ethan's gonna die. Oh, I love those. Comments. The last time I had a cigarette was was with this guy. Yeah. Yo. So if anyone's gonna <laughs> die, it's him. <laughs> I'm fine. No, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm live forever. I got my stem cells on record, bitch. <laughs> Remember, kids. Smoking kills, all right? They'll just clone me. Boys Don't r- do it. There are healthier ways to live. Boys roll. <sighs> Girls drool. This is the sausage party. Yeah. This is the boys club edition. The drunkest podcast yet, and we're only about 20 minutes in. Absolutely. This is our own version of um, um, Hi Gets Dug, or what's that, what's that one called? Uh, yeah. I, I yeah, always fuck that name up. Well, because yeah. it's written, like, confusing. Getting Dug yeah. with High. Thank yeah. you. That's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. Yep. They this have a is, new show. Some this sort is of... getting boofed. <laughs> 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 Hitting Ethan with boof. I've been boofing yeah. an e-cigarette this entire time. That'd, okay. that'd be the, the best boof ever. Yeah. You <laughs> Taking puffs as we speak. Yeah, I keep moving the chair up and right. down to activate it. Love that nicotine uh, rush. Can we get a tight, <laughs> tight shot of uh, Eric boofing? <laughs> Real so anyway, I, I Ubered over here yeah. by myself. Mm-hmm. It's the first time I've ever Ubered by myself. No I shit, really? very first time. It oh, was very weird. I do it all the time. How'd you like it? Did you like it? Well, it was weird. Yeah. 
Because yeah. Did you like try to make conversation with the driver? No, I hate that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't want to hear anything from them. Yeah. Anything. Ever. I mean, right? One of my worst, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just real quick, one of my worst Uber experiences was when um, I, uh, oh, you know, the, the Uber driver sh- shows up. I open the uh, back door to get in the Uber. The driver says, oh, no, 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 come come sit up, uh, come sit in the passenger seat. Uh, Whoa! So that's how I knew I was in for a ride. You'd be like, ah, I'm fine back here. Yeah, and you see, I should have said that. I'm too, like, passive. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that either. I think yeah, like, we're from cloth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we are too. We're so both. we're too like, yeah, we're shy peers, and we both like when a, when an Uber driver tells us to sit up in the passenger seat, we do it. So I did, and he just fucking talks my. And it was like a forty. It wasn't a short ride. It was like from downtown LA to North Hollywood, and it was like a forty minute drive. And this guy just talked and talked about God knows what. I'll never remember. But right. he was a very he was a chip. It was like ten at night or eleven, and right. everyone's tired. I'm tired, and he just no. He wanted to have a conversation. Mm. So. I totally get it, like the whole, hey man, just just do your job. I don't really want to have a conversation. You can never say that, though. It's the rudest thing ever. Oh, of course. No, you're Sadly. asshole number one. Well, but... if you're in the front, you could always just reach and turn the volume of the radio up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, drown him out. Wow. That's the equivalent of like putting up the, the screen yeah. like in a, in right. a limo, like yeah. you see in movies all the time. That's not rude. No, nah, yeah. In a limo, it's expected. So you get that snobbiness yeah. comes with the ride. Hey, I'm going to I'm gonna jack off back here. Yeah. Don't look, okay? Don't. <laughs> That's one way to shut him up. So so you're not used to that, riding alone. Well, actually, he was quiet. He was respectful. Hey, here's the thing that I don't get about Uber drivers that, that talk to you. Because they usually come at you with, like, a set of stories. Yeah. And it's like, do you tell the same story? Like, you'll get in a car, and they'll tell you their life story. They'll tell you about the wife. They just got a divorce. They're working mm. for work. It's like, do you tell this to everybody? Because I'm not That's that receptive. Right. Yeah. That makes not, yeah. I'm not inquiring. I'm not digging for more information. No, no, they just give you this straight up. Yeah. You know, you're just trying to get to a Ralph's and then they start giving you the life story. Right. You know? Is it a str- <laughs> I'm like, listen, if you want therapy, this is gonna, Every, you're going to have to pay right. me for this. Every customer they pick up. Yeah. Maybe they what if they're all actors and this is their like uh, this is their rehearsal. This is their script and they're just trying to like perfect their life story or they change it every time. They change up their story every time. Yeah, that's not what's happening. No, not at all. I'm reading way too deep in it. Uh, but it's it's nice to dream. Because because the reality is too sad. The, out, the reality of it is really sad. I'm on the other side. I, I asked them. Uh, I'm Talk like, to me. how's your marriage? <laughs> <laughs> I said, how's your marriage? Sure Going you well? Sure you do. I see you have a, a pale spot on your finger where a wedding ring used to be. Wow. Care, care to divulge, yeah. sir? How, sure how is she? She already right? lost level of observation. Uh, right, yeah. right, right. Like, I can tell by the scratches on your <laughs> steering wheel that this right. is normally <laughs> driven by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Did you win some sort of settlement? Or... I wonder oh. if there's like... Um, Uber drivers probably shoot the shit about bad passengers who who do that. They have to at yeah. the annual Uber convention, the VidCon yeah. for Uber drivers. Right. Absolutely. It's a hoot. Yeah. The the like the stuff I like to hear is uh like celebrity passengers. I got a bunch of friends who yeah. drove for Lyft and Uber just to like after work. On yeah, the way make home. a make a buck. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they oh, make some serious? beer money and shit. Oh, oh, yeah. That's really interesting. Oh, it's oh, a great yeah, way that's to... a thing. I know oh, like, wow. I got friends who do that too. Yeah, somebody got Courtney Love. In their in their wow. Uber, and uh, she didn't like the song that was playing on the radio. <laughs> was it her what? song? Bazinga. No, it wasn't. It wasn't her song, and I don't think he recognized her until like after. Um, but I forget what the fucking song was. So to it's be probably, fair, it's probably for the best because I don't yeah. want to have Courtney Love I don't think hit I, me up and be like, I never did that. Yeah, I mean, like her voice is so scratchy. I don't think I would recognize her if I bumped into her on the street. Can you change no. the music? <laughs> I don't. Like. Sorry. <laughs> Come again. No. I'm gonna roll up the window. Don't look. I'm <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> it's a regular car, but this big fucking divider they, comes can up. Can they bring back dividers, please? I feel like that's such a bygone yeah. era. Can we have them in regular cars? Yeah, like right. Tesla. I feel Elon. like we're not like Tesla. <laughs> Elon? Oh, Elon Musk, get right. on that. We need one between the passenger, yeah. the uh, shotgun. Elon waiting for the dividers. Elon, I give you a lot of flattery on the show. Can we please get a divider between the shotgun and the driver? You kind of owe it to listen. Him. Ian. I'll Elon. be like, listen, Eric. I'm gonna jerk off. Don't look. <laughs> Just clear glass. I'll be like, oh, I was gonna say. Clear it. glass. <laughs> like it's not even tinted. <laughs> or, look. or one way, it's just no. It's yeah. just a window. There's holes in it. You can hear me. I've got like a dry erase marker. I'm just like drawing <laughs> stuff on. You. Elon, where the fuck are you? Come on, Elon. <sighs> so what else is going on with you guys? How's everything? You were in. Uh, you were on vacation recently. I was, so, yeah. So we just had a, a nice little nine day vacation in Ireland and then London, mm-hmm. and it was. Awesome. It was just, I, 
I just want to say it's so much better over there than it is here. We should all just <laughs> oh. move. We should all just pack up our things and just move to the UK. Soon they'll be building a wall. I mean, I don't blame them. It's yeah. just, I, you know. But uh, okay, so, okay. Long story short, just a lot of beer, beer, Guinness, and beer, and it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. But the highlight, and we peaked early. You know, this was like on night two of nine of our vacation. Right. But we were in some tiny little local bar in Donegal, Ireland. You know, this quaint. Adorable, awesome town in Ireland. And then these um, fans come up um, in the bar, and they're all these young kids. They're like 18, 19 years old, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um, and it's like their last, I, yeah. So they they come in, it's all like, hey, 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 a lot of that. You know, we're buying shots and rounds and stuff. And then the night goes from great to incredible Whoa. when they're like, hey, um, we're going to go back to, you know, one of the guys' places and watch the Game of Thrones season finale. Holy. You want to come with? Meanwhile, hours before, Aaron and I were trying to figure out how we're going to watch Game of Thrones because in Ireland, you know, oh, HBO Go is not the same. There are all these different, um, you know, regional blocks and shit. So we look at each other, not even a second's thought. Hell yes. So we go back to this stranger's house, get pizza and wine, and watch Game of Thrones with, like, a bunch of these people we just met at a bar. And, like, anywhere else, that could that would never happen in the U.S. Only in Ireland. <laughs> the, that Irish hospitality. That was the coolest night on our vacation. And then, you know, like that, it was just kind of downhill from there. Right. But, uh, <laughs> no, but we had a lot of, uh, sorry, long story short, life is better in Ireland. And shout out to those people. You what guys are the names? You got ass. names? Oh man, don't, I got, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, put, what are the names, uh, Jack? Lucky, now I'm a fucking dick. Lucky, uh, what is, what is stereotypical Irish names? Uh, lucky. That's all I got. <laughs> lucky. <laughs> lucky? Really? Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Shout out to those guys, man. Uh, what, what champs. What Cheers, champs. Uh, yeah. Yes to you, Lucky. Yeah, yeah I, what a terrible guest I am. I didn't pour you shit. Um, but well, yeah. you know what? Jack was like, oh, I'm going to bring a bottle of Henny. I'm like, oh, bitch, I'm going to bring a bottle of Henny. That's what I like to see. Yeah. That's what I like to fucking see. It's going to be a long day, my Woo! friends. Or a short one. And I boofed some yeah. smack before walking in here, so I'm really on cloud you know, nine. It goes quicker in the bloodstream that way. Yeah. You that's know? what my doctor that's said. That's why they boof, right? <laughs> What my doctor say? recommends boofing. It yeah. doesn't harm your lungs. I'd like to say yeah, you should boof that. <laughs> hey, hey, Eric, you ever thought about boof? I know you have a, a drug problem. Yeah. You ever think <laughs> about boofing that? <laughs> <laughs> it's healthier alternative. It's like that <laughs> South Park episode where they uh, right. shove shit up. Yeah. <laughs> that was the original boof. I'll tell it you what. It really it. was. It really was. If we drink all that uh, Hennessy, this will be the last podcast ever for <laughs> any of us. Yeah, let's not do that. Sounds like a challenge to me. Well, we have yeah. three crew members here. Well, do you have any Pepsi mm. to mix it with? Yes. Henny and Pepsi? Henny yes. and Pepsi. Yeah, you, you never had old... Eat! Pepsi Henny? Sorry. Pepsi? That was... Oh. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to shout in the mic, guys. I, I... Pepsi Henny. People complain when I shout, so I have to do it like this. Eat! <laughs> Get the damn Pepsi in here. That's all right. The audio correct it later in post. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Just go back. It was minute 35 in your, you know, three-hour podcast. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Just a note for the editor. Yeah. And and Ian, would you lower the damn volume of me shouting at you too? <laughs> <laughs> so you That'll guys, you guys getting slammed by the demonetization monster? I know there's been like a round. I just got real fucked by that. You really? But thankfully, cheers by the way to oh, the yeah, booth. Yeah. To the booth. To the booth. Yeah, I got boofed into my own demonetization. Hmm? Really. That's a deep metaphor. Can you unpack that? Um, Can you unpack I got, that out of your booth hole? I got shoved up my own channel's asshole to see what it looks like when uh, okay. I go to the parts I that's some portal shit, man. Can't make right. money from. <laughs> Still uh, confused. So what? What percentage of your videos now? Like ninety percent. Ninety percent. No way. Are you? What? Can you rebuttal? Uh, yes. Re- okay. I, I uh, sent what? What the fuck is it called? It's a uh, uh, appeal. Repeal. That's uh, it. That's yeah. the word I meant to say. Or appeal. Appeal. What appeal. did I say? A repeal. Re- repeal. We I like repeal. repeal. That sounds yeah. right. Repeal it. Replace it. This is the yeah, Hennessy the podcast, everybody. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah, got yeah. the words. Oh, my God. Ian, you know I don't drink straight Coke. What? No, I only drink no Pepsi? Diet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he said Pepsi, Henny. Can you please get the Coke Zero in the fridge? I mean, I don't understand why I have to ask you. <laughs> but my boy Eric does, right? This is... <laughs> I love Ian. He's a, he's actually incredible. He does so much for us. Oh, yeah. I, I say that know. because I have to, but he's a real nightmare. That, oh, yeah, no, I, 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 one look at him, you can tell. You can tell. He's actually amazing. Yeah, don't be mean. You're going to get demonetized. <laughs> so uh, I made a pact with the devil. I don't get demonetized. Really? I don't know can what I that get his means. Number well, now? you did. Or, well, weren't we Thank talking you, about the, the... Hey, Ian. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, we're good. I, I appealed them all. Uh, it's still, yeah. like, it yeah. was at 90%. And I guess, like, I, I don't know what the fucking... I haven't been keeping up with how this shit works. So I just woke up one day, and I noticed that all of my... 
green money icons had yeah, turned, turned yellow. yellow. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh. And then uh, I tweeted about it. And then Adam from Your Movie Sucks hit me up on Twitter and was like, hey, by the way, you can appeal all those. Yes. And I was like, oh, and okay. well, that's great to hear. Because yeah. most likely it will all or most of them will yeah. be reversed. I've been getting cool. emails like every day since then where like four will be approved for ads again and then another four won't. Hmm. Okay. So, okay. So here's the scary part about this. That was basically those were all already de- all demonetized since the apocalypse. As I oh. understand it, they only just now are giving us the option to mm. appeal them. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Which so if anything, I mean I don't want to assume too much but if anything wouldn't that be a plus like it now is. you're being alerted you're being told <laughs> yeah. so they were already it's demonetized a, or yes. monetized or whatever um but it's now a they're huge like, plus yeah. shit okay. let a brother know damn i yeah. know i know but i, I think i did hear <laughs> I, phil franco may have brought this up too but this is like a while this was at the beginning yeah the the advent of the apocalypse right um months and months ago but um okay so at least at least you know. I'm at like more 50% now. That more 50%? Yeah. Well, I, I think you're doing well because now you know. I right. mean, like, it's not like you were yeah. suddenly hit with this unmonetized button. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like that, which is why there was like a new wave of panic this past of couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. But of course. But it was actually just them. Again, as always, YouTube doesn't know how to. Their PR They're... is like off the chain. Man. Yeah. They're boofing like all day. <laughs> if they were a TV network. Oh boy, they'd be great. They'd, they'd get sued a lot. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> is it? This is a kind of an interesting question. Are we as creators entitled to something from them? Well, no. We're at we're mm, at their mercy with all yeah. things, and yeah. we do what we do because it's fun and it's what we've always wanted. Well, a to lot do. of us right. make a living from it. Though. Yeah, yes. that too. Yes. Um, but uh, we we got to see who's able to pivot. Uh, right. To like with the podcast, you guys have sponsors. Like that yeah. cannot be demonetized. No. Right. Right. Um, and you got Patreon, which a lot of people depend on now. And right. YouTube. Uh, you have a ad- Patreon, right? Yeah. Shout out to Eric's Patreon. Shout out to Eric's Patreon. Shout out. What up? Um, what is I'll, the I'll URL? get some good stuff on there one of these days. What's the URL? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash commenticate. Get in there and help your boy out. Yeah. And, Please. Um, He's worth it. It's like a buck. One doll hair. A dollar. A dollar? Give me a dollar. Hook this brother up, guys. Please. That ain't nothing. But yeah, I mean, it's a good question because we're like, if you compare it to like cable television, you have people making content and they depend on it. They're right. making their living there. Right. And I know it's it's kind of this new shit, right? Like we're all on YouTube making a living and depending on it. And I know it's just a platform and we all sign like a user agreement when we sign up. Mm-hmm. But at a certain point, do they owe us something? Nah, I don't think so either. That's that's the sad part. Yeah. Is, is that uh, you can't feel entitled to anything that right. you're. That's the danger of it. You're a getting lot of people do and they don't realize. No. Yeah. When YouTube first started, they yeah. didn't give people shit. Yeah. Like it was just it was a place a to. It was a upload. place to upload your yeah. cat videos and 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 your sketch your sketches. But back right. back then, people just made sketches because it was fun. Getting popular was good enough. Right. But right. when it turned into a career, it does suck to depend on something. And yes. have the floor fall out from underneath you. Know, you. Oh my God! This adpocalypse was way worse than anything I ever anticipated. Because like me mm. and Ela were always like, well, you know, even if our channel dies and everyone stops watching, like we'll still get like a certain amount of natural revenue coming right. in, right? But that will sustain us. But like when that shit hit initially, yeah, we lost like ninety percent of yeah. our revenue. That's and it atrocious. Was, it, was in, yeah. it was it was mind bending. Yeah, because it's like who knows what you had planned. Like, it, it really, yeah, yeah, of course. It's really nice to know your, what your, your income's going to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah. if you go, you know, as many months as you have gone, you can predict it's what still you'll a make fucking this? surprise. Right. Like, <laughs> that's, that's we're, shitty. We're always like, well, worst case scenario, even in the event of an ad plug, we'll make this much. Right. But it was way less. It was way yeah. mm-hmm. And it hurts, it fucks the most people up, channels like you. Or it's even smaller, who are like just coming up. Maybe they're making a couple thousand dollars a month, and they're like, "Dope, I'm gonna quit my job." Right, and then that happens, and then whoop, you yeah. know what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, luckily I have those other things uh, going on. Because if I was just depending on YouTube revenue, I probably wouldn't even be doing it. If I was just depending yeah. on YouTube revenue, you're because... full time now, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you have merch, you've got Patreon, merch, Patreon, um, and the uh, the ad revenue. I'm gonna see, I guess, next month what the actual hit was, but I'm I'm guessing it's negligible. Really? I, I mean, like, 
Ever That's since nice. the merch and yeah. the Patreon and everything like that, I've I've been yeah. looking at the YouTube stuff like it's extra. <laughs> That's Whereas wow. in the beginning, it was the main meat. That's the wow. best way to do it. Yeah. Up until recently, that for us, it was always like we lived and died by AdSense. And now until recently, like we opened our own merch store. Mm-hmm. And with the podcast, now we're finally starting to see it as like a bonus, like you yeah. said. Which is, I think, honestly. It's the one that fluctuates these days, the most. Yeah. These this oh, days, yeah. you got to. You can't depend on that shit. Right. No. Yeah. no. So, hey, all those uh, new creators out there looking to get a YouTube channel. Don't bother. <laughs> well, don't do it. Nah. <laughs> nah. It's seriously... Start a Patreon channel. <laughs> right, right. Before yeah. the YouTube, just, just yeah, go when's, when's straight Patreon, Patreon. Just going to let you yeah. put... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably do. Yeah. That'd be smart. Uh, fucking hell, Yeah, man. we're all fucking broke. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right, too. We're all doing all right. I all spent my last cent on the Hennessy, <laughs> so <laughs> we're doing, for yourself. This shit I'm is fine. not yeah. cheap. Yeah. How this, much you pay for yours? This was 50 bucks. That was... Or ours was. Yours was... You I, get a deal? I think mine was either 40 or 50. I, yeah, I, I think it was 50, 40 or 50. I picked it up at Ralph's, so... That's where we got ours. Nice. Fucking Ralph's, nice. boy. Hell yeah, absolutely. You know? <laughs> May as well pick up, like, some toilet paper and some... Pa- you know, like, it's... Deodorant, yeah. like Deodorant. I did. Mm-hmm. Oh, I run out of that all the time. We, um... We sent our PA... God, I'm so fucked without Ela. We sent our PA. <laughs> I says, listen, you have to get a bottle of Henny. I know Jack's bringing it, but I need to match him. So she goes, she brings back a bottle of Henny. And then I'm like, oh, Ela took my deodorant. I have no deodorant. You have to go buy deodorant. Because I didn't have time. I was running late. Of course. Of course. You have to, yeah. That's why you have a PA. That's why you have a PA. Man, <laughs> to buy be nice. my, To buy me deodorant. <laughs> That's incredible. So they come back. They bring the deodorant. I get into the office. I forgot the cameras. Dan, our producer, immediately looks at me the second I walk in. He's like, "You don't have any cameras, you worthless fucking oh loser." Sounds like you, yeah. Like <laughs> he's can hear him cackling now. Sounds like and you I'm use like, a couple of PAs. Ela's the Ela's more. She's more of a care, but she's <laughs> right. she, but she brings also, the cameras. She doesn't forget the fucking cameras. Well, she took my deodorant. You should, yeah. Sounds sounds like someone's in the doghouse when she gets back. <laughs> I am not going to forgive her that. One. Nor should you. Nor should you. You guys Either. share deodorant? It's that's not adorable. Me. I have. That's adorable. Listen, that's not me. I, I'm, I'm not saying it's weird. No. I am. Look, say it's weird <laughs> or not. It's what it is. It's just that I feel like there's different deodorants for different sexes, you know? There is. Of course. You sexist piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Open your fucking Which mind. Which one do you guys use? Like, do you use the lady deodorant? Or? No, absolutely. I use Old Spice Classic, no aluminum, one fucking, uh, hey, how you doing? You know, okay. and I'm good for uh, the day. You just, you just dab a yeah, little dab, there? Yeah, I dab will do you. Okay, okay. And so she tried all these feminine deodorants, and she didn't like the smell. She didn't like the whatever, you know, didn't do it for her. Yeah. Hmm. And so she starts, she gives my dab, she dabs mine, and she likes it. You guys share your, your, your musk? Yes. That is adorable. That really is. That's a true love we story. We share our Elon Musk. Uh, get Can we get a center divider, please? Can we please get a divider? Guy. I'm going to light that lint on fire. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. I'll do it, man. <laughs> We're gonna, can Boom. I, can I ash on that grand or whatever the fuck? Oh, God. That's fucked up. Right. Poor Skippy. Can I ash on your lint? <laughs> <laughs> I got a shouldn't story be, here I want to share with you guys. Shouldn't be collecting oh, your on, goddamn lint. Actually, let me first check on our hurricane... Relief H three. Oh, then a hurricane came. Everybody's hating on the Red Cross lately. Did you notice that? What? Like, no. What's when, up with Red Cross? I didn't really know. I mean, when we were talking about doing a charity, everyone's like, "Whatever you do, don't do the Red Cross." Wow. I was okay. like, Something I missed happened. a memo there. Oh, oh what's going on here, baby? Some beef jerky. Wow. Yeah. Where where are you start? Are you were you boofing that? Just <laughs> did, did you, you unboof that? that? I unboofed <laughs> it. Son of a bitch. No. <laughs> Does the Pope shit in his hat? Um. In answer to your question, does anyone want beef jerky? <laughs> I'm good, man. Does Thank the Pope? <laughs> I've heard that before, but I've never understood it. Oh, really? It's like, does a bear shit in the woods? Does it's the like, pope? well, yeah, it lives in the woods, but <laughs> right, does the right. Pope shit in his hat? <laughs> I would fucking hope not. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a clear yes. That's the point. Well, there's enough room. It's there. an absolute yes. Does the Pope? I I like also yeah. just the Pope shit in the woods. <laughs> does the Pope shit in the woods? <laughs> Yes. There was a there's like a Rick and Morty episode. Oh, it was a get swifty thing. The president says or like someone asks the president, Do you know how to fly this plane? And the president responds, something like that. But Just it's the... like but but it's like a weird variation. And the other guy says, I'm not sure. And the president says exactly. <laughs> Does the Pope eat ass of a twelve year old? 
No, but he's okay with it. I, I want that beef jerky. <laughs> Does the Pope fucking jerk off nightly with a fleshlight? Yeah. He does. <laughs> Guaranteed. This, the, While uh, shitting in his hat. Absolutely. Just, it's, it's a whole a fucking it's complicated. terrible scene. It takes practice. Yeah, he puts the divider up. <laughs> yeah. Elon goes Musk nuts. installed it in his fucking Pope mobile. <laughs> There's well, a future for those dividers, I'm telling you. There's I a demand for them. All right, let me, let me, first of all, I'm getting pretty toasty here. Oh, absolute. You guys are the best. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us again. Seriously, this is just what I needed. When I, I was watching a, like a little bit outside, it was more like the YouTube highlights of your um, the, the the hurricane relief uh, one with Justin mm. Roiland and, and, and Alex and all those guys. I was watching some of that with with Aaron, and I was like, I can't fucking top this. In ter- <laughs> like, in, relatively speaking to like you know this podcast, and she goes, No, you can't. It's so like, thanks for having. <clears throat> There's no on. listen that that one we planned a lot. That was awesome. We put a lot of work into that. Mm. And like, I think, I mean, the prank call was was beautiful. Incredible. But I think the pinnacle for me, and from a technical standpoint as well, is that we got Justin to pepper spray Joey yeah. in the fucking face. And we got to watch it live on the That's TV. That's so fucking amazing. So many... <laughs> Can you turn it up? Oh. I can't hear it, Dan. <laughs> this is a stupid idea. Why did I do it? <laughs> we got this on soundboard. It's <laughs> incredible. I mean... Uh, that's one for the that, ages. I think that was probably the pinnacle of this show to this to this day. I mean, it takes a lot of cogs to make make something like that happen. So, so pat yourself on the back, man. I've definitely was, always wanted to see Joey Salas get fucking pepper sprayed. So that was great for <laughs> there me. There you go. Win. Um, and now Joey wants to top it. He says he wants to come on again, and we can um, shoot him with a taser gun. Wow. And I'm like, I don't know. I, that one's getting into a uh, a liability. For me, nah. I mean, if he nah, wants I to think... get shot by a taser gun, he can just keep doing his pranks. Cops right. will show up and shoot him with a taser gun, <laughs> right? Like, you know, he's you kind of, is, kind it, of is it rude to eat into the microphone? By I the way, care. I couldn't even I'm tell. tell. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're good. You don't tell. need to move it that far. <laughs> Do you, are you hungry? Should we get food? <laughs> no, I'm just uh, putting down a. You guys get I'm hungry, putting down a base you, layer. You scream at Ian. Oh, yeah. He's got the company credit card, and I know he fucking uses it for inappropriate shit. Ian, I checked that statement. Every day, okay? And it's a little shifty. I'm telling you, sometimes I see shit, and I am watching you. When we walked in, he asked if we wanted him to buy anything, like, on Amazon with your he card. Did. He did. I told him to ask you that. Oh, okay. That's how we as long as it all was of sanctions. That makes sense. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> all right, I got this article. Let me get to the... Um, <laughs> hmm. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Facebook, my favorite company. Yeah. Facebook enables advertisers to reach Jew haters. <laughs> Talk about targeted advertising. Now, is Jew haters like an actual group, or are they saying just generally people well, hate Jews? Yeah, here, let me show you. Um, yeah. Want to market Nazi memorabilia or recruit marchers for a far-right rally? Facebook's self-service ad buying platform had the right audience for you. Mm. Let's see here. They uh, enabled um, topics to search for, such as Jew hater. How to burn Jews oh, boy. or history of why Jews ruined the world. Oh, my God. I mean, Is that's there a, a good... history to that? There's a history. It's a, a long history. and illustrious history. <laughs> it's called the Bible. Boom. <laughs> it's called the, the New Testament <laughs> and old. Well, good Lord. Okay. <laughs> to so test that's... if these ad categories were real, we paid $30 to target those groups with three prominent posts in which a pro- Republica article or post was displayed in their newsfeed. Facebook approved all three ads within 15 minutes. Jesus. Yeah, because they paid them. I love Facebook. It's fucking man. Facebook, wow. yeah. You could pay them to do anything. Yeah, yeah. You want... Uh... They're, they're the biggest whore on the internet. You want anything done? You want a boof? Oh, Facebook. That's where, that's where you go for boofs. Yeah. Boofs.com. I'm, I got all kinds <laughs> of boofing ads up on Facebook no, right it's, now. No, it's Facebook.com slash boof. I'm sorry. Boof. You're right. You're right. Thank they you. have a special landing page. Yeah. <laughs> Poofs.com <laughs> redirects to Facebook. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Facebook's advertising has become a focus of national attention since it disclosed last week that it discovered $100,000 worth of ads placed during the 2000s. Oh, I don't know about all this shit. I was just with the Jew shit. I yeah. Didn't, so I, didn't, is... I didn't read this far in. No, no, no. I, I, I glanced at a headline or two that, that had similar news to this. So is this like the new... 
um, like YouTube promoting, um, I or like YouTube running ads on um, ISIS videos. Is that kind of like well, what they're going for? Well, it's kind of different because when you when what? those ads run on ISIS videos, basically YouTube runs it in bulk. So an advertiser says, "I want to run my," <laughs> excuse me. No, it was well time. I was in a moment. I was like, "Do I repress it? Do I embrace it?" No, I'm glad you. I'm <laughs> glad you uh, embrace it. Okay, so like, yeah. yeah so, they, so you know, there's a bulk. They says, "I want to run my videos across YouTube," and YouTube's like, "Cool, H3 Jack Film. Uh, this guy's demonetized, but <laughs> ISIS got him." Yeah. But these guys are All like, right. "I want to target my dogs who think that um, Jews need to burn an internal hellfire for so killing really Jesus." Really specifically targeting. The, the, the hate groups. Yes. Right. Okay. Mark Mark Zuckerberg does not have any kind of uh, <laughs> filter in place where um, I call burn Mark's... the Jews is is flagged. flagged. Yeah. <laughs> well, hang yeah. on though. Like, let's actually nice. think about this though. Is it immoral? I mean, if there's a dollar there, if there's a marketing dollar there, if there's people out there who hate Jews, it's not like this yeah. guy's going to change their mind. Well, if I mean, I'm... could I pay YouTube to make a video about burning Jews? What do you mean? Like. Pay YouTube to go, hey, YouTube, I'm going to make a video called uh, Burn the Jews Nazi Party, LOL. <laughs> and I give you like 25 bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, would YouTube be like, well, 25 dollars? I mean, yeah, you put what you want up. I think before they would, now not. And it would be like an, a pre-roll ad before certain videos and right. shit. I guess it's the <clears throat> right comparison here. Um, yeah, before you could do that. Actually. You're saying before, like, the, the apocalypse. apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now the systems are... I've actually found my own experience just putting Jew in the title, the title. description, that's or tag. To... What the fuck? Yeah, that's... If you just say Jew, to yeah. like... Well, also the LGBT <sighs> shit getting demonetized. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah. What is that? Right. That's fucking... That's some 50s bullshit right there. Well, that one, that one's really confusing to me because YouTube and Google in general seem very diverse. Yeah. It's, it seems right, against, right. against I, I don't grain, think it was but... intentional. It's machine learning. Oh, that's the problem. Then. Yeah. This, from talking to people at YouTube, they actually, the algorithm is total run by an AI. They don't yeah. even understand what it's doing. I'm not okay with that. It's spooky stuff. I want to take that fucking AI down. How do we confuse that thing so much that it commits suicide? <laughs> Can Let's, AI commit suicide? It could be, it oh. could be done. I'm It'll sure happen. It be done. I've, I've seen enough of the internet to know that. Like, come on. Any, any intelligent being would want to commit suicide. You know, that's, enough time. <laughs> interestingly enough, I have a whole article about how suicide rates are up that I want to talk to you guys about. Oh, yeah. Oh. And I don't think AI would be excluded from that. No, I, I would push for getting AI as sad as possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was this robot in Futurama that was, like, programmed oh. to be suicidal. You really? You seen that one? No. <laughs> Who's a I, sad robot? That's, that's No, I haven't seen that episode. Huh. Listen, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back. That was a, such a non sequitur. That was such a hard <laughs> pause. <laughs> Dan was just like Dan was just like forty five minute alert. Everyone, call your therapists. Yeah, everybody. Right, right. We're call gonna mom. listen. We're gonna call your moms. come call back your and talk about. Flowers we have a word garden. from our sponsors who make this show possible. So don't skip it, you son of a bitch. And let me tell you what else. That shit's funny. I make it entertaining, and I make it a joy Damn to right watch. You do. I right love you your do. ads. Thank you, you. You got the best ads. Uh, oh, the MeUndies last ever. time we were yeah. here. That was dope. I the still wear ads. those, by the way. Do you? Yeah. Are you wearing them now? Do you boot I them? almost did. <laughs> I didn't want to wear them because you guys would ask me to Model. see them. And then oh, I'd pull my invasive. pants down to show you, but they'd all come Brown. down. And then I'd hang <laughs> dong live <laughs> the on Twitch. <laughs> then you get demonetized. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a whole thing. I didn't want to. No, that's fair. <laughs> Eric doesn't know how to pull his pants I, I, <laughs> I Yeah, I pee with my pants all the way <laughs> oh, that's speaking of bathroom etiquette. I know we're about to take a break, but no, I yeah. I walked in on a guy doing that uh, oh, no. not too long ago <laughs> in a in a oh, no. bar bathroom. Right? Oh my god! I'm in this bar for a guy's birthday like party. Like butters. I fuck yeah, like butters. Yeah. That's what I thought of when I saw. I walked into the bathroom and I thought the stall was clear because when the when yeah. there's one person at the urinal, I go to the stalls. Of course. So I open the stall and it's this guy with his fucking pants that's around incredible. his ankle and his underwear. I just like I was like, like he was oh. Shitting? No, he was peeing. You said like, he was ass was facing you. His ass was facing me. He was and it peeing. wasn't locked. It was not locked. He wanted you to walk in on him. He wanted me to walk in on him. Um, and then I saw him later that night, and I was like, man, you 
You confronted him? I saw him? your asshole, bro. You confronted him? No, I didn't confront him. You, you just saw, saw him from a distance. Right. You saw him. It, yeah. It, right it's just like something I knew about him I didn't want to know. Right. Was oh, well, yeah. If you do that clean? shit, then yeah. It was a smooth ass. It was smooth. smooth. <laughs> That's even weird. <laughs> it's a nice smooth ass. <laughs> Guys, we have the best hats. <laughs> so, that being said, see you in a brief moment. All right. Okay, now I'd like to give a quick thank you to our sponsors. Without their help, this show would not be possible. Quip is a slamming hot toothbrush. It vibrates. It's slick. People are calling it the apple of toothbrushes, but without the big price tag. This is an electric toothbrush that is a slick, tiny little vibrating tube. And uh, it's actually really nifty. Because it keeps time. You brush your teeth. It lets you know every 30 seconds. It stops automatically after three minutes. It was named Invention of the Year. By Times Magazine. Come on. I actually love it a lot. I'm always searching for toothbrushes that aren't too harsh. And aren't too soft. And let me tell you something about Quip. They hit it right. Uh... <clears throat> You can even subscribe to receive a new brush head on a dentist-recommended three-month plan for just $5, including free shipping. Quip is backed by a leading dentist and was named, uh, yeah, Oprah loves it too, apparently, so. Quip starts at just 25 bucks, and let me tell you, good toothbrushes are expensive. I just spent 60 bucks on toothbrushes on Amazon trying to find the best one. I'm like, I'm like Goldilocks. Too hot, too cold? Quip is just right! Go to getquip.com, G-E-T-Q-U-I-P.com slash H3. Write the flip now and get your first refill pack free with your Quip electric toothbrush. If you're obsessed with oral hygiene or maybe you just want to get a fresh, clean kiss for that person in your life, I'm telling you, give it a shot. You won't regret it. I do love and endorse this product. Thank you, Quip. All right. Stitch fix. Here we go. If you're a lot like guys, you could probably think of a million things you'd rather be doing than shopping for clothes. Whew, that hits home. Between the parking and the crowds at the mall and the endless browsing and lack of advice online, it's enough to make you want to rock the same t-shirt and jeans forever. I'm telling you, I don't I don't change. I'm dumb, I'm Doug funny. These people are talking right to me. But you can't. <clears throat> because women so let me tell you about Stitch Fix, men. They're reimagining how to find and buy clothes and you never even have to leave the house. It's that easy. Just go to stitchfix.com and tell them your sizes, your favorite types of clothes, and how much you want to spend. I, and apparently they, pro, they also have the size that fits my very unique body type, which is both fat and skinny at the same time. And I know I'm not the only one out there, gentlemen. Your personal stylist then gets to work handpicking new clothes for you based on your style and budget. It's like the girlfriend you don't have. She can address you. It's beautiful. <clears throat> you, you have a girl dress you so that you can get the girl. Five items are delivered right to your door. You try them on at home and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping's free both ways so anything you don't want, you just send it back. And exchanges are always free too. You can get your fix monthly, quarterly, or whenever you feel like it. There's no subscription required. It's easy. The shipping is free. Why not give them a try? I promise you'll be hooked. <clears throat> Call to action. That's I'm not supposed to read that part. Get started now at tw stitchfix.com slash h3. You'll get an extra 25% off when you read when you keep all five items in your box. That's stitchfix.com slash h3. Get started today. Guys, if you can't like me and you can't dress yourself, you need a girl. It's a it's a catch-22. You need the girl to get the girl. Stitch Fix is that girl that helps you get the girl. She doesn't want you, trust me. She's got various things to do. She's got a guy who's jacked and he dresses great. Don't even try to get her. You want the other girl. And she but she's gonna help you get there. Okay? Go to stitchfix.com slash h3 and get 25% off when you keep all five items. Thank you to them. And finally, <clears throat> we've got for all my lushes out there, can I get a way oh? We've got Wink. Now Wink is a wine straight to your door service. You go on their website. 
you take a survey. What kind of flavors do you like when you're sipping wine? Do you like earth? Do you like dirt? Do you like Skittles? These are not questions that are on, well, earth, earthy is one, but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea. They ask you all these very sophisticated, do you like chocolate? Do you like coffee? Stuff like this. And they're going to analyze your palate and give you the best damn wine out there. I don't know what I'm doing when I go to a wine selection. There's all these, I like drinking wine. I don't know how to pick it. (coughs) Kabish. Wink understands this. That's why they started the company, to give access to exceptional wines from around the world so you can have more of these special moments with the girl who's going to the girl you're going to meet when you dress in the nice clothes I was just talking about. It's a whole package. We're getting you a girl. Just go to trywink.com. Spelled T R Y W I N C.com. Take a brief palette profile quiz. None of your time is wasted fit, uh, fitting in a run to the store? None of your time is wasted fitting in a run to the store. That makes sense. Because Wink bases the wines that they send you around your taste preferences, Wink will even introduce you to a new rare and custom wines that are not available anywhere else. i tell you the dang story behind each one. <laughs> it's going to get you laid. Let me tell you about this exotic wine bottle and this fresh new look. Listen, join for free, guys. Skip any month. Cancel any time. And they have 100% satisfaction guaranteed so you never have to pay for a bottle if you don't like it. Okay? Now check it out. For our listeners, right now, Wink is offering $20 off your first order when you go to trywink.com slash h3. Let me spell it, and they'll even cover the damn shipping. T-R-Y-W-I-N-C. Trywink.com slash H3. Get $20 off your first order. Plus, the shipping is on the house. It's free. You don't like it, you don't pay, guys. So let me tell you. If you want to support the show, considering uh, supporting one of our sponsors. If you want some wine, if you need some help getting dressed, you want to try find those cuties, and if you want to clean your mouth. I mean, this is really a whole package deal, guys. You're going to get laid. This is the getting laid experience. So thank you to our sponsors for making this show possible. And thank you all you guys too for supporting our sponsors. And now back to our scheduled program. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I mean, those sound great, man. Those sound all How those are those reads? great. Absolutely. Yeah. This is the best pre-recorded uh, hey, it's, interview. Hey, what? <laughs> I just saw him do it. That was live as shit. Fuck this you. was live as shit. Yeah. Man, sign me up. Yeah. Do you guys really, does it really matter? Look, we no. came, we pre-recorded it today <laughs> because I know I was getting drunk with these yeah. some bitches and there's no What's fucking yours? way I could have done those reads sober in the company of these goofsters and boofsters. Right. Would you rather uh, it just cuts to an actual commercial for the company or the person talking about it that you tuned in to watch? That? I know. I know. You whining fucks. Seriously. We have the best copy. They're we do happy. the best ads. How much did you enjoy that? Type 100%. Thank you. 10 fingers. 10 I fingers. was watching on Twitch while I took a shit during that seven <laughs> minutes. God bless you, Eric. It was great. It was great, right? It's good entertainment. Guys, I purchased type, all the things, type, whatever they were. Yeah. No, I got it all. <laughs> I got them all. <laughs> type the the Pope Boofs and his fucking uh, fleshlight while shitting in his hat in the comments if you like that copy read. Does it's a good the hashtag. Pope Boof fleshlights? <laughs> I think the answer is obvious. All right. Do we have any more Henny left? Um, uh, check. Uh, Let's let check. See. Ian! There's a couple more shit. You know what? I have to. A couple drops <laughs> left. A couple drops left to Henny. I have to compliment our intern, who is really. He's getting good. We got water. Yes, yes. Shout out. Yeah, I'm going to need that. So, Shout out. Thank you so much. Now, for that. what I'm thinking, are you hungry, Eric? Oh, this is vodka. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah. No, I could eat. Jack, don't, I know you're like a dainty little fuck. <laughs> but tell me you'll eat some pizza if I order it. I'll eat You some watching pizza. your figure? I'm trying to, uh, yeah, gain about 10 pounds since uh, Europe, so, you know. Really? But, uh, oh, dude, a couple of pints of Guinness a day, that'll do it. That's the trick. Guinness That's is a trick. I mean, I, I, I hear you, but as I understand it, Guinness is one of the lowest 
no. calorie beers. Oh, that's or do I have wrong. it backwards? You have it backwards. It's like Guinness drinking a, a hamburger. Guinness is a meal. <laughs> it's like honestly, it's like four hundred calories a pint, something like that. Yeah. Can you fact check that? I'm actually curious. What are the calories I'll get us? Not to under my. I'm just no, no, no. I would, I would like that too because I'm, not, I, I'm, I, I Damn, feel like I've up. read that before, but I would love to be an Alexa in here. Uh, I do. Alexa. His name's Dan. Look oh. that up. Oh yeah, <laughs> even better, even better. Um, but yeah, dude. Like all we all we did every night, like we would just go out to pubs and just drink Balmers and Guinness, Balmers and Guinness, and just every other. <laughs> what a great time! Oh my god, it was and live music every night. Sp- Galway, so, Galway, Ireland. That's I where... have a, um, I have a, I have a feedback from Ian the intern. He says that it is uh, 125 calories per 12 ounces, but 12 is a big boy one, isn't it? No, tw- well, a pint would be 16. So a can is 8 ounces, or do I have it backwards? It's 12. No, a can, I think a tall can of Guinness is like 12. Like mm-hmm. one of those like like longer, taller cans of Guinness. Uh, and a pint of Guinness would tra- traditionally be 16 ounces. So that you're running towards 200. Yeah, so I'm, I'm way wow. off. I thought it was like fucking 400. I really did. I was like so sure. Like, oh, a pint of Guinness? Yeah, but that's... 200 is surprising, too. That adds up when you have like 10 beers you your cal- 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 caloric intake for the day. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, and that game over. I'm su- I'm always surprised by how many calories is in alcohol. So yeah. you always so whenever I go wow, I mean like, but before, I, I always try to be economically conservative, um, not so much with the price, but but more so with the uh, caloric intake. Like like what's the um, alcohol to calorie ratio? Right. You know what I'm saying? So instead of like six beers, how about one Long Island iced tea, <laughs> or, or or just straight shots? Yeah, you know. Right. And that's more efficient, and it, it does save money. I think in the end, that's one Long Island as opposed to six beers. I'm about I, drunk and efficient. I do love beer. I love yeah, it. I it's, don't. It's a fantastic little invention. <laughs> I don't love. What's it. your favorite beer? You want you... a Bud Light? What? <laughs> Ian, can we get you some just, Bud Lights? You just broke his brain, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Ian, What's... bring in some Bud Lights, and when you're done, so, order a fucking pizza for everybody. Bar in here. When we say, um, "What's your favorite beer?" Like when we say, "Like go grab a beer." What's what's your go-to beer for the night? My go-to beer, you know what? I, the beer I really like is Rolling Rock because it's seven dollars oh, yeah. for a twelve-pack at my liquor store. That's pretty nice, and that is that's stupid. You're not seven Ian. bucks. That's I'm sorry. unbeatable. Oh man! Uh, when we looked it up, uh, a Guinness only Thank has you. fifteen more calories than a Bud Light. Shut up! I swear to you, I've Thank read you. that Guinness is on the light side. Yeah. I am sh- I'm shocked. That is shocking. Right? I thought then, it's because it's, 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 it's a stout. But it's hey. a it's a, it's low on on um, alcohol percentage. It, it has, is. It is. If you're trying to get fucked up, you don't you don't but drink Guinnesses. It. But it's just it's a really you don't you only I'll tell you this you only like really shotgun uh, a, a Guinness when you're doing um, car bombs. Yeah. You know which uh. which was really fun to ask for in Ireland. We always try to so you don't do that. You don't ask for a fucking car bomb when you're in really? Galway, Ireland. Well, obviously, well, yeah, that it doesn't sense. sound right. It's like asking for a 911 in New York. Can I get a 911? Do what Unless you do it in an Irish accent. What's that? If you're doing an Irish accent, lucky then the bartender. You're not, you're not misappropriating <laughs> any cultures. I love that you keep going back to <laughs> lucky. That's not an Irish name. Hey, <laughs> lucky. Adjective. Let me get an Irish car. Let me get a right here car bomb. So no. what? You know what is it in a car bomb though, right? It's yeah. a. It's just so it's. Half a pint of Guinness, so they, you know, it's it's a it's a pint glass, but they only fill it half with Guinness. Okay. And then you take a, a shot glass that's half Bailey's and half Jameson whiskey. Right. And then you you literally drop like a Jaeger bomb, you know, you or any 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 sh- slammer. You just you drop the shot glass into the into the half pint of Guinness, and you chug it before the Bailey's curdles. Right. Right. And right. that's and it's delicious. It actually tastes really sweet because the Bailey's. It kind of tastes like a chocolate. We have milk Bailey's. Milk. We can do that. Really. Yeah. Don't tempt me because oh I am. Are you supposed to refrigerate that? Babies? No, not no. you. Don't have to. You don't have to. Really? Yeah. Kills all the germs. I thought there was the sugars or something about the sugars. It's, it's better chilled, but it's not a uh, 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 pasteurization. It's, it's, it's not like a requirement. Issue. It's okay. not a health issue. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever the fuck I was trying the to say. Magic. I thought you were the alcoholic here. I mean, I always refrigerated yeah. my Baileys. You got to drink. <laughs> well, yeah, we do too. We try to no. do, but you don't. It turns out you don't have to. I don't have to. Yeah. Okay, well, that saves some space for other booze. It sure does. You can <laughs> Although, prioritize. I, I feel like for a 911 drink, is there any like, um, is there is there a national drink for Saudi Arabia? It's called can the we... um, it's they... called the high. It's called the hijacker. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> it's a shot. What do they drink in Saudi Arabia? It's because that... that should be. I think it's going to be offensive, <laughs> but just bear with me. And that's just what oh, came to mind. All God right. Damn it! Buckle it's up. a shot of vodka with. 12 raisins in it. <laughs> what? It's the hijacker. Why are they raisins? I don't know. 
You chew on it. That's not offensive it's at all. To me. <laughs> it's just confusing, really. Yeah. It's the that reasons. just sounds weird. <laughs> but I'll do it. No, oh it makes sense. God. They were. Yeah. Well, I don't have to unpack that too oh, much. Oh, right? okay. God damn it. All right. All right. Jeez. You can do a whole, like, you can do a Saudi <laughs> into a 9 11. <laughs> You'll be fucked up. The whole party yeah. will be slammed and by that. And MeUndies has just pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> MeUndies has nothing to do with this episode. I'll have you know. <laughs> Sorry. I, let me tell you something about MeUndies. I have soiled yeah. myself in that underwear so many times. Mm-hmm. And because of the lush, beautiful, soft fabric, it washes right out. That's incredible. They yeah. don't write that in the copy, but this is the special sauce. Well, now we know. Yeah. They're yeah, coming the right back sauce. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lost them. They're back. They're back. I will say your hat is dope. Oh, I know thanks, that's the, that's, dude. that's part of the part of Ela's line. Yeah, that's, cool. that's so nice. So we actually changed it in the final product. This is the pre-run. Oh, we, okay. Well, okay. it's not very different. Like a we, prototype or something. Yeah, it's a prototype. We we moved the teddy bear down mm-hmm. half an inch. Okay, important. And we wrote Teddy Fresh on the back. Oh, that's nice. That's really really nice. I can't wait. Oh, Ela's been working so hard on it. It's oh, like, I can uh, imagine. Yeah, that's that's no small business running a uh, whew, fashion. I'm super excited. That's really cool. And when when did you say it was dropping? Either the end of this month or the beginning of of next month. It's going to be here before you know it. But after that, I think it's going to be on a regular cycle. We hired like a s- fucking superstar production Ooh. manager, and Ooh. she is like a freaking god. She's so great. Hell yeah! So That's we're, we're 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 taking it seriously. Yeah. Yeah, as you should. Yeah. Oh. I might actually wear a hat if you guys send me a hat. Oh, yeah. I, I don't really oh, wear yeah. hats. Yeah, but... I just noticed you're not in the hat club today. Nah, I'm not What's a hat boy. That? You yeah. want to try it on? Yeah, I'm not either, but I'm really trying to sell these guys. Some people have large... It doesn't look too bad. You look like a trucker, dude. Sup, bitches. You look like a hot, sexy trucker. <laughs> it, it, it's not too bad. Right? Well, yeah. It really is not too bad. Oh, now you're hip. No. Now no, we're fucking... No. no. Put it Wait, back. Let me go Put custom, it back. custom 90 degree. 420 and... There it is. You, honestly, fucking trucker. Am I wrong? Well, the hat doesn't say trucker. The wear does. The hat doesn't. Yeah, I, I get that. I agree. I, I feel agree. sexy as hell. Do I have a little bit of hair like poking out. I mean, glory. You, do, you sure do. You, you had a lot of hair poking out. That's what a lot of bit of hair. He's a trucker that uses a glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> at the rest stop. Is, give me a trucker that doesn't. All right, come on. It's a trucker that doesn't exist. Thank you. It's Thank about you. meth and glory holes. That's what the trucking business. It's is a all lonely job. It. It's a lonely job trucking. You know, you gotta find love where you make it. Trucking or make love where you find it. Finding glory holes. Grateful Dead had a song about that. I I wouldn't be. So, I should know that. I, my dad made me listen. He didn't make me, but I, I love Grateful Dead. I love I him too. That. Yeah. Who else? So like, when you turn on, do you? This is such a weird tangent, but when you edit or write or whatever, mm-hmm. do you listen to music or do you? Not? I wish I could. Yeah. I can't listen to music when I'm editing. It's no, too distracting because of the audio. Same. I used to love me. I just don't fucking listen to like. So I don't know what's new anymore. I don't know what's topical anymore. Right. Because I can't. How about you? Do you find yourself listening to shit? I feel like I must have tinnitus or something because yeah. I can't listen to silence while I work. Mm. I might have tinnitus. I just wouldn't. So you but you know. can't work without something. I can't work without music. Playing. That's fascinating. Even yeah. editing. I'm, I got Even edit. How do well, you do that? I, I go into Spotify and I turn the volume down to like 25, 30%. So it's always a little so bit filler. underneath. You have like filler yeah. noise. Like white noise. Well, a big part of editing is you watch the entirety of what you filmed and you single out takes that you like. And yeah, but you have your, your video, first off, they're long. They're always like close to 10 minutes, if not past yeah. 10 minutes. And there's a lot. There's a, cutting back to you and typing you and, and screen right. capture of you typing and the sound of you typing there's so much to edit i, I don't do know like how you could do like four or five passes and like the the later passes where i'm like watching it to see if the, the pacing is good four or five passes is like i do that without music i mean i often do more than that wow, wow. editing is the most intense part for me well, well, yeah it's it. perfect we're all perfectionists you know i honestly think that i'm a better editor than i am a performer i hate I fucking hate. Same. That was such a bad. That was like. That was pretty a, fucking bad. This was two that guys. guys got a kiss. Yeah. These are two guys who can't pee the next. <laughs> someone at the urinal doing a high five. Great minds, man. Great minds. <laughs> but it's so true. I um, hate putting on the camera and recording. Yeah. But once I'm done, yeah. I'm in my you're zone. You're the master. Editing. You're the master, right? You're the master of your own domain. You you because it's your once the editing once you open up the the software. Yeah. yeah. You can turn a train wreck into a fucking got a pile of gold. It's yeah. all in the timing. It's a all pile in... of gold. Have you guys yeah. ever made something that someone else had to edit? Yes. Um, How fucking annoying is that? And I give and you give notes. Yeah, yeah I don't do it a lot, but every I once in a while you that. give notes I... and you're like, okay, so for this one, can I like? I don't like that because in my head, you know, and you don't want to spill it out for someone, and it takes yeah. time. And... You just don't know because like yeah. when you have control of your own footage, 
You yeah. know that if you don't like anything that you said or if you don't like something, you can cut it out and you can make it work. Mm-hmm. But if somebody else is the master of your footage... You're saying you did like a cameo and then you leave the editing up to someone else. Oh. Or you're just saying... No, you no, have no, like no not, not even like a cameo an because like I, in your guys' <laughs> cases, I trust you completely, 100%. Right, right, like right. anytime I film with you guys, I get on like, yeah, that's going to be funny. Yeah. Um, but like... Someone that y- you're working with maybe for the first time who you – it's going to an actual editor in a studio, not the person that you made it with. Mm-hmm. Like I did this interview with Viceland hmm. about Salvia right? a couple – like two years ago or something like that. And when I was done with this interview, I realized that like I was kind of acting the way I act when I film myself where I can like cut out all the bad bits hmm. where I sound like a dipshit. And right. uh, I was just like walking around drinking beers with these guys. I like – Slammed the whole six pack during the interview, <laughs> sweating my fucking face off. Oh yeah! Like we were in this back room where the sun comes in, and I was sweating so bad during the interview. And I was like, "Guys, can we go to another room?" And I was like, uh, "All that footage is still fair game. Like if it were yeah, me, I'd cut all that shit." But they don't. But you're. But I they're not you they when you're not them. You can't and, trust yeah, them. Yeah, of course. Thankfully, it's still. I feel like I came across as not being a complete. Right. Shit, like they did edit it somewhat it's to like scary yeah. when they leave you're like oh that was it that's I'm, a lot of faith I'm, you're putting I'm all left. this faith in their hands yeah. that's, you, that you, is scary you have to be super aware when you're like we did the segment for hot ones right that was yeah the, that right. was the only right. time that's a good example where we've done like something that serious where someone else was going to edit it yeah. and i've worked with editors and like for our own videos and it just yeah. never works i've tried and tried and tried i'm like okay fuck it i'm resigned that i have to edit my own stuff you guys are good at it you know it works it's super time consuming, but it's like, you know, you got to do it right. Yeah. And yeah. So in this case, they have, I don't know, their production is insane. I mean, they did a great job editing it. Hot and ones? I, and, yeah. And I trusted I, them. I thought their you guys came across pretty good. Thanks, Doug. Mm-hmm. But I, 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 you know, I trusted them to, to take care of that. And they, they did a good job. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's, it's scary. It's scary. You don't know. You don't know how you're going to come across. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, I, I guess... I don't know where the hell I was going with this. I, I think it was just something about a boof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. Well, I'll tell you oh, what. Boof. <laughs> yeah, there oh, it is. Oh, it's boofs. Ian, can, did you guys get a pizza? Dan, can you voice of God just confirm that this pizza on the way? The pizza is on its way. Okay. Oh, Dan. That's nice. That was sultry. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Dan, what the oh. fuck? I didn't ask you to turn me on. I just I, wanted I to I hope that's what we sound like. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Geez. Nah. We sound like, you know, Wait. prepubescence I, in uh, ninth grade. I, hey, look. Why are the ads pre-rolls? <laughs> Why are the ads already filled? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't be next to other men at the urinal. Oh, my. <laughs> but the, 20 years later, it's true. Yeah. I'm going to just be shitting in urinals when I'm 45. Some of you will walk into the bathroom and be like, this one's free. That's still like relatively young. I like that. I have so much respect for people who will dump in a urinal. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, God damn it. I mean, who do you know that does that, though? I I mean, I saw it once in fifth grade. Oh, really? Anyway, I think it was the special ed kid. (laughs) But I was like, God damn it. This kid is his own man. This kid doesn't care. The year, the the you know what privacy? Like he t- he says, you know what? Not only will I pee next to someone else at the urinal, I will shit and I'll stare them in the dead of their eyes. One step, <laughs> and shit. Uh, right? No oh, man. And, and you know the janitor's got to come with some <laughs> disposable gloves, smash like, it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd think he would scoop it out, but he's smashing <laughs> it in the drain. Yeah, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man, man, I love it. Oh, I'm excited this for the pizza, time. man. Hell yeah, <laughs> this is a great time. He just takes the the grate out of the urinal. <laughs> so, do you guys want to blaze some Skippy's uh, pubic hairs or no? Um, I mean, fuck it, man. I'll do it. <laughs> what, what what is it? You're gonna fucking smoke it? You want to boof it? Yeah, I'll boof it, and then smoke yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, All right, I gotta, I, I'd like I to turn it him. into a shirt. I think, like oh, you know, wow. really know complete enough. the circle of life. What would that look like? Although it seems as if Skippy only wears gray shirts. I'm not seeing much color in there. I think something happens in there where it just loses yeah, its... Yeah, right? Its like, what happens to the decolorization? So yeah. Something. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. What's you the science behind that? Fucking lint Vsauce, your can you please get on why all lint looks gray when we all know that, you know, not all fabric is gray? Hey, I got a question about Vsauce. Hell yeah. Why the fuck do they start every video with Vsauce? Who are they talking to? Oh, I actually have the answer Us? to that. Oh, I'm all oh, ears. Really? So, actually, yes, I know the answer. He all gets... Right. He actually... As I understand it, gets annoyed when people think that they're Vsauce. 
the real truth is that the, the audience, audience is Vsauce. Vsauce. Interesting. And he says, hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Well, right. they'd have to explain what I feel in like the world Vsauce actually They never unpack that. Means. I'm like, Michael, I get it, but you but, have to unpack that a little bit. Yeah, There's maybe, still more questions. Maybe have, don't call yourself Vsauce. The name of the channel if is you're Vsauce. Not it's not my Vsauce. channel. Right, right, right. 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 For fuck's sake. I How are we this. Vsauce? I hope he watches this. Michael. Yeah, fuck you, Michael. <laughs> Michael, you some bitch. Get it together. He's, he's <sighs> such a good guy, though. That guy uh, is really slacking. I'm going to myth bust that shit. Gonna, what is Vsauce? I'm going to myth bust the boof load right out of your fucking asshole. You I got, got a question for you. If V stands for virgin, I think that's Vsauce. Boom, roasted. Boom. Count it. Yeah. The the lint is what I'm pointing to. Oh, I thought you just meant the whole audience of Vsauce. Yeah, no, I bet they fuck. <laughs> Which would be really... They fuck. Some of them fuck. Discriminatory. Yeah. I bet Listen, discriminatory. you think Vsauce has gotten Michael laid? I mean, he's married. Oh. I think he's been in a long-term relationship for a while. Yeah. So yeah. maybe... I mean, so yes. totally, 100%. Yes. 100%. What yeah. about those other dickheads? <laughs> oh, they fuck like crazy. They fuck. I think that Jake fucks like crazy. Yeah? I think so. Yeah. Vsauce has got me laid. Oh. Do tell. Well. Go on. Here we go. Well, I, the gears are turning. A gentleman never kisses and tells. Oh, but on a podcast he does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a disappointment. What a cock tease. Um, I have a question. Yeah. We've done <clears throat> previously Eric's Conspiracy Corner. And I know you had, I mean, not necessarily like a whole conspiracy corner, mm-hmm. but you did have a story about like uh, radio beams. Yes. Scrambling brains yeah. that I f- loved the hell out of. Uh, this is one of the craziest things I've Where can I pull it up? Read. What do I type? Uh, type in Cuba sonic attacks. And uh, it's it's one of the more recent stories. I think I could probably point it out. So oh, yeah, this would the be Guardian. the one. That the Guardian. One. This yeah. is a legitimate news source. Yeah. That's the that's the most recent. This is scary. I I. Glint it's some of this on the Uber ride over. It's pretty, pretty terrifying shit. Yeah. Speaking of Vsauce shit, I want to see this episode. So tell me yeah. about it. No, this, this would I want to like know how the episode. fuck you can hurt people with sonic audio waves. Well, give me the, the, the high level rundown of what this is. <coughs> All right. So, I mean, there was shit in this article that was news to me, even though it, th- I've seen this news story pop up a couple times. Um, but apparently... There were people in uh, an American embassy in Cuba who, like, one guy woke up in the middle of the night, and there was just, like, a grinding noise in his ears, and it's a fucking, like, crazy noise. It's driving him crazy. He jumped out of bed, and it was gone. He was like, oh, whatever, and he went back into bed, and it started up again, like, as if there, I think in the article it says, an invisible wall right. uh, in his <laughs> room. <laughs> is that part uh, of the story? Or? It sure is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, wing ding. He got Web it. Ding. It, it, and a bunch of people got fucked up. I don't know the number, but uh, there was All a, a sonic... 21. 21 is what I recall from it's the like article. It's like a Bond villain thing. Like yes. They used sonic weapons to fuck people's brains up. And there's lasting effects like lo- loss of hearing. People have trouble with certain words. Yes. Um, balance issues. Um, sometimes the brain, sw- brain yeah. swelling. They're calling it an That's attack like because fun. it just kind of right. happened. It's really scary as shit. Nobody knows what it was. Right, right. Why Doctors it happened. diagnose it, but they don't fucking. They, they, that's yeah. to the extent, and they're skeptics. How long ago did this happen, by the way? Can we check uh, in the article? Yes. Because so, I, I feel like it was a long time that's passed. Well, this article is just posted yesterday. Okay. And here's the thing. The Guardian, this isn't like Bob's fucking flatworldjournal.net. Right, this is The Guardian. Yeah. So this is actually real. At least, and this is, I mean, this is from yesterday. At least some of the incidents were confirmed to certain rooms with laser-like specificity, and some victims now have problems recalling specific words. Oh, that's so scary. The blaring, grinding noise jolted the American diplomat from his bed in a Havana hotel. He moved just a few feet, and there was silence. He climbed back into bed, and inexplicably, the agonizing sound hit him again. It was as if he'd walked through some invisible wall, cutting straight through his room. Yeah, I knew that. I, yeah. I fucking nailed that paragraph. Yeah, you did. Paragraph. Soon that's... came the hearing loss. The speech problems, symptoms both similar and altogether different from others among at least 21, you called that number, 21 Damn U.S. Right. victims in an astonishing international mystery still unfolding in Cuba. The top U.S. diplomat has called them health attacks. Health is this attacks. like a new, like, yeah, is health attacks the new warfare? I mean, like, granted, only 21 people in yeah. the world have been reported, you know, a f- the victims of this. But I feel like that's a really scary, it, it's kind of like, what was it, like World War One? had, like, 
mustard gas right. attacks. That was the big like scary warfare thing. Now fuck health attacks with laser like precision. Yeah. As if they're only con- like they're only controlling the bed or whatever, like the area in the diplomats. Room. They say in yeah. the they say in the article that the if this is on purpose and this is an attack right. and everybody who got hit was supposed to get hit, the machine that would be necessary for this would be hard to transport. Hmm. Like it would be big. And okay. this fucking okay. like right. Manhattan Project kind of style yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Cuba's crazy, man. Like that's you there's know, no way the, the Cubans made this. I think it's Russians. Russians, yeah. I mean, there's probably still They're a very big Russians. Russian presence in Cuba, yeah. considering well, Cuba that's where is, they were gonna nuke us from Cuba's back in the sixties. Well, yeah, you know, back the, you had the Cuban Missile Crisis. They're communists. They, oh, love, they love each yeah. other. Yeah. You okay. know, when our when but, our parents, you know, when everyone hated Russia <laughs> instead of apologizing for them. Not today. Right. Yeah. Right. Christ. Now, now Russia is no big deal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, have you seen Putin? I call I don't call him Putin. I call him Putin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You seen his ass shirtless on a horseback? Yo, he looked good. Majestic, majestic. I, would, I hate to say it. I mean, I hope he's a twenty-term yeah. leader. <laughs> yeah, I bet he was a little twink when he was younger. Though. <laughs> I bet he got passed around. Nah, man, San twinks Francisco. don't do well in Russia. He, he boofed. He he's he, he a probably cocks. boofed so much <laughs> shit. I'm trying to get us hit by a sonic attack so we can prove it was the say, Russians. I was going to say, like, fuck you, man. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, are you sh- I don't know if you want to get hit, but... It would take him forever to lug it around the fucking giant machine. I but... hope so. I hope it's not easily transportable. Yeah. Look, the Cubans, it's not a rich country. They're not developing death beams. No. So, so you think well, it's and an why outside would they? We just, like Russia. Russia. we just, like, got okay. cool okay. with them. Yeah, we're all good, Cuba. We're, we're going to give them a ton of tourism didn't Obama money. Make, like, didn't Obama oh, no, make a historic wait. visit, like, a few years ago? Obama lifted the travel ban yeah but didn't trump right. recant it did he uh i don't know if that ever i went feel through. like that just sounds like something he'd do i don't know if he's actually done it i better confirm that I but remember... like he's gone down the list of because obama did that pretty late into his presidency he did, so yeah. i think trump's still like around the first term of right. undoing everything that obama did right he hasn't quite gotten to the second term yet are you sure there's an order though in terms of what trump's undoing i feel like it's just all kind of the same well listen to this suspicion initially focused on a sonic weapon and on the cubans yet the diagnosis of mild brain injury that sounds so much fun yeah considering unlikely to result from sound has confounded the fbi state departments and u.s intelligence agencies involved in the investigation some victims now have problems concentrating or recalling specific words. Several officials said the latest, the latest sign of more serious damage than the U.S. government initially realized. The United States first acknowledged the attacks in August, nine months after symptoms were first reported. Nine months. This is spooky ass shit, right? This is like this brain happened in nine months scary ago. Level. This isn't really a conspiracy. I mean, the the U.S. Department and FBI is acknowledging that it exists. Yeah. This isn't. Right. This is a real life no X file. Yes. Where's Sherlock? Yes. Right? I need Sherlock. I need your Sherlock. You were cracking the case on the wheel. All right. And the scratch sign. Uh, well, What's let me do some opium. <laughs> Watson. Uh, I don't know. This shit scares Watson, come over here. Get me my violin. <laughs> Boof <laughs> my violin into me. <laughs> Watson. Lucky. Lucky, come boof me. You almost spat <laughs> over all your cameras. That's. Oh my god. Yeah, this shit so that's like fun. So people you... don't take this shit seriously enough, I feel like. This has been in the news well, for a couple weeks. I never heard of this till you brought it to our attention this t- is today. It's fucking crazy. Yesterday. They yeah. have sonic weapons that they're shooting at it's us. Fucking real. I don't want to get hit well, with so that. So you think like in the in the front line of a potential war or new war that these zaps would be I don't think this would be the front line. I think this would be the way that they used it here. They hit an embassy. You yeah. know, if you could get this in space from a satellite. Imagine hitting oh, like Christ. that bond level. We're talking like a fucking octopusy yeah. Uh, what's the space one? Is that, but yeah, we're like a moonraker like levels of yeah. of, of, of tyranny. If if you could incapacitate Oof. somebody's brain to the point where there's permanent damage from like the block These away. Symptoms are awful. You would do it. Although it would just make sense. You just walk two feet to the left and you're okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Once you leave Easy your to bed. Counter. I guess. But I mean, <laughs> don't go to your bed. But man, that bed's really comfy though. You don't <laughs> yeah. get How it. How do you know where their beds were? Yeah. Like what you the ever spent Goose a Brothers? In Cuba? Hmm? You ever spent a winter in Cuba? Oh, winter? You go back to that bed quick. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what well, the weather's Who like hasn't? in Cuba. <laughs> it's probably quite warm there. <laughs> yeah. I love old cars. You know what I yeah. want to do? Oh, oh, in Cuba, what? you mean. That's all like, they have. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, it took me a second. You yes, know what I want to yes. do? We have new technology. Mm. We can take callers. Oh, man. We've got... Oh, Cubans Ar- only. Cool. We've got Arion and Milk. Let's bring them in and see what new. they got to say. Hey, Milk Boy, talk to me. Tell me what's good. What's up? Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey, Milk Boy. What's up? 
Hey, uh, how are you guys doing today? Doing great. How about yourself? We're doing adult things. Adult <laughs> things, adult themes. What's good? Yes, yes. What's good, guys? Um, my question is, if you guys could have a shot of Hennessy with anyone in history, who would it be and what would you guys talk about? It would be with these two fellas Great talking question. about Thank what we're talking so about right now. A cheers. Ooh. Oh, all right. Uh, Love you, boys. Uh, yeah, fill her up. Yeah, fill her up. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I should have stopped. Wait, what is this? Uh, that, that's here, a here, pour some in here. Yeah, fucking bitch. Give me a little oh, bit. nice. I like that. Henny Bud. But, but, one sec. Sorry, this is a multi part answer. Close, are you getting a close up of this? Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just let it. You know, all the dirt on top of the uh, beer cans is going into my beer now. That's right. Helped cheers. by the Hennessy. Uh, about... Cheers. This is what I would... Thanks uh, for the question. I appreciate you. But actually, I think if I could take a shot of Henny with anybody, it would be Kurt Vonnegut. Uh, Kurt Vonnegut? Yeah. Okay. So so what? Slaughterhouse-Five? That Slaughter... guy? Oh, my God. He's he's my favorite author. But yes, that's one of... That's probably his most famous book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat's Cradle, Slaughterhouse-Five, uh, Mother Night. Okay. Okay. So why why him? And I I'm really I the only reason I know of him is because I was required to read his works in high some of his works in high school. Right. And outside of that, I never yeah. ventured beyond that. Because we he says we humans live in the third dimension. We don't experience time right. on like a scale. And so they see the fourth dimension like you, us looking at a mountain range. Every slice, every moment is something they can live in for eternity. They live. They experience the end of their existence and their birth and everything in between simultaneously. Mm-hmm. And they can basically decide which moments to live in. What, what, you know, they have the dark moments, they have their great moments, and they can focus on the ones that they enjoy. But they're simultaneously experiencing all of them. And he's got such these wonderful sci-fi things that unpack such huge thoughts. And he, he served in World War II. He was a huge political figure, a great thinker. He had like the best interesting things to say about the time. I'd love to hear what he had to say about the to- the shit we're going through now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just really identify with him. I yeah. think he's a great guy. A great a great man. I, I really want to read that. Lifetime smoker died at the age of like 92 when he tumbled down the stairs. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he's that. Such wow. A God. <laughs> wow. <What laughs> he legend. smoked and drank his whole fucking life. A pack of Lucky Strikes every goddamn day. Jesus. Died tumbling down the stairs. That's, 92? That's living in your Something terms. Something like that. Late 80s, early 90s. Good oh, for him. Good God. for him, man. Lucky guy. He's such a fucking, ah, oh, he's such a legend. I don't know. Who would hmm. you guys drink with? Hmm. I would drink with Hunter S. Thompson. That's a good one. And he would show me how to shoot guns. Oh, there's you a clip are... of Conan shooting yeah. guns with him. Did you see the really? video where yeah. he sh- ha- has a shootout with his neighbor? Mm-hmm. I've seen the, mm, the blur. Fucking incredible. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, I, I don't Let's know what up. the context was. Can but... you send me that link when you go all out there? Yeah, like Hunter S. Thompson shoots at neighbor. <laughs> yeah, should, they're just should like... pull it up. They're literally shooting at each other. Like he's, I love he's it. like, fuck you, you scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> insane. That guy was on another level. Yeah. yeah. Literally blew his brains out because he's like, I'm I'm just too old for this world. Football season's over. Or or something like that was the name of his Oh uh, you know, yeah, his, he's a his, fucked up dude. Right. Like yeah. I don't want to be him yeah. in, in any respect whatsoever. Right. But I would, would never wanna, like, want his life. Him. But the shit that he put out was mm. uh when I was a young kid looking for things to read mm. to like metamorphosize mm-hmm. myself. Uh, Eli, you're killing it. Here's his, the video. His stuff was <laughs> an evening at all <laughs> very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> the way he talks is a fucking legend. The people who did this uh, Declaration Dan, of can you turn it up? The Constitution were uh, good people. Like this. And this it's a good place. Guy this shirt is so high. Up on the mountain. If this son of a bitch wants to bitch about his cows over here and shoot at me, well. And you it's know they country. have no intention of actually hitting each other. Of course. He's shooting them with sports. Yeah. There's, there's like a 0% chance of hitting each other. I love his, his, his weird manner of speaking. It's all very rushed. You know? Right. Yeah, I talk about the Declaration yeah. of Independence. Wow. It's because he's always got a cigarette holder in his mouth. Oh, duh. He's got That's this right. weird... The, the holder. Right, right, But right. it like became part of his drawl, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He's such an interesting fucking guy. Right. And he was like... Uh, he uh, When 9-11 happened... He wrote this whole thing the next day that called it, called it all. He was like, we're going to go to war. We're going to go to Saudi Arabia, Iraq. Wow. Uh, not Saudi impression. Arabia. <laughs> Iraq. Uh, <laughs> looks some drunk. <laughs> yeah, right. He called, he called, I think, the three countries that we ended up, like, fucking Jeez. bombing Jeez. in the immediate aftermath. 
the guy blew his fucking brains out. He made like a pact early in his life. He's like, when I turn, I don't know how old he was, 59 or whatever. He, he, I That's young. He called it early. Yeah, he said, right? I'm going to kill myself at this age. Huh. And he did. So he just m- made yeah. it up in his mind. See, yeah. I would rather go to 92 and take a spill down some stairs. I mean, Absolutely. that seems like a... After yeah. a lifeline. Seems line, better. I, I, have so, I love the guy. He smoked his whole fucking life. And lived to 90 something. And he took a tumble and he's peaced out. Was he a healthy dude? Do you know enough about his... I mean, he was thin. He was very tall. And he smoked a lot. Yeah. Dude, just the fact that he could still walk stairs at that age... I envy that. Written well, apparently not. No, nah, he couldn't. Well, okay, <laughs> so, not. so he told, but he tried. Yeah, yeah he That's tried. That's what's yeah. important, you know. He was like, "Oh, stairs, huh? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> nah, got it. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to Re- go. God rest his soul. God, God rest his soul. Yeah. I'm thinking more of the uh, musician era, so I would either want to have a have a pint or a shot with Ben Folds, one of my. Wait, isn't he alive? Well, yeah, we can make that. Well, he's still in history. Yeah. Wait, are we, wait, wait, was the question like no, dead no. or alive? It was both. Oh, okay, good. Okay, yeah. then Ben Folds. I was just like I was thinking about dead people. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys went the the morbid route, you know. Um, but uh, no, Ben Folds has been a uh, the inspiration of mine musically for decades. Mm. Honestly, I just I love love. He's love. awesome. He really is. Yeah. I came to our college years ago, and just oh my god. Um. So I I still follow him. You know. So I just all of my like. Anything piano wise that I write, it's mm. clearly ripped off Ben Folds. Let's be real. Um, and then second, my uh, my other inspiration that I would love to have a drink with, also still alive, Japanese composer Nobuo Uematsu. He is responsible for writing all the. Um, Dan's a fan. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Was that that? Because Nobuo Uematsu, he uh, wrote the soundtrack for like the first ten Final Fantasy games, oh. of which I've never played. Ah. Wow. But, I, but listening to the soundtracks to Final Fantasy got me into writing music to begin with. And Holy smokes. He's just like yeah. And I, beyond that, I don't know a thing about him. I know like he, he's a Japanese composer, but you know he got a lot of Western influences like Jimi Hendrix and Led Zeppelin and such. What the hell? Yeah, it's a true story. But you would never know it listening to his music. It's not like his music sounds like Jimi Hendrix. It's all just gorgeous orchestrations, and it's funny because like he's writing for like you know eight bit, sixteen bit, you know Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo, and then you can hear his work evolve into PlayStation Two, where you can finally fit a full orchestra onto a CD and or DVD, and it's gorgeous. And the guy like. Imagine writing 60, 70, 80 hours of music per game, Final Fantasies 1 mm. through 10. So listening to his stuff, you know, really inspired me. I would love to just pick both of those guys' mm. brains over a beer or two. Ian, can you pull up one of his songs? I find that such an interesting medium. I could do a song. Video game yeah. music. I could do a song right now. Oh, okay. Song. Did he write that? Nice, the victory. He sure did the victory. No theme. way. That was nice. That's iconic. That was nice. Yeah, he did that. Da 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 I got some Jill or Gill. Gill. I've never known how to pronounce that. G I L. It's Gill. I would say Gill. Is it GIF or Jif? It's the same fucking. Okay, don't get me triggered. It's a fucking GIF. And anyone who says GIF, they're wrong. Yeah, I mean, okay. Oh, the original person said GIF. Get fucking real. Fuck Shit you. changes. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't know what he's saying. Culture about. happens. Culture ha- culture will assume the rights it's to something. It's GIF. Yeah. It's GIF. GIF. Nobody GIF. says GIF. GIF sounds like a fucking place where you change your car oil. But it's it's That's also, us. is it Gil? It's Gil. It's Gil. What? What is that? Is that the currency? That's the currency Final of Final okay. Fantasy. Okay. At least I've, the one I played. I have to tell okay. you, I'm in, I find it very interesting that you've never played the games, but you're a huge fan of the music. Would you someone, say it's When I was in eighth grade, someone gave me like fascinating. A, someone gave me the, the soundtrack in eighth grade to Final Fantasy X. That was the first PS2 Final Fantasy game. Never played the game. To this day, never even touched it. And... It just the 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 opening theme. It's called like two. I'm gonna butcher the. Uh, I apologize, people in the in the chat in the comments. But to Zanarkand or Zanarkand or whatever, it's this gorgeous piano composition. And I taught myself how to play it by ear. To this day, I can't really sight read very well. I'm very slow at it. But I taught myself how to play it because I was so fucking moved and inspired by this piano piece. And now, and that's that was the uh, that was the pivoting point for me. That's why I I write music for all my videos to this day, man. Incredible. Yeah. So I guess there's just some Final Fantasy VI music. Ah, the opera, yeah. A lot of people reference the uh, opera scene from Final Fantasy VI. So he did all this, huh? Wrote the whole soundtrack. He's a genius to everything. Has he not done movies or anything like that? I'd no. imagine. He's done, I think he's dabbled in anime and gotcha. some, and some, and some um, films, like anime films. 
Um, but um, not not traditional. I can films. still play like Final Fantasy VII songs in my head. Yeah, I can't do them with my mouth like I did with the. No, but I hear you. Yeah, because you know the themes, but... and they're they're hard enough. Yeah. Anime has amazing music, man. It does. I don't. I don't... Cow- Cowboy Bebop, dude. You yeah. ever see? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoko Kano. Have you seen Hunter Hunter? Never heard of Hunter Hunter. What's oh that? my god, the music in that is fucking. What's nuts, that, What's bro. the uh, What's the genre? Orchestral or guitar? It's just weeboo anime, hardcore weeboo shit. Anime. <laughs> it's about a bunch of kids with magic and they fuck shit up and they. No, fuck... I mean like the the music. What's the music like? Like the instrumentation? Is that like? Uh... Oh hell yeah, in for a trip. Oh my god, one of these songs makes me freaking jizz, Dag. Uh, I love that. See, music can be so inspiring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. In the same way that prose can be inspiring, you know? Music is so much more accessible in a way than um Well it's universal. Than prose, you know. It's you universal. don't have to think, you don't have to do anything, you just sit back and enjoy the right limit. There's this one in particular. Because I don't I don't think my guy Nobuo Oimatsu, I don't think he knows English. I don't think he speaks English, but he doesn't fucking have to to no. communicate. I don't know if this is the one I'm thinking of. Are we on a card right now? Oh, yeah, this is it. You know, this shit's on another level, and some guy just made it for an anime show. Right? It's like the best song ever. I love that. I love when people write music so for crazy. TV or, or, or video games, and it's the best shit. You know what? I gotta go run to the bathroom. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I'm gonna keep this playing. All right. I'll be back in a short two minutes. Those of you who subscribe can enjoy it. The rest of you can watch a fucking commercial. Yeah, right? Figure it out. That's that right. Off, that came off harsh, but... That's what it is. We'll talk. We'll talk over. Yeah, we'll, me and we'll Jack are doing thing. the commercial live. Yeah, absolutely. Way, so, yeah. today's H three podcast was uh, brought to you by Hennessy. Hennessy, uh, thank you. <laughs> thanks, Hennessy. Hey, huge yeah. thanks to uh, Rose and Hennessy. What, what what Rose is that again, Eric? Oh, this is uh, Rotari. <laughs> Rotari Rose. God, you model that well. You beautiful son of a bitch. You I hope I'm so looking well. into the right You're not. Camera. You're not. It's probably this one over here. But goddamn, you look good doing it. It's a good camera to look into. Hey, Eric, what is your next, um, while I got you here on my podcast, yeah. what is your next uh, video going to be? What's oh, your next project? Uh, my next video was going to be called uh, Kids Corner. And I was, <laughs> was going to do the whole thing like it was a kid's show. And Amazing. then I saw a, a Chris Raygun video oh, uh, no. about the same fucking no. thing. And I was Fuck like, Fuck you, Chris God Raygun. Damn it. If you're watching this yeah. Chris Raygun, way to steal my friend's idea somehow <laughs> telepathically. Fuck you. Yeah. I he, met he you at VidCon, you're really cool, the, but fuck you though. The the mind pool and took it uh, preemptively. But I, I do have a thing where if I'm making a video, yeah. and this has happened with some of Ethan and Hila's videos too, where if I'm in the middle of writing a video oh. and I see another video that hits too many of the same points, yeah. I bail. I'm out. That sucks. Don't you, I, I bought a suck? fucking beanie with What's a that? propeller top to lateral it. Lateral thinking. I hate that. You know, it's not even lateral thinking. I think no? I think he just got to it first because it's something that oh, probably a lot I of. See. But someone, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Absolutely. It, it's just too soon. And I I saw on Twitter he's making a new one, so I didn't want to. It was gonna be so funny too. I say you still make it, man. Shit. I might still make it. I, I think it's because you have, have a different him up voice. on Twitter. Chris Chris Reagan has his voice. Yeah. Commenticate has his own voice. Right. I say you do it. But I he, normally, yeah, normally that wouldn't stop me. But the beats of his video uh, were simply too similar. Interesting. To what I was doing. That's and really interesting. I hated the idea of sort of, uh, you know, getting into it. Yeah, I hear you. I like, hear you. Like it, it would suck to to make a video that because I was like I had finished writing it already, mm-hmm. and then I saw his. And I was like, oh, fuck. At least, did you shoot any? No, I didn't shoot any. See, that's good. I, I just wrote it. Okay. But, okay. Um, that's still annoying, but it could be a lot I worse. mean, uh, I'm not against sending him, like, a, a DM and being like, hey, man, I'm going to make this. By DM, do you mean a I'm DMCA? Not, I'm not ripping you off. Do you mean a DMCA? By DM, fucking, I mean DMCA. Yeah, and just shut him up for life? <laughs> yeah. It's your fucking yeah. property now, baby. <laughs> no, he's he's cool. I, I met him at he is cool. He's we're, a nice guy. We're talking about how... How Chris Reagan just boofs all day, every day, and just like a, he's a great A boofer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but for real. Met I met him. Yeah, he's a. Have you met you met Chris Reagan? Wait, no, when I you never came to VidCon, him. yeah, that's we what were I, all drinking together. Right? He was, he's a cool guy. He's, Holy shit, I, got I like him a lot that night. I like him a lot. He seems like a good guy. Um, that was honestly, I keep saying, oh, my favorite night of my favorite um, <sighs> era of VidCon 
was the night where I snuck out and hung out at the Hilton Hotel with you fucks. That was insane. Because I got, everything else is such a shit show. That's VidCon. the drunkest I've been in years. Dude, that was such <laughs> a years. fun night. I've never been to VidCon. I thought about going this year, but I was like, ugh. You missed out. I don't know. I, we, we had a held down. I don't we blame had you. Adam from YMS. We had Chris Ray gun. I, I did want to hang out with all those guys, but just yeah. I don't know. You have to hang out with the right people. Otherwise, it's so. So once once my manager left, um, I was off. I I hated it. I hated like I didn't like like. And I loved. I used to love VidCon every year. It was like my fucking Christmas in the middle of the year. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. I was all for it. And then it just became so corporate and so. Like it disassociated with what it used to stand for, it, that what now, did it used to stand for? Community, um, okay. Little hotel room parties, you know what I mean? Like it used to be the small thing where it's like, yo, guys, meet me at room uh, three one four, and uh, we'll just like crack open some beers and chat. Now right. it's like, hey, did you get an invite to the um, the the this party, the Studio seventy one party, exactly. Yeah. And it's just, just show very... up and don't tell anybody. And nah, come to the bar. Man. They got bouncers on bouncers. Can you not pull? Do you know who I am? Well, that was the big. Well, you you. Com- you talked about that whole thing, right? The whole, Did the, we? the Instagram model. Yeah, yeah. You talked about VidCon in your right. The in- oh yeah 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 with the well the logo the Instagram. Paul shit. Well that and there was like that Instagram model who like was the whole who pulled the whole. Do you know? Who oh I the am guy. The security guard. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah with that, like ten thousand followers. That's he, right. he can't pull it. Do you know who I am? Yeah. You could. No. Oh God. No. 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 Because because you you do know who you are. But listen to this. Listen. <laughs> it's so bad that just a, a couple of years ago. Um, it was either, I, I think it was Hank Green, and we all know that Hank Green, one of the co-founders, right. you know, if not the founder of VidCon. I have no idea who the fuck that is. So the, the... He's a bit of a boof. Did I pay him money? <laughs> no, he's not. You have to pay him off. Did I pay him? <coughs> you paid him. I have paid some, him. Some way or another. Shit. What about this fucking boof for... <laughs> so this guy, so Hank Green, I, I can't, I think he was telling the story. He, a couple of years ago, was, you know, in line. For one of these parties, maker party or studio, mm. or whatever the fuck, collective back it's then. It's his, it's his event. It's his event, and he and he couldn't get wow. in to his That's to a so party great. at his own fucking event. That's so great, and he didn't pull. He's he's a he's a better man. He didn't pull a. Do you know who I am? And I, I'm sorry, but I, we all, there's no chance in hell we wouldn't pull that card. Of course, we would be like, do you know who I am? We invented VidCon, like if we were in your shoes, his shoes, I mean, but he did not, and. Like I, I, that takes great patience and control. But can you imagine if you founded VidCon and you didn't get into a party at your own convention? I would raise hell. Yeah, he's getting paid though. But you couldn't. <laughs> it's his fucking event. It's like, oh, cool! It's so big that you know. I just said, I'd be pissed. No, I'd be pissed. Scro- I'd be pissed. Be he like, can Scrooge McDuck in his vault of gold. I'd, I'd fucking feel bad. shit in my Pope hat <laughs> and show it to the bouncer and go, what do you think this is? Oh do, you, do you know what this means? The Pope shits in his hat. The that Pope means I get entry. shits in his hat. No, I would be upset. I'd probably yeah, I'd, you know I'd, who I'd, I am. I'd be furious. I, I but would... like the, the point I'm trying to make shit is VidCon is it's a double edged sword. On one hand, it can be a lot of fun. On the other hand, it's not as fun as it used to be because it's a such this it's bigger than us. Well, it's this corporate event. I've never been. And my yeah. only my real uh, pre well, I don't know how it works. No one ever reached out to us, so I was like, Oh, I don't know. Okay. I was never invited, so I don't even know like what my access would be because I'm I'm just on the floor. It wouldn't you wouldn't, be have, that, much, you wouldn't no. have fun on, on the floor because people would, would swamp you. And I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. No, not you would like, get swamped. Yeah, not it wouldn't like, be fun oh, for you guys. I'm so famous. It's literally people are there who are on YouTube. That's the fact of the matter. And so clearly it's not fun. Most, a lot of people there would know who we are. Yeah. So I didn't have like any kind of special access. No. And like um, what my experience was like seeing Logan Paul, you know, fucking setting up a drone and setting up a mob and I'm like Ugh. hiding money and I don't like, know fucking I, that. No, I, fuck I that. mean fuck that the I, this last vis- vid oh boy this get last it together <laughs> I need this pizza take a shot <laughs> Ian where's the pizza take, yeah take a shot that'll fix it <laughs> um, this last VidCon was the first one I ever went to yeah and I, I went there and uh, <laughs> I walked around in a sea of children for about mm-hmm. a half hour before I was like every day, every I, I might just leave like yeah. this is Obviously not. My that scene. aspect is not fun. It's not like yeah. And I googled, the right be like that. I googled stuff like that. bars. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. I was like, I went to Google. I was like, okay, closest bar, and I found the one, and it was like right there. It was at the the Hilton. The Hilton. And I was like, oh, 
uh, I'm going there then. Okay. And then, like, uh, like I tweeted that I was at VidCon, and a couple people hit me up. So, uh, and I was like, all right, meet, meet me at, at the this Hilton bar. bar. Yeah, yeah. And then I just only, stayed right? at that fucking bar the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. I never went back. One of my buddies was working there. So here's here. Okay, that's actually no, I didn't know that. But here's here's the deal with the Hilton Bar. That spot exactly where I met you guys that night and where you were. That used to be the hot spot for VidCon for years and years. That bar, that exact bar. That was like the because that's where they put up all the um, all the YouTubers and all the creators and talent, gotcha. whatever oh, you want to call it. That's where it used to be there. This is the first year where it wasn't there. They moved all the. Um, if you had like a panel or a or a talk or a meetup or a whatever the fuck, they put you all up in a different hotel that wasn't in that whole little area by the convention center. You know what I'm talking about with the huh. Hilton and the, it wasn't there. It was a drive away, so you couldn't like fucking walk. I wonder to why it. they did that. Well, I think just because it's, it's been so it's gotten more so privacy. big, more privacy, and also it's just gotten so big they can't contain everyone hmm. and fans at the Hilton anymore. So they have to put all the creators up. So we this is the first normally we rent like a couple of floors in that in that Hilton. Okay. This year they rented out an entire hotel Gosh. purely for YouTubers. There's a lot of money in that, and that's fine. And it's just like at one so. Early on, it was kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Like, so Aaron and I were there. It was kind of nice. We would have, like, you know, I would have brunch or whatever with my manager, and we could just walk around freely and whatever. And it was nice. Like, all the YouTubers could. But then later on, like, man, it just wasn't with, with all the parties, you mm-hmm. know, the the exclusive, like, oh, you got a wristband? You got a right. wristband for this party? You going to this thing tonight? That's when I was like, fuck this. I'm going to go to the Hilton. Back when VidCon used to be VidCon, right. and that's where I met up with you and Chris Raygun and all those guys. That was so much fun. And that was the best night of VidCon. That was great. It was the best night. I think that part of that is you you have to be 21 to enter the bar, right? Yes. So well, it filters no, the crowd. No, you don't, apparently. Oh, the Hilton bar? Yeah. Mm. It, like, wow. any fucking 17-year-old could run up and do a shot that you had just bought for other people, apparently. Shout out to the Hilton bar, apparently. <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> Well, I, it wasn't on them. It was this. If you look yeah, at the yeah, yeah. schematics of the of the table we were at, it was mm-hmm. so far away from anybody who was working there that hopefully next time there's a VidCon there, they'll be carting these fucking kids at these tables because they, I'll bet they took some some measures. This they, year, uh, because it, it's there's going to be some shit some shit that slips through. Yeah. yeah. God, we are. I'm drunk. <laughs> we are I'm drunk. fully drunk. I'm not going to lie. Here, let me do a segue here. And Let's let me just have... say we got hit with an audio. Uh, <laughs> We're getting yeah. ray yeah. gun. Yeah. Dude, yeah. who's, who's got, we got, we got hit with the we old Sonic? Is there old any Cuba. Cubans here or what? <laughs> Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lighten it up here. Oh, no. <laughs> real light. No. Real light subject matter. Let's take God. a hard segue right. here. Okay. <laughs> Did you guys know that suicide attempts in the United States are way up? No, I did not. Actually, <laughs> they're way feel... way up. What, like this year? Let's lighten or... it up. Yeah, this in the past couple of years, past couple, I just okay. wanted to. This is turning to like an episode of Black Mirror. That bad? Huh? We're having fun, and now we're going to talk about suicide. <laughs> oh boy, hard hard turn. Okay. Actually, no, I find that's I a did good lead in from VidCon. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, first of all, like these stats were kind of, I mean, certainly interesting, but surprising a lot too. Um, so it almost one like percent of women have attempted suicide. That's what that is. One per, like per, yeah, I don't percentile know. of 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 the population. How do we people parse polled. this? Suicide attempted. Or, well, yeah. Jesus. And Christ. and I've always heard that it's men who who are attempting suicide more but Me according too, to I've this, heard that statistic but it's actually significantly more like women double that yeah it looks like twice as many women and then age wise it's okay, the yeah, young let's see kids the, yeah oh my god 21 to th- oh wow wow the, these young kids man 21 to 34 well 34 huh. is actually we that's all actually not that fall young. within that holy though. shit yeah jeez uh. okay. and then like um this I'll show you what really surprised me yeah Single people, this didn't, this isn't really surprising, but let me show you. I know I shouldn't be surprised by this, but the poor people who make under twenty thousand a year are way more at risk. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense, but God. yeah, because you always hear people saying like, "Oh, when I was poor, I was fucking simpler and happier." Right. I right. mean, I hear that, but apparently that it's pro- statistically not almost two percent. Good lord! I mean. That's really so. Two percent, like so, one point six percent of the populace. The population. I, if I'm if I'm understanding this correctly, which I may not be. Um. Yeah. What's the um? Yeah. What's the data like? Like, uh, I'm interested to find out of what. So, like, a sample n equals thirty four thousand. Huh. 
Actually, I don't understand this chart, if I'm being honest with you guys. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a poll out of yeah. 50 Well, there's people. one on the right, and uh, I don't one, know. One thing you're going to get uh, out of this uh, podcast is uh, <laughs> we, uh, Ian, can you help we me? don't know how to... We don't know parse how to this. <laughs> Ian, tell me what the fuck. Dan, somebody, what's the difference between these two columns? Because you've got here, I don't know if this is like. Oh, overall, suicide's up. It's up. Right. It's, it's a buyer's market. Yeah, it's a it's a killer. It's a suiciders yeah. market. Um, well, but it's fucking terrible. Yeah. What is going right? on well, in this world? Yeah. What's that going on? people are just deciding, I'm going to fucking kill myself. Well, can you blame it on just the, um, not blame it, but for, uh, for lack of a better term, can you blame it on just the uprise in global population? You know, more people well, means more suicides. It's per capita. It's a percentage. Oh, you're right. So, okay, that, so there goes that, that. That isn't reflected. No, no. Okay. Um, well, I'm looking at that. So you see past year mental disorders. Yeah, that one's really high. Uh-huh. Shit's so maybe it's it's that? just not knowing your place in the world. I think it's harder to okay. find your place in the world. Yeah. I, There's less jobs. What is the it's, world? It's these harder days. to make connections because we're all online. Everyone's trying to meet people right. on Tinder, and that's not I, real. Yeah, but you have on a Tinder place in thinking, the world. Look, everybody like, there's never any reason to kill yourself. No, ever. No, ever. Well, I, I Bo- you know who's Boogie had a really really awesome analogy on Twitter the other day. He said when you like when you kill yourself, your or when you commit suicide, you are completely <laughs> limiting the option or the potential. For happiness, <laughs> like we, death is a guarantee. Mm. Suicide completely rules out any potential for betterment. So why bother? And I thought that was like mm. it was so concise. It was better put than I just did, but it was extremely concisely, beautifully mm. put, and I loved that. Well, there's this one line from a Clint Eastwood movie. I think it's Once Upon a Time in the West. He says, "What's it like killing someone?" And it's applicable to killing yourself. He says, "It's a hell of a thing killing someone. You take away all, everything they've got and everything they'll ever have." Mm. So you're doing that. I mean, but Mm. I mean, I've never been I've definitely been in dark places in my life. But I mean, man, you've got to. I don't know that I can put myself there. Yeah. I mean, we can't, which is like we're barely qualified to talk about this. Yeah. But I mean, do people have a right to kill themselves? No, not unless you're like 92 years old and you're looking at a flight of stairs like, well, there it is. Right. Vonnegut style. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel you. <laughs> you laughed. I heard that laugh. That's disgusting. <laughs> well, that, I mean, in that's the disgusting. Background. Well, a dis- uh, assisted suicide is certainly something. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, that, yeah. That suicide roller coaster or the euthanasia oh, roller yes. coaster. Uh-huh, how is, that, like... is that an actual thing? No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's all theoretical. I don't think it's an actual physical oh, build. God. It's all theoretical. But I've heard that. Yeah. Where it's like, it's like seven or so loop de loops each gradually. Right. Getting oh, and you just like lose. Like how to like pain painlessly kill yourself. I've seen graphs of that. But I mean, it's. Really the the crater that you leave in your wake is is, yeah. but in, like, in my opinion, not ever worth it. But for if anyone. if your life is so, if you're just living in a state of total misery and suffering and torture, mm-hmm. right? Is, is it, it is, is it, it better? Se- is it a selfless? Is it a selfish act to take your life and leave that that way? Yes, and that. You think so? Yeah, selfish. It's a fucking selfish thing. But, but what if you're in such pain? Did yeah. you hear about Lady? Uh, this is sorry, this is not to be a hard left or anything, or make a hard left. But Lady Gaga had to very recently cancel an entire tour or a concert in somewhere in South America um, because she was in so much pain. She suffers from a very uncommon um, disease with um, muscle pain, nerve pain, mm. something like that, and like. That sucks. Yeah. You, so imagine being that. in... So, yeah, yeah, that's a real thing. I just saw it in Twitter constant moments. Constant physical like, pain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know if it's constant. I know, I know very little about it, but I heard another pot, another radio show talk about it. Some people have that, though. Yeah. It exists. Yeah. So I don't... Like, that's when, for me, that's when it becomes really, really gray. Well, in a way, like, you look at people with anxiety and depression who are living in constant mental Mental anguish. pain. Yeah. Right, because we and like we, it's very easy for me and for us to say like, oh, just suck it's it up. Selfish. It's selfish. It's self. It's like uh, suck it up. You know, I don't life, know. I'm, it's I'm generally conflicted with, by and it's it. like, yeah, mm. I don't, like we're not. We don't experience constant. We're very fortunate, you know. Yeah. Like, I guess, um, but like we we don't experience pain. Is this is this a human condition or is it a symptom of like a sick world? Yeah, 
that people are, are, are so many people are, are choosing to end their own. I, I can't existence. imagine anyone killing themselves because of the world. It's always no, but because it's the of them. conditions. Yeah. It's the conditions that the world brings. Like, like I was saying before, that you have no, you, there's no purpose to find for yourself. There's no mate to find for yourself. You're having. Well, that's a, all things you tell yourself. It doesn't mean no, it's but true. It's, uh, I've heard it said. There's like, oh, we got pizza. Thank you, Andy. Pizza. Oh! <laughs> There's like um, there's there's several factors. It's my reason to live. Right hold here. on, I'll, hold on. We got pizza. I can't talk about depression right now. <laughs> thank you, man. Oh, thank you. All right, next some I mean, it's uh, look. There's there's several factors. Thank you. This fucking belly <laughs> when when talking about like. Um, <laughs> here you are, sir. Did you guys get pizza out there? They didn't get any. What? Yeah, send them a well, box. Well, we don't need a whole. We don't need two whole yeah. pizzas. You yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, take are a box. All cheese? You guys want this one or the cheese? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm up for. You guys want the? Uh, what do you guys want out there? Cheese. Oh yeah, you guys don't eat meat. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Should be drunk. Take the fucking pizza for Christ's sake. Um, <laughs> don't make me beg. Yeah, like I mean, you know, Look, we we could talk for hours about the reason behind suicide when really it's fucking alien to us. It really like, is. Yeah. What, yeah. What okay, we like, all hope yeah. to do is just to be. Uh, like, have you ever gotten a message from somebody that's like? Hey, I've been feeling really down, and you, you helped. Yes. In in the most basic of, of yes. examples. Like, you see something like that, and you're like, oh, well, I don't know what you're going through, but whatever I did worked. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? I, I take those messages with a grain of salt. Oh, yeah? Really? Because I don't think that someone who's actually, like, clinically depressed and, and suicidal. <sighs> Look, this is kind of sad. I mean, I don't know. Well, hey, you gotta a lot of people just a, a pretty crazy a lot of, thing to do too. So a lot of people just want your your attention, mm-hmm. and so and I take that stuff with a grain of salt because I okay I don't want it to I go to my that. head. I hear that. Yeah, and of course. Be like, it's very oh. easy for that. Well, yeah, there's yeah, a lot not, of people. You're not the savior of mankind. Like, wow, I just, you're saved just you know, life. if you look at there's yeah. some people out there who are like, I fucking. I have saved so many right. people's lives, yeah. and it's like I, right. don't know, I don't want that shit to go to my head. Exactly. Right. That's the I don't, I don't know. Right. I'm just out here. I'm making videos. If you think it's funny and you enjoy it, I I appreciate that. But right. yeah. you're not setting out to try to I'm, save lives. Right. You're no. not. You know, that's no. not the end game. No. It's a nice, you know, I guess side effect or like a bonus if it's true. Absolutely. But that's not the. That's not why you and I do what I'm not. We do. I'm not a fucking saint. No. Right. I'm doing my job. Yeah, right. I mean, the fact that we're here eating pizza and talking about suicide right. I is, know. I think, proof that we're not <laughs> fucking not authorities the on not the matter. The, yes. You shouldn't trust but us I to suppose. get you out of any dark spots. Right. But that there, comes from within. Yeah, absolutely. There's like, there's like a couple of different major things, okay? There's like employment, relationships. That's all I can think of. I'll bet, but, but, but certain relationships things out there, it's hard. It's a tough world. I think relationships are, is a huge thing because I feel like we've yes. seen enough movies and TV shows that we're all entitled. We're all entitled to find our soulmate, where whatever that means. We're all entitled to find our one. So if something goes wrong, if a bunch of dates and Tinder swipes and matches go wrong, I bet that's really fucking. What's the word? Like, like you can get really disenchanted or or, or, or like really uh like. I'm not. I'm butchering this disenfranchised, but I feel like that can really mess you up mentally into thinking like, well, he's good enough. You know, why not me? Or, Absolutely. Or, or, you know, and and that that can. I'm really gonna get real with you right you now. When I was in college, yeah, I was in a. I had like generalized anxiety disorder and probably depression. I don't know, but I was super, super in a dark place. And the thing that cured me was getting into this relationship with Ela. Where I had someone to confide in and when I was having really troubled dark times I could tell her and talk to her about it and like having that Release of emotion. Yeah, I think is what really got me out of that rut. Wow. Have you guys ever done wow. therapy? I actually have not you haven't done th- uh, Jack have you ever, ever I mean, you but I'm, to... I'm sure it's a good no, thing. No, but uh, therapy is worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. it it well because like well who the fuck cares what this person thinks of you? You're paying them. Right. And you get to say whatever you want. And and I think that when you put those kinds of words in front of you, you can yeah. see them for what they are. And you can see that they really are just uh, your imagination in a lot of cases uh, getting the better of you. And and that's the worst part about depression and, and these suicidal thoughts 
you're being tricked into thinking this. You're you're not your mind is like you, your you're own not worst really enemy. feeling that way. But you know you're tricking yourself into thinking that people way. People who kill themselves, I've heard, often are afraid that they're a burden on their friends and family, mm. and that's why they do it. Which is never the case. It's no. not the case, no. but it's that mental illness. It's a yeah. mental illness. Mental yeah. illness is is a a, a wild person by person dragon right. that is ferocious and eat you up from the inside and it's tough to put words to it uh and i think that's why a lot of people sort of just go eh, fuck it and and do themselves well in. it's sick because you become your own worst enemy it's like you're the one that's making yourself suffer and it's just like you begin to hate yourself yeah it's like what the fuck am i doing to myself yeah i mean hey i i smoke cigarettes so i'm basically so slow slowly burn. killing myself <laughs> yeah and uh, uh you know I don't know. <laughs> what? 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 No, nah, I'm gonna drop that one. <laughs> oh fuck! All right. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll revisit that. In a I, I can't. Shots. I can't. Uh, I can't compare that to what people with depression feel. Like, no, there's I, no. I, I get that. There's yeah. no yeah. comparison there. Um, it's it's a terrible beast, and you need to talk to somebody. Yeah, I that's feel like the that key. Is, get yeah. a therapist. That was like my. That. If you're depressed and like you that. you have dark thoughts, therapy. It's not I a agree. it's not a shameful thing. <laughs> my mom wanted to call in. Hi. Hey, Mom, you're on the air. Huh. Hi. Well, you know, you guys were talking about suicide, and I wanted to chime in because I had a personal experience. Wow. When I was pregnant I with stop you, pizza. I had thyroid cancer. Yeah. Mm. Once it was removed, they put you on a Synthroid, which is a synthetic thyroid medication that you take to keep you balanced mm. and a lot of people that are suicidal it's a chemical imbalance right. and what happened to me is after i had my surgery um i had no more thyroid tissue and the amount of thyroid that i was taking before was not enough and i woke up one morning and i thought if this is what life's all about i I can't, I can't live. And I thought to myself, this is crazy. I just had a baby. I should have everything to live for. And so I called the doctor and they changed my thyroid uh, medication. They upped it by a lot. And it was almost like someone turning on a switch. Jeez. It was. Go ahead. What were you going to ask? Oh, me? no, he just said, geez. Sorry. Yeah, it was it <laughs> was on, insane. Jack. I was literally thinking about how I was going to take my life. Fuck. And then and then I realized this is crazy. This should not be happening. <clears throat> and that's when I called the doctor. So you actually and, had like on the side of bottles, sometimes they say symptoms, side effects might include suicidal thoughts. No, no, no. It, well, maybe in my case, it wasn't a symptom. It wasn't enough thyroid because your pituitary and your thyroid gland are your two major glands. And when you don't get enough uh, of the, that particular chemical, your body is lacking whatever it needs, and, you know, it can it can make you wonky. So in your case, you had quite literal chemical imbalance. That's right. And Dad and I actually had a friend who just got married. She had a chemical imbalance. Two months after she was married, she committed suicide. <sighs> That's so it, it, having a chemical imbalance is very real. Yeah. You know, I'm sure there's there's so many. It's irrational, reasons. right? The the desire to take your own life is an oh, irrational it's, one. It's yeah, it's well, like I was feeling that why am I living if this is what life is about? I, I don't care to live it. What was it? Really, I, I'm actually just curious to get inside your head. Like. What was it that was so compelling about that thought? I woke up tired and I felt useless and I felt like I had no purpose and I just felt a huge uh, void and I didn't understand it and I just thought, if this is what life is, mm. I, I really don't want to live it. Yikes. It was... Yeah, yikes is right. But in the, but, in the process you know, of fixing that, I had just that, had that surgery. I knew something right. was wrong. So, but for someone yeah. who just has a chemical imbalance, you know, they might just check out. Right. You know? So, 
there's God, can, you know, I'm so glad now the way that the insurance is with the Affordable uh, Care Act that mental um, problems is considered just the way, you know, someone like with a broken arm, you know, it's very real where before it wasn't, you know, a lot of people didn't get, um, they didn't get the care they needed, hmm. but it's a very real situation. Hmm. So I just thought I'd throw okay. that into your conversation. Thanks, Ma. Yeah. You're Thank welcome. you. Wow. Yes. That's, and, right, and how are you feeling now, Mrs. Board. Klein? <laughs> how are you feeling later, now? Babe. Okay. She's all right. She's, she's okay. good. Yeah, yeah. She's good. Go Thanks, Mom. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, all right. All right, bye. All right, bye. That is okay. enlightening. No, because that's it's when a you, great. Yeah. When you hear the phrase chemical imbalance, or at least like me personally, when I hear the phrase chemical imbalance, I don't think much of it. I'm not actually thinking it's a literal imbalance, like it's a physical manifestation that can be righted. I like that's incredible. Your brain can turn on I did not know you. that about my mom. That's crazy. <laughs> that you didn't yeah. know. That. Well, but, I, my God. It's, it's a great anecdote because yeah. she actually, like, the three of us don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Right. We shouldn't. Yeah, 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 absolutely yeah. not. We yeah. are absolutely in no not. way uh, trying to no, solve the problem not or doctors. anything like that. We cured These suicide. Simply our hot takes based on yeah. the percentages and everything. And, yeah. Some um, experiences. But, but to hear from like, somebody who's actually had a chemical imbalance, who's, who's gone through those issues, that's it, it tells you a lot because, I mean, now she's she's happy. She has you to yeah, live I for. Mean, and hey. At the very least, right. well, she has you to live for. Right. Damn, that's – I mean, yeah. So I, it seems – I bet a lot of times suicide comes from – it's just super irrational. Yeah. Right. It's hard to it's, – it's weird to think that your thoughts and your mood and how you see the world – the lens is is not even really kind of out of your control sometimes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Our brains are, Fuck are that. fucking fragile, man. Like, oh my God. when you're four years old, you could get any kind of phobia slash fetish slash... Eric's talking from experience. Anything. <laughs> like, anything. And it sticks yeah. with you for life. They, as an adult, you could <laughs> yeah. spend the rest of your life peeing with your pants around your ankles yeah. because of something that happened as, to you as yeah, a kid. Again, not that you would know. But yeah. not well. I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. I'm yeah. I'm I'm afraid of balloons. You know what I mean? Like and, and yeah. It it like I'm I'm guessing that it didn't just go from zero to fixed. That's in, what in she that said. Situation. She said it was like a someone turned a light on. Yeah, but that she didn't say something. Yeah, but but then it was the, yeah. It she, was right. She mentioned yeah, it, and right. they corrected it. You got to say something. Yeah. You have yeah. to. You that's, have to say something. That's the biggest thing. If you have those listening. dark thoughts, if you have all that shit, talk about it. You have to talk get about it. Out it there so put it, it be treated. give it a, a manifestation. Yeah, that that's you the only have way a, get a fucking face for. No, it's you and have then maybe to get, you can start from there. It's a really symbolic thing of getting it out of your body. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, that's the thing. Mike, is it working? My f- Just now. fuck's sake, <laughs> Sarah. Okay, we're good. Um... I was just going to say, when I got hit the hardest with my anxiety, mm. I held, I was like, I w- I'll tell you what I was thinking at the time. I w- didn't want to let my family, I thought I was going schizophrenic. Yeah. I didn't want to let my family down. And I was afraid just by saying it, I was making it real. And so I held on to it, just hoping that it would get better for like a month. And it kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where it was like almost certain that I was fully schizophrenic. And it only got better to the point where I started actually talking about it to my parents. Yeah. You and have I, to talk and, about I, and it. I think that's really the takeaway. If anyone's out there feeling having some rough times, I think communication. Yeah. If you don't have someone that you can talk to in in in, in your life, go to a therapist. And at the very least, there's suicide hotlines that are free. Those are people who yeah. care and they want to. You listen. can talk to people. Yeah. Like yeah. their job is to you're not some fucking like special case for them. No, nope. they're right. used to talking to people with Look these at problems. Shit. You're not alone, man. Right, you're not, not alone. alone. Yeah, I think there's a just, lot. I of think people. there's a negative stigma still. Like I mean, as internal as that it you're might weak. Be. Yeah, but it's right. not it's about not weak. A, right. Yeah, you're it's not a weakness. Mom, she's weak. She had a you know. Yeah, right. it's not a Nothing weakness. To do with it's it. it's right. a it's something that you need to. It's out of your control nine times out of ten. You need to put a face on it. You need to figure out why it's happening. So what happened when you what happened when you talked to your parents about it? Well, it was like the beginning. I mean, it was a long road, but like I talked to my parents and I, I didn't get therapy, but I went to a psychiatrist just to like get a diagnosis. And uh-huh. she's like, you're not schizophrenic. Okay. And I was like, that's a relief. Right. Right. 
And I, w- I was literally like three days away from going to college. So I didn't even have time to get treated. But she's like, you're not schizophrenic. You probably have generalized anxiety disorder. She recommended getting a therapist there. I didn't do it. I don't know why. Um, and it was just really a matter of time. And then mm-hmm. I think the the real turning point was when I had this trusting relationship with Ela, where I could talk to mm-hmm. someone about it. Yeah. Well, it's a or big like, part. You know, that, uh, whatever. It, yeah. It's the, it's the skeleton of what happened there, though. It could be uh, applied to anyone. I anyone think, who's yeah. having dark thoughts. Um, talk to somebody. Yeah. So the, you, you you know if you're gonna if you're gonna go down that road talking to somebody, what's the harm? No fucking harm. If you're no at the harm. point, here's the thing, here's my, my the way I was thinking at the time. If you're so bad that you're actually thinking about killing yourself, what do you have to lose by trying anything at that point? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's a great way to put it. Like you think Abraham Lincoln ever thought about killing himself? Maybe. I actually, I read that he was an extremely depressed person. Really? Yeah. Really? Is that true? Yes. All right. Hey, man, that guy's on our fucking he saved currency. The <laughs> hey, that how about solve the Civil War? How about that movie? It. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to take a, a leak actually, so I'll be right back. I'm too much of a puss to uh, to see it. I can't wait. It was to see actually it. not yeah, that really? scary. It was really. It was just a really good movie. Really? Did, yeah. the, did the kids bang each other? That's what no, I wanted let, to touch. Because that was right? in the book. It was in the book, but I, I think they left it out of both the miniseries and the 2017 movie. All right, here's the thing. I have to pee, too. Should we take a break? Oh, man, me, make that three. All right, guys, we're going to go fucking urinate. We'll be back in a short Together. two minutes. God bless you. Don't leave. Something terrible will happen to you and your family. Guys, how many lives did we save today? Oh, my God. It's Mine. going straight to my head. Too Mine. late. We're saviors and saints, and if the Pope shits in his goddamn hat, I fart in a blanket. I'm just saying, I'm going to update my Twitter bio, too, on uh, September 15th. Saved. Saved, saved thousands of Jesus lives. Jesus saved? Yeah. If Jesus saved, then I'm Jesus. Good. Well put. If well more spoken. people boofed, we'd have even more of a population. <laughs> Here's what I love about you guys. Try boofing today. Can I tell you what I love about you guys? Yeah. Go for it. Sometimes I have guests on here, and it's, like, so hard to have a conversation. Like, I'll shoot something to them, and I get, like, a one-sentence answer. I'm like, all right, I'm panicking. Oh, that's it. That... I'm, I'm like, and but you guys, I mentioned suicide, and we're fucking launched off for 30 minutes. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. No, we love the bloviate. Ooh. Sorry? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Blow yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I think it's a, That's what I mean. Yeah. Right? right? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Try saying that we'll to Blow uh, V8 all day, bitch. <laughs> when I... Back to... Uh, is that related to boofing at all? Yeah. yeah I, I put so. it up my ass. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So by, a, a long ass time ago, I I, I made this, this video. I, I did like... I used to do a series called Your Grammar Sucks. So for like the hundredth episode... Used to act like I did we like, don't know about that? Well, Wait, I, just, what do you well, mean, I don't want to like, like start and be like... You know, you're like but like, I, well, I still. I mean, anyway, I, for the hundredth episode. What do you mean used to? I'm trying to bring it back. I'm When's that next one coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, soon, soon. Okay. But for the hundredth episode, it was like feature length. It was like an hour long. So this, so honestly, all to fill that time, I had to shoot with everyone that was anyone, you know, like and I, virtually everyone. And for for whatever reason, I never hit up you guys because I don't think I knew of you guys back then. But I mean, like you know, if I were making it now, of course. You guys were hard to get. Yeah. Oh well, that there was that too. Um, we were. But, uh, oh, oh yeah, you're notoriously... Stay uh, in the shadows, too. <laughs> yeah. Recluse. Boy, Recluse. Yeah. But, like, I bring it up because... Um, uh, oh my, uh, so, you talked about, like, guests that were, like, hard to really say more than a sentence. <sighs> that happened to me a lot. So, like, there's some guys, you know... Eric pops on. We shoot for like three hours, and we're just drinking, just shooting the shit. And it's I the love funniest the videos you guys make together. Oh, we have so much fun. I tend to forget the cameras on. Right. Right, yeah, and yeah. And then there are the guys, there are all these pretty boy YouTubers that I collaborate with and your grammar sucks 100 and they, they, one word answers. If I'm trying to like make small it's, chats. So I'm rough. setting up the cameras, I'm setting up the camera and the lights and I'm trying to like make them feel at home, you know, before we get into like, you know, work mode and they're not giving me nothing. They're not giving it's me like, nothing. It's like help me help, help you. you. Thank you. And it's <laughs> impossible. Help me. I'm not looking for like, one. Hey, this is a podcast. We're having a conversation. Get yeah. toss me a fucking bone. Toss me a bone. Like, like this is only as much fun as you make it. Right. So I can relate to your to guests that you may have had that just don't know how to carry a conversation. Could I blame them? Yes. Am I going to keep suicide stats on the screen the whole time? 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Dark. I just want to remind everyone how. Any, anyway, we were talking about it. Let's take a shot. Let's take a this suicide. This, do we have right. left? I don't know. Fine. <laughs> this episode ends when we're basically passed out. Yeah, we're all going to be in the. Store. There's no end yeah. here, so this we'll goes float. as long. <laughs> right. Thank you. This all goes as long <laughs> as you guys are willing to Thanks, to buddy. hang through this. I'm not so for that. Tune in, tune out, turn it on, turn it off, mm, turn have it a boof, in. have a laugh, have a goof, have a spoof. I think that was George Carlin's uh, send off. You know, turn in, tune off, have a goof, have a boof. By the way, uh, can we? Take note of just how much of this we've had. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> this we, is not even a bottle's worth, so we got ways to is, go. Uh, I mean, I'm not that impressed. We have a whole. That's what, what I'm saying. Here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We're... Cheers, boys. Cheers, Cheers. to uh, to Twitch, to uh, the H3 podcast. A skill. Hey, to talking to people. Am I right? Hey, nothing wrong with that. Look at humans. Are we're social creatures, whether we you like are. it or not. We really, really are. We are evolved by society and community. Yeah, and it's in our fucking DNA. You got to talk. You got to talk. I love that. That's why. That's why the internet is so popular. You because can't avoid the, it. Anti. It's a. It's a platform for antisocial people to talk. Antisocial extrovert, as Kendrick Lamar says. Hold on, Ant- antisocial extrovert. That doesn't okay. rhyme. Okay, I like that. I guess. It could be both. You could be everything. It works. Well, on the internet, you can't. I find myself on the internet, sometimes I'm extremely social. Yeah. If I go to a yeah. party, I'll fucking lurk in the corner and not say shit to anyone. Yeah, but you can't make it a fucking karaoke tomorrow night, so that's cool. Oh, shit, that's right. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah. Can't make it. I well, can. This, this fucking guy can. My man. <laughs> I can, girl. It's going to be a party. Wait, it's tomorrow? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow oh, night. Oh, that already happened. Yeah, I can't make it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, that was nice. That was nice. I meant I meant to put you on the on the spot earlier, but uh, Adam from your movie sucks is yeah. in town in November. Always is. He November's really like wants to go month. to The Price Is Right. Oh my oh, god! Do you, guys, that do you guys want yeah. to go to The Price yeah. Is Right with wait, Adam from your movie right. sucks? Wait, yeah, can, dude. wait. How does that work? He has like a ticket, and, and it's he, free, right? It's free. Yeah, yeah, you just sign up. Yeah, but don't, you have to get it, yeah. you have to get in line, like a virtual or, line. Yeah, Apple that part sucks, but. How can we I guarantee f- go together? We can guarantee go together if if we all just go together. But you they, just they show do, up and they, you're like, I'm on the list. I think there's you know a, a separate line <laughs> yeah, that's for where you pull that card. Yeah, I'm Hank Green. You go, you call up, uh, call up your boys and be like, Hey, we're coming in. Drew we're Carey. flying in hot, Drew. Hey, it's it's Ethan. This Ethan. This Ethan. <laughs> we're flying in hot. How many uh, followers does the Price Is Right Twitter account have? That's all I'm saying. Not more than all of us combined, probably. That's what I'm saying. Or more, yeah. maybe. Maybe they have more. Let's, Let's pull find that out. card. Let's do it. Um, no, Let's get be fu- on fucking Price is Right. That'd be fun to talk. Price is Right. If you're watching right now, we're coming for you. No, yeah. I'm coming for you. Shout out to the Price is Right. Shout out to Drew Carey. And shout out to Bob Barker. Price is Right on Twitter has 210,000 followers. Are you fucking kidding me? That's oh, it. Oh, shit. Idiots, That's it. Losers. Hey, have your pets spayed or neutered. All right? Fucking Let's do neutered. it. I love that. Noobs. Right? Such, a random, they're, such a random shout out. I got to say, out of all the causes in the world, <laughs> right. that's the one that you go for. Hey, I mean, you know, I like fine. animals, but goddamn. I'd like to poll the audience right now to see if they really feel like they're hanging out with us or if they're just Ooh. watching three adults get way too fucked up. Ooh. Probably the latter. I mean, it's a healthy mix. Yeah. Um, let's see. We, uh, you got what's, with, the what's with Drew? What's, that, that what guy do you mean what's with Drew? Sometimes fat guys get skinny and it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no, one I, of them. I think he looks I normal it. now. Like, it was, a, it was, a, it was strange to, to nah. see the, nah. the immediate... You're Transition. still weirded out by it. Absolutely. Jack's like, fuck that skin. Because I grew bitch. up with Who's Line and I watched the occasional episode he's of this sitcom. Ju- right. And, you know, he's it, jovial. It, he's joke. He's the fat, jolly you man. You cannot be jovial you know? and thin. Yeah, but he's got that skinny, tall mic now. And it like, oh, <laughs> he boosts the hell sense. out of that mic. Yeah. Remember that mic used it's, to be really fat? No, Bob no, was, was always just, thin. No, I never used it was to do that. The there was it, always like the, yeah. the, I'm sure this looks great, but I'm sure it was always like the, the like that was the thing in the 70s too. If you ever watched the game show network. Every like you know sleazy looking game show host had a mic. You know like they're holding it down here. Right. Like, somehow the mic would be like raised up here. Long and thin. I'm gonna give my uh, guest a little kiss. You know yes, like Family sir. Feud, like that guy who would always like kiss the uh... Steve Harvey. No, no, Steve Harvey him. definitely kisses the contestant. You can't before, say no. that on television. You know that meme. Yeah, that's I know Bill that Cosby. Meme. I know that meme. Oh my, wow. How about Bill? Huh? How guy about fucks. Bill? How about, that guy could rape a couple oh people. My am I right? God, we're on a fucking. What? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thank for the you. laughter, guys. Pity laugh. I'll take it. <laughs> My dad, he does that. 
Mm. And and we have a WhatsApp chat group with my whole family. Uh-huh. And when he's he's just like the king of dad jokes, really bad I love, jokes. I love it. And whenever he it. drops a dad joke and somebody says lol, he always says thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I'm gonna be he that dad. Them. Is I'm it gonna a, be that dad. Is it a, like written out thank you he or is it T-Y. T-Y. Yeah, oh T-Y. my god. Oh, That's <laughs> even better. Thank you. Even better. Thank you. Um, that makes I, me so happy. That's what I have to look forward to. Yo, oh, we're going to win a fucking streamy with this uh, podcast, right? <laughs> Can we please get some streamy? Can we w- submit streamies, this? Emmys. Yo, I don't want to brag. Academy but... Awards. Nah, streamies. You can't say that on television. <laughs> <laughs> Penis. Now, 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 backing up on the streamies, correct me if I'm, in, if I'm incorrect, which I'm not, but you had uh, some choice words on Twitter. Oh yeah, about streamies. <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? Do you want to go in on that or not? Sure. I, I respect you if you. Do. I, I understand. We got know. nominated for a comedy. Well, I actually. Well, what I said was like any awards because online they always have these awards. It's such a, a scam where they're like, "You're nominated, right?" And right. you have to beg your fans to come spam our website with votes and therefore increase our profile and ad revenue so that we can market to brands and get AdSense. It's not a real vote. You don't have no. an academy. You don't have a group of people who decides amongst themselves. It's yeah. Any award yeah. show that leaves it up to a fan vote is a total freaking scam, especially online. I think all award shows are, are fucking horse shit well, in the first place. But I agree. But at least there's a little level. bit of like yeah. mystery to the Emmys if, where if it's if like, we like, have judges. <laughs> right. If you have 10 people who collectively say, this guy's wins an award in comedy versus who can who can beg most shamelessly on Twitter. Like I remember Fousey Tube a couple years ago was nominated yeah. for like show of the year. Uh-huh. And he he was so shameless in his plugging. And he yeah. won, by the way. And he's like, he was doing giveaways where if you vote for him, <laughs> you enter the giveaway. And it's like, dude, you didn't really win that award. You just have no shame. Yeah, Are you're... you dissing on my man Fousey? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you know he's like the Muhammad Ali of uh, the internet and the Tupac yeah. and the Gandhi and the Malcolm X of the internet? He's basically, uh, according to his he's tweet, he's boofed his way across YouTube like no one's ever boofed before. Oh, and if there great. was ever a Pope had to shit in, he's <laughs> fucking shat in that. If, if, the, if the Emmys are like some sort of like gross <laughs> anus of like self patting on the back. Right. The, the any of that shit that you're describing is like a prolapsed anus where like oh, the man. whole fully thing prolapsed. is out. Visual? You it's, can see the you, whole thing you and be like, oh, well, you just have to beg for it. All yeah, right. Well, that's see, how it works. You ever seen a sea cucumber? It's like that, but yeah, red. It's like those ass. things you get at the oh, gift shops at nice. the Smithsonian nice. where like it's like a worm like, and you make put a really good hand flesh, in it. And you say, this would make a really good fleshlight. Yeah. I never thought that as a kid. <laughs> Because really? I couldn't get boners yet. That was but as soon as as soon as <laughs> I could was... get boners, I looked back on those things like fuck. Really? I wish I had bought one of those. I in never a gift put my shop. dick in one of those. But my first thought, because I never had money as a kid, my parents <laughs> to give me money. <laughs> yeah, you only get but like my, seven bucks to my, go. Right, right. right. Yeah. Which, but my first thought was always like, I would like to put my dick in this. Yeah. Huh. God. Yeah. I could fuck you. this. I could fuck this. I could fuck. I would think that about the the triceratops skeleton. Well. About the, not sure how you swing the that one. Where, where would it go? I'm sorry. Where I, would it go in a triceratops? He finds a way. Life finds a way. Life finds a way. One of those little like uh, fucking you know, finds Jurassic Park oh, things yeah. in a hole somewhere, and just Life go. Yeah, this is where you fuck it. <laughs> well, anyway, about the streamies. Apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. the only ones that are up to fan voting is like two. So the comedy one is actually up to some fucking dudes in a uh, small room. Well, who, congratulations. Who then. jerk off into each other's face. But but you got nominated What's by actual called? judges. Yes. Well, congratulations. You should take yeah. pride in that. <sighs> Thank you. That's I dope. mean, hey, chances are you guys are going to win. No, I think Liza will win. Because mm. uh, Liza Koshy. I, I think she's good, mm, too. I think I she deserves it. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I can't say one really? way or the you other. Really? You don't know Liza? Never... Well, I know her, but I haven't seen her stuff. I, I just like you guys. So <sighs> yeah, I'm, be, prefer... I'm biased. If you were a... Just, you know what I mean? It's you or no one. Let me tell you. If you were a fucking... Squishy toy in the Smithsonian. I put my dick in you. I know. I know. And you too. Thank you. That's why we're here. <laughs> he was gone. <laughs> You're the best I got. <laughs> we'll be your uh, prison mates. Or Absolutely. Then, your, yeah, your jail will you cell, hold my uh, pocket if yeah. I take it out inside out? On, on the scale of time of Vonnegut falling downstairs at 92 years old, <laughs> right. we are a couple stairs down from you. <laughs> right, 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 right. I think this is the well most stated. time Vonnegut has been referenced in a podcast. Especially his death. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, Look, not not even lived, his work. Just he his, lived as yeah. he died. Yeah. Tumbling. 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 Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice. That's beautiful. 
Right. He really tumbled into those wonderfully worded tales. Yeah. He sure did. He, he tumbled his him. way through World War II. Uh-huh. He tumbled his way through life. Yep. And, and in his final inevitably, act, he tumbled his way right down those stairs into damn. the afterlife. And, and legend has it, he's still tumbling to this day. Oh, poetic. Tumble House 5. Tumble House 5. Wow. Wow, you really shoehorned that uh, that pun Tumble in there. Tumble House I 5. had to. It works. It works. <laughs> this Felt episode is sponsored by Audible.com. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Now we're talking. Actually not, but <laughs> I make that joke sometimes. Would be a great, <laughs> oh, would be a great segue. Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel drunk. like I've, I've, I might have turned some sponsors off to my show just by <laughs> making fun of, like Loot Box or Loot Crate, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> yeah, we, well, we used to work with them, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's a too? very specific, you it's know, the box of shit. Yeah, I mean that's not a bad thing. I no, buy boxes a, it's, of it's, shit all the time. Uh, look, it's objectively a box of yeah. shit. I get boxes of shit in the mail constantly. <laughs> They're like, I'm getting a you... giant enter key in the mail any day now. Oh, from that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you, where you mash it and it's it, enter... it still plugs into wait, the wait. USB. But what are we talking about? It's like a big pillow. I... Yes. But it looks this... like an enter button. It's somebody on a Reddit on, GIF. Yeah, yeah, somebody on Reddit uh, quoted or whatever the fuck how it works on Reddit where you type U slash Comenticut. And um, uh, one of the subreddits that was like, I need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. like, it's a giant enter button that sits oh, right I've here. Oh, I love that. And you that. go, boom! I love that. It's supposed and to be very, like, therapeutic, that is not satisfactory. A box of shit. That is not a box of shit, still, but it is. It is I mean, yeah. let's be real. It but it that is. being it's said, Lou Crate, great people. Great people. Great people. Hey, hey great if people. they want to sponsor me again, yeah. that would be dope. I'll take your money. I miss you guys. I miss Lou Crate. Anytime you want. I'm about to take a call. From Grace Ann. Grace Ann, talk Hello. to me. What up, Grace? Tell me what's good. Who are you? What are you doing? Where are you going with life? Speak to me. Tell me what's good. Hey, Ethan. I can't and hear her, Dan. Zach and Eric. Oh, oh, there you are. There you are. Hey, Hello. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey. Hello. Um. So, first, just really quickly before my question, um, going back a little bit, Ethan, I just wanted to say I found you and Ela this summer. Um, right after a really hard event in my life and to really laugh again after that was one of the best things anyone could give me during that time so I wouldn't say that all those kinds of messages mm -hmm. you should take with a grain of salt because trust me like it was it was so refreshing to laugh again but that's, with that said that's really nice thank you for saying that I think it's mostly yeah. just a, a self-defense mechanism of me being like I don't want to feel I'm afraid of getting it to my head and being like, I'm a fucking saint. Right. right. But I really appreciate that. Thanks for saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so my question, and I'm sorry to get serious again. That's all right. Um, so I really related with your story about your struggle with anxiety before you met Ela, mm -hmm. And I was wondering how you got to where you are today and how you cope with your anxiety now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for the question and the really nice yeah. comments. Appreciate you. <coughs> um, I think that like with depression and anxiety, there's always a road to recovery. Yes. But it's often long mm -hmm. and it is challenging. <clears throat> you know, and this in like the world we live in, everybody's looking for quick fixes. I'll take some of that. Actually, I have a beer. Oh, you have more beer? Oh, you have more beer. Yeah, yeah, we got a little. But Everyone's looking for a quick fix, right? Yes. You take a yes. pill and you're like, oh my God. Like my mom said how she took a pill and the lights switched. Right. Like that's what we all dream of happening. But, it's just but not in realistic. most cases, it's a, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. And for me, like it started when I was, I was smoke. I, I don't like smoking weed. In, in high school, all my friends were smoking weed. And so I felt like, oh, I'm going to smoke weed with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, for some people, it's great. For some people, it doesn't work. I was one of the people... I was really confident in high school and I smoked weed and I smoked weed and smoked weed and to the point where I felt so alienated from myself mm. and so confused and so unhappy with the person I became huh. that this anxiety started building up. And one day it broke like a floodgate and I had like this full on panic attack and it took me years to even understand what happened. <laughs> um, it's a real long journey. You have to be willing to kind of face your demons you know take a good look a good hard honest look at yourself and understand like why like what's the root of this right what the fuck is actually going on and confront this 
And I think part of, of doing it's it's all it's almost impossible to do by yourself because you have all these thoughts and all these negative emotions circling in your head. You have no perspective on it. Everything. When I was in my most an- anxious, every small thing that I'd ever done in my past, every little thing became a fucking mountain of of like guilt and depression. And it was just like imp- it felt impossible to overcome. But it's not until you can start communicating that and and working through that with an external source, which in my case was Ela, someone who I trusted and someone who I could talk to without judging me and who had like an unconditional love for me, um, that I was able to confront those and work through it externally. Because in your mind, you can't really look at it logically and objectively because everything feels so real and intense. And so it's like every time, first I would, I would tell her about it and just say like, hey, this is part of who I am and what I'm going through. Okay, so that's part of it. And then I'd have good days and bad days. And when I'm having bad days, I would say, hey, I'm having a bad day. This is why. And I would talk about it and I would get it out. And it's really just this whole thing of getting it out, right? And, and thinking about it externally. Because you got it, you have to get it out of your yeah. body. Yeah. I thought about it, it's like you have to let it evaporate in a way. It's like a pool of fucking negative sludge. Otherwise, it builds up. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got to let it evaporate. You got to let it kind of float out of you. And it's like gasoline, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it, it just, goes it, away. Yes, it needs an outlet. <laughs> it can evaporate. It needs heat. It needs sunshine. Ela was my sunshine. Oh. <laughs> Can but, it, you know, it, it, it's a metaphor, but I think it's, yeah. you need that extra energy. You need something that's going to stimulate it and, and, yeah. and stimulate that evaporation. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of, what's that, what's that word? Quick in the process of As catalyst, right? Ca- thank you. That's it. That's exactly it. Yeah. <laughs> now, not everybody's lucky enough to have someone like Elon in their life. And but I, there are outs. There are, like, even if yes, you don't have that person, there are always, there's always mediums to get out, like, yeah. you know, like. What if it's drawing, you know, or, or anything, you know, like any talent or any right, hobby right. or just something. There's always an outlet. I feel. There is. You need an outlet. Yeah. If you don't have someone like Eli, you get a therapist. Right. You find someone. That t- there's always, there's a lot of great people out there with good, kind hearts who want to see you get better. If it's someone on the other end of a suicide hotline, therapist, it's their fucking profession for yeah. Christ's sake. Yeah. There's no shame in going and talking to a therapist because they do genuinely care about you. The only thing is they got to make a living. I do feel like it's that therapy in itself has become less and less of a stigma, which mm-hmm. is awesome. More yeah. and more people are just, it's just become more socially accepted. I think everyone should have a therapist. Even yeah. if you're a completely normal human being, you should still, if you can, it out. fucking go to a therapist. Talk to them about <laughs> I think No matter what, you've got problems. Everybody. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has Everyone's problems. Fucked. Everyone's fucked. Oh, yeah, normal, there are no exceptions. Normal like, is You can't like, look at the world and go, everybody's perfect, but I'm you not. You can. But it's wrong. It's you a should. lie. You yeah. tell yourself. Yeah. That would it, be a fallacy. It would be a right. fallacy. That's probably Everyone, what a lot of people think, too. Yeah. And that's it's not right. That's what gets people dug into these trenches of, like, self-pity and horrible feelings. Right. Is like, right. you're like, everyone else is normal. They got their shit together. Why don't I? Yeah. No one's got their shit together. There's no such yeah. thing as normal. We're all insane. Normal is like this, this idea we have in our head of what yeah. you're supposed to feel like or how I used to feel. <clears throat> Yeah. I feel like Twitter Bullshit. can be a really dangerous place because everyone almost always wants to tweet about their accomplishments and their highs and their happy moments. And when you see enough of that, you get a case of like FOMO, fear of missing out. And you get a case of like, man, that guy's life is perfect. Right. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. Nothing. He's just leaving out all the bad shit. You don't yeah, see that on Twitter. Yeah. 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 They write it into their stuff creatively. Yeah. Like you look at uh, pretty much any goddamn TV show. And you're watching the yeah. the inadequacies and the, the failings of the person who's responsible for it hmm. playing before you, but through other people's mouths. Right. I see. And these people are completely fucked up. Right. Yeah. Right. Like American Horror <coughs> Story with the guy, Ryan Murphy. Yeah. yeah. That guy's got to be fucked yeah. up. Yeah. There's yeah. no way that you don't guy's... come up with that shit if your life's yeah. dandy. Yeah. yeah. Come on, where the hell do you think that's coming from? So I don't know. I think you just got to. Like, as we said earlier, if you're, if it's so bad that you're like, I'm going to fucking kill myself, well, take that and let it feed your, your desire to get help. Because if it's that bad, you got nothing to lose. You got nothing to lose. Go for go it. Go talk yeah. to you anybody. Can only go up. You can only go up. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? It's rock bottom from yeah. there. So go up. And, and, and if you're that deep and dark, like you said, you have only 
better days ahead. Yeah. By by continuing giving it a shot. So. Your, your potential for happiness <laughs> and betterment becomes zero if you take that route. So but why not? Like the classic sayings is, you know, time heals all wounds. And to an extent I do I do believe that. Yeah. Like um Especially if you're young. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. When you're when you're like when you're yeah, in high school man. and shit, yeah. like that shit high school in the world is bolder on your shoulders, and it only gets better like, after high school. It doesn't high school that kids. No, no, it I doesn't don't. fucking it really matter. Don't. I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't remember high school, even college. I remember mm-hmm. the the jokes I made in high school. I remember the friends I had in in high school. I, yeah. I remember weird shit that I saw. Like and but when I think about it. it Back towards then, like, I, I also remember the things that, like, stressed me out. Sure. The things that, I, sure. like, I worried about. Uh, they're nothing. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's It's nothing. Yeah. High school is it's a nothingness. Absolutely. If, mm-hmm. if you fall into that, you just got to remind yourself that college is next, and that's when you really get to get <laughs> fucking nuts. That's when you get your dick wet. Yeah. Reinvent so yourself. No, I mean, besides the dick wet, like, that's <laughs> that's where I found, like, high school was my nice, long, awkward phase. I was in marching band, and, you know, I didn't God have damn. a lot of fucking... Yeah, marching band. Didn't get a lot of sliz in marching band, true story. Can you believe it? Um, But it, was, it wasn't until I college where I found myself... <laughs> And like college is where I realized what I wanted to do, and that's mm-hmm. where I made friends that I'm still friends with to this day that yeah. I'm inviting to the wedding, you know, right, like, right, I, right. because that's and that's not to say that that's going to be the case for everyone. No, there are a lot of people that are way closer to their high school friends than their college friends, or it's fifty yeah. fifty. And for yeah. me, it's just it's all college. But like, there's all there's going to be a time where you really find yourself, whether it's high school or college or before or beyond. Or even in your 30s or 40s. Hell yeah. Absolutely. No. There's no limit. There's no limit. Louis You're going to find C.K., yourself. Most famous comedian out there. Yeah. Dude never even had his break until his 40s. That's pretty cool. He was nobody pretty much until his fucking 40s. But the whole time he was trying. He never gave up. Right, right. You know? Yeah. That's inspiring shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. Man. Went like, through, what, a divorce? Had a kid? Yeah. Am I right or am I just no, quoting the No, fuck? you're I right. Let's you, say you're people, right. That sounds yeah. right. It's an inspiration. I'm power. assuming there was a divorce and a kid in there. There's yeah. a divorce, sounds, there's was, a kid. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's... Talk to somebody. It's never too late. For yeah. crying Talk out to loud. For Christ's Talk to sake. And it's never too late uh, to find We got another call. For Pete's matter. Apocalypse. Nice. nice. <laughs> hey, Apocalypse. Talk to me. Tell me what's good. How are you, Apocalypse? Hey, Ethan, what's going on? What's going on, uh, Jack and Eric? Hey, guys. Hey, 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 what's up, Pocky? What's up, buddy? Yeah, I got a crazy one for you guys. So you were, uh, I think Ethan, a couple episodes ago, he was talking about how he wants to believe in extraterrestrial yeah. activity. This is going back to conspiracy stuff, obviously. Okay. okay. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah, th- this, is, this is for you, Eric. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we nice. all understood yeah. that. I'm all ears. Yeah, so uh, I want to talk to you about Project Blue Book. Um, you know what that the United is? States Air Project Force. Project Blue Beam? Blue Book. Blue Book. Okay. All right. Ooh, yeah. deeper. So deeper the United States thought. Air Force compiled 22,000 uh, uh, UFO reports from the end of World War II to the late 50s. And um, they, they've they since closed the operation, but 700 reports still remain unidentified today. So I want to know if that's enough evidence for you, Ethan. I think that's pretty astounding. How you know the uh, <coughs> the uh, U.S. Air Force man? They're they're all over UFOs, and they did that once. You know. Where, where, uh, well, I got a question for him. Actually, yeah, go ahead. Hey, where where do you think these fucking aliens are coming from, dude? You know, when you think about it, space is you know almost quite literally endless. So, right. dude, who knows? <laughs> yeah. You, maybe, what, maybe it's the center of the earth. You know, there's the Antarctica mm, conspiracies. What if you, you know were to you guess? Know? Like, just use your imagination. What do you think that their home planet society looks like? That they're out here uh, investigating us. What's their oh, What's dude. their purpose? Yeah. Or, what? Why? Well, what's their purpose? The one that Jenna said was that it's like Star Trek. Like, uh, right? You know, you think it's a peaceful intrigue. mission? Oh, it's, is it a peaceful mission? Yeah. Man, yeah. Uh, I think it's observance honestly we're kind of like a petri dish in a Hmm. in a lab man we're just we're just uh kind of out here floating around on our little uh earth man they're they're like the um god what do you call it like the uh the uh the master hand or whatever you want to call it so your question for me essentially is 
Well, I, uh, you're asking me, is this certain amount of sightings enough for me to believe? Well, yeah, no, I want to know if because but, but well, like, you're just one dude telling me that I, I would need to see it. Even it's if a real it was thing. I mean, there's plenty of books written about it. True. If you I mean, I, that up, but like, like even, I, I, even what I what I my thing is like uh, an official source, like the U.S. government, the U.S. Air Force, they're investigating into this. <laughs> they actually took their time and money to investigate into UFOs. So how yeah. is that? They did. How's that not enough proof? You know. Right. Well, I, I recall them doing that. They they did that in like the '80s or something when there was like a whole hysteria about UFOs. Yeah, and it was I know all their off and on. their official conclusion was was that there was nothing. Yeah, but you um, don't buy that. But it, no, no, not at all. To I'll have to look. I'll have to. I'll have to look deeper. Have you ever it. had a, an experience with a UFO? I have actually. Tell us about uh, it. Hell yeah. Okay, this was. Oh god, this was probably five years ago. Uh, just on a little farm road. Uh, I live out in Virginia, Always. so you know, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Farm road. <laughs> Every goddamn time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So you had me at farm uh, road. Just be, me and my dad were uh, just driving around. We were going somewhere, and uh, we saw something fly over the car. It looked like a balloon, and uh, we couldn't really get a good glimpse of it until it was flying off. Um, and it was an amazing speed. I don't know what it was. It could have been a balloon, but, it man, that thing took off into the clouds, and I, it just disappeared. It, oh. it, it was going faster Dude. than any balloon I've ever seen. But, I, you know, what do I know? I maybe believe just, you. I I'm, totally believe you. Know, you. I'm just so I'm conflicted on maybe. reports like this because I've never seen a video. I've never, it's never happened to me. You think in this yeah, day I and age, I, I want some fucking proof, you know, like okay. I, yeah. I trust you, but you're, but like, as Carl Sagan famously said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I know what you're saying. Like, yeah. you know, you're kind of like under the, uh, seeing is believing, but we need well, people like you to tell us what you've seen so that we can uh acquire the evidence necessary all right thanks dog thanks for your question appreciate you yeah see you guys take care doggy thank you dog bye man that guy <laughs> sounds like he's got a big dick <laughs> oh clearly i'm, I'm just sure. saying i'm just saying. so what were they doing on that farm road so wait a minute like <laughs> is that proof i mean it, it, no i don't take anecdotes as proof i trust them i believe them well, no, but I'm, what can i do i can't stretch I my imagination that guy saw well, something. I'm saying, yeah do i believe you, so too i don't yeah. think he's lying i love I'm that saying shit. that's not that can't be proof like but it's not enough for me to be like, oh, yeah, UFOs exist because this dude saw I would some love shit. to see Do you think one. alien life I'm exists, waiting. though? 100% Elon. yes. Elon. Oh, okay, you do. You do. Okay, okay. That's all. That's it's all. almost impossible that there aren't fucking life forms somewhere in the universe. I almost can't impossible. Say you can't, like, use his, like, you can't disprove the, that theory just on his anecdote. That's all I'm saying. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I can't. Okay. And Carl Sagan said it best. Extraordinary yeah. claims require extraordinary evidence. Yeah. This is an anecdote by one dude who I has no reason to lie and I believe he he his experience is genuine. Well, yeah. it's not I can't just say, "Oh, yeah, I believe in UFOs." Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I love the idea yeah, I love it. of UFOs. I want it to it's be real. It's so fucking They're fascinating. Fun. Just that and whole I, theory. I think that we're probably on the same page as that guy where mm -hmm. it's like you know, some crazy shit out there happening. Oh. Who the fuck knows? Like, who, you know, the first person to see a B-52 bomber, what the fuck do you think right. they thought? That yeah. looks pretty alien. Yeah. What with the, yeah. the jagged, uh, yeah, those things are um, crazy looking. And yeah. I wouldn't put it past if there was an alien race out there that was actually uh, observing us, sure. that every now and then they'd fuck up yeah. and, sure. and get shown. Yeah. Sure. I don't Especially know. on a farm road. I mean, look, <laughs> aliens are intergalactic, interstellar. I don't foresee right. many slip ups. Look, all we can True. really garner from that call is that dude's got a big one. He's got a huge one, He's and congratulations one. on that. Yeah. So, hey, thanks for the call, stud. Ian, get some more calls in here, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, this is fun. What else? I'm going to compliment every caller. Oh, yeah, said, I wanted to talk about a guy. Yeah, <laughs> that was my right. plan from the beginning. Right. But then, like, yeah, our get, first two there's a lot of girls. My name's hey, you Emily. got a big one. Oh, she got yeah. a big one. Oh, she got a hey, big one. What do, you, what do you say about a girl? Hey, you got a deep one. No, no, big one. It's still a big one. No, I'm with Eric. You got a deep, cavernous hole. Yeah, no, you got to go like, hey, I bet. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. What do you do? What do you do? I want to. About... This is live, so I'm I'm gonna bail on anything <laughs> I think is gonna go dark side. Tone yeah. it down. Yeah, tone it down. Hey, look, I want to talk about it, the movie. Yeah. Oh, come on. I loved it. I haven't it. even seen the fucking thing. It wasn't scary in Let's the way of like, you know, you see these. I liked it a lot, and I hate horror films. So what did you what did you like about it? 
It was a great movie. Mm-hmm. Super suspenseful, not scary. Oh, I and, like that. And and when they were like scary, it mm-hmm. was very self aware. It's ironic and it's it's a f- whimsical in a way. Whim- now there's a word I haven't heard associated it's, with the movie. No, it, yeah, it, it is. It's whimsical. Okay. I hear I hear my boy Finn was was the shit as Richie. Yeah, I, I heard. I complimented yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, all the kids were great. Yo, that shout kid's out to great. Finn. <laughs> fucking Finn, that kid's fucking hilarious. He's I cool. I he's can't cool. wait for Stranger Things season two. But Whoa, you gotta get him maybe. on the podcast. When's that, when's I asked that, him. Uh, I think is he's he coming come. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. should. Got to do it. I want to um, get him and the whole damn cast. That kid's sharp. Oh my god, you could. Yeah, you could pull off. When's when's that supposed to come? Season two. Don't know. Okay. Hopefully they'll tell me when they come on. He uh he sent me a message on Twitter or something like that. That was like, hey, I like your videos, and I was like, oh. Uh, I sent him a thing where I was like, I, I just watched Stranger Things. And I sent one back. And he sent me a message that was like, hello, this is a representative for Stranger Things. Uh, we don't want 27-year-old alcoholics to, He's such a- <laughs> to promote our, our show. That's dope. That kid is way. I was like, oh, fuck. All right. right well, you outdid me. Yeah. Right? These kids, I got nothing man. On this. Kids these days. Kids. God damn it. Say the darnest thing. Get off the damn internet. You're way too mature. Yeah. Holy uh, shit. Seriously. seriously. Anyway, so it. Yeah. In the last scene of the movie, it's mm-hmm. not a spoiler, but yeah. they're like, hey, if the clown ever comes back, we'll be here. And they touch, they cut hands and they hold hands and make like a blood, blood promise. Blood, blood, yeah. In the book, I read, there's one girl who they all want to fuck. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of sexual tension between them all mm-hmm. in the movie as well as the book. And in the book, they these kids run train on this little girl. They take turns fucking this little girl. Right. So in the movie, they all cut hands and hold hands. But in the book, they actually run train. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In Stephen King's mind, it was her idea. And though. I was like, holy smokes, that wasn't in the movie. Yeah. So that was kind of shocking when I read that. Yeah. He was on a lot of coke when he wrote that. Yes. That, I was going to say. He though. He, he, he? I, I like the way he defended it. I know. Uh, how, he said, how do you defend it? Um, how I do find you defend it, that? He said, I found it interesting. I found it Fascinating. Dare you say. Uh, Fascinating. It's a ban- <laughs> that's a banned word. That people would be so hung up on on the sex scene and not as hung up on well, the multiple child murders. Yeah, let me address that. Because I think it's actually okay. a weak point. Okay. It's a book about child murder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's not surprising when a kid gets murdered by a killer clown. That's the whole premise of the book. It is surprising when a bunch of 12-year-olds run train on a girl. Isn't that horrifying to read, though? I mean, yeah. yes. I've read a lot of but Stephen just... King, and I think that that is right up his alley. <laughs> like, he puts but it was like a moment. It was a moment of, like, yeah, yeah. weird. Like, they're up against a supernatural horror right. from the Todash. Or the Todash, or Tadash. whatever the hell it's called. The, like a different universe, right? Or yeah, like there's, a, there's or a, a dark universe or, yeah, 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 where yeah, all yeah. Of these beings exist. Right. And, and this thing fucking like crash landed in, what's the name of the town? Denny? Something. Somewhere in Maine, Maine Something right? like Cause, that. Because he loves yeah, Maine. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, anyway. Maine. Wild imagination, that's Stephen King. It's always in Maine. <laughs> and, Look, and, and Stephen King is incredible. The yeah. guy has written some of the best. He's like the Shakespeare of our time, if I'm being honest. The dude who wrote It. And a childhood orgy also wrote Shawshank Redemption. That is okay. That's quite a range. The guy's incredible. Yeah, you can't I'm just say not sure his... if I want to call him Shakespeare yet. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Dude, that guy certainly has... has made his own fucking language out of things. <laughs> no, that guy has has permeated into our popular culture yeah. like no one else since Shakespeare. He's really, really yeah, he's prolific. Trying to think, I'm trying to think he's of got less books to that, in right. his repertoire that haven't been made into movies than <laughs> I have. Know. The guy yeah. is he's yeah. a he's a force force of nature. Yeah. Incidentally, you know, he also, he likes, I mean, kids, they have run train on each other. They run train. So that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But he, he he must have, like, I, train. I don't know. I, I will defend that scene just off of the basis that it was uncomfortable and horrifying. Yeah. In in the context of what was going on. <laughs> was like, it meant to be horrifying? I guess, have you read the book? I haven't. Yeah. I, okay. well, I, I haven't read it recently. I, I read it a long time ago. Okay, so I'll defer to you on that because I haven't read it. I just read about that one. But... It, it's a way for them to get out of a situation, which I, is not a defense in any way. But the fact Interesting that like, device to make I, the I don't think forward. he wrote them into a, a corner and then said, how am I going to get them out of here? Oh, right. they fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think he was like, what is the worst thing that you can do to some kids? Well, I'd, lo- I'd love to hear him say that instead of defend it by saying, well, <coughs> kids are getting murdered. Well, I mean, was right, that a right, tweet right. or was that like yeah. a, a response he gave on the phone? Like, I think it was a tweet. There, there's a thing where where David Lynch is in an interview mm-hmm. and he says, "Eraserhead is is the most um, 
<clears throat> what what is it? The ah mo- oh, fuck, I don't know. The the most uh, um, uh, personal I, I'm personal. I'm making up the most personal story I've ever written. Okay. And the interviewer is like, "Can you elaborate?" And he was like, "Now." <laughs> That's a good David Lynch impression. That is his voice. Now, that was actually yeah. perfect. Right. Yeah. The weather today <laughs> cloudy <laughs> with a chance Cooper. of cigarette. Cooper. Did oh, you see Cooper. the girl with the red hair, oh, Cooper? What the God, hell? I gotta rewatch that, man. <laughs> Cooper. Hey, uh, Agent they, Cooper. <laughs> did you watch the new Twin Peaks? Not the new one. Loved did you it. Watch the first? Loved yeah. it. I'm wow, trying to that see was it. A wild I liked it better than ride. Game of Thrones, if I'm Fuck being honest. you, really? No, no. Shit. I, I, I was I, more excited. Were you not disappointed by the end of that show? Not at all. All right, you're I fucking edgy. Knew exactly that it was going to do the that. The second because yeah, it's we, David Lynch. Yeah. If you if you've ever watched a David Lynch movie, yeah. you know it ends like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to spoil what the ending is. No, it's just but the second you to last, know. the second to last episode, I was like, oh my god, that was super satisfying. Sure. Where do we go from here? Second to last episode was followed immediately by the last episode, though. which was super like, oh, okay, it was it was a two episode night. Yes, it was. A and he went, that. okay, let me, oh. I'm going to give you the the episode that solves everything. Right. Here's the one that fucks you. Cooper, <laughs> I'm going to give you the episode awesome. that solves everything. He's, he's yeah. deaf in the show, so he talks all He's about. got the most right, amazing, right. he's actually got more lines than like anyone else so in wait, the fucking he, he was he, so he reprises good. his old role? Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. He's one of the main that. characters. He's a huge part of it. Well, I know he was in the, per- the previous. He's incredible. Yeah. So he's like the lead investigator in the new one. What? Yeah, he's Cope? he's he's actually my favorite character in the new one. He's he this was amazing. My, he was okay. incredible. Yeah, Should it's I, no, worth watching. I saw, well, it, it's well, worth a watch. No question. I'm there. going to watch it inevitably. My question, to you guys, is sure. I saw the first two seasons when I was in college some ten years ago, um, so ten seven to ten years ago on DVD. Should is it worth? Should, do I have to? Would you recommend that I rewatch? No, no, unnecessary. No, no, no. Really? Watch oh, the last God. episode. Completely unnecessary. Oh, because it's a lot. No, you don't. It's a, it's it's a. You're okay. good. Watch you're a fine. YouTube recap of of I'll the last of episode. Of, I'll watch one of those like. <laughs> watch a yeah, five minute recap. One of those I mean, awful <sighs> entertainment weekly. Yeah. yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Listen, the whole new show was kind of like an impressionist uh, painting of someone smearing their shit on a canvas, and you're like, hmm, that's interesting. You should watch Fire okay. Walk with me though, because there's actually a lot of callbacks to that. Yes, and Fire I've... Walk with me was a yeah. great movie on its own. You think? Uh, right, yeah. It was a crazy movie about like abuse and shit, and it was only very, very loosely tied. You you don't see Coop at all in the movie, Coop. Oh, okay. But you see uh, David Bowie's character, who's important in the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and th- there's Imagine just that. other things that pop up <laughs> yeah. that you're Bowie's gonna. Bowie's in Firewalk with me. Yes, what and the, f- the new one, Agent Agent Jeffries. Picture that. Well, it's a voice puzzle that together. He's he's a voice. Oh at any rate. <laughs> um, I love, I love the guy. Yeah. And he's got great fucking hair. Oh he my does. god. He does. Oh god bless He's him. like 70 years old. He's got like beautiful Speaking fucking Speaking of people who smoke their whole everyone. lives and still yeah. keep it together. He'll, he'll Let's, tumble, he'll tumble, take a tumble at 92. Let's and, not oh. lose him to a fucking set of stairs. No. Let's, I, listen, keep if him. I can Let's live. Let's pad those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather him tumble to his oblivion than like die in a hospital bed slowly of lung cancer. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, I, I feel like that's, that's... his stem cells are in the bank. Hey, you guys want to hear something gross? Oh, Wait, yeah. put the camera on me. Ready? Oh. Jesus, man. Suck on that. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know. Uh, I was trying to give some breath. Hey, guys, to you want to you wanna see something gross? <laughs> Ethan just vomits on himself. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> You know, I actually do a thing. Yo, flick my pinky. No. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you sick fuck. Come on. You sick fuck. You got a fucking jar of belly lint in front you of you. You get out of my face, you freak. <laughs> Yo, Jack, flick my pinky. <laughs> Why? What does it do? I, I flicked know. it hard. Yeah, that's what that's it does. So <laughs> I don't want to see your fucking... Your, yeah. your, your I don't actually do that. Pinky. I broke my hands for this podcast. <laughs> Well, it was worth to, it. I, I wanted to have something it. to share. Oh, my God. God uh, was, God so anyway, child rape. <laughs> right. Back yeah. to the chat. Can we please get can back we to the child, child rape? Can we talk about the child orgies? Oh Here, let me, let, me put, let me show you guys something. Yeah. 
I've been sitting on this video. Yeah. I want you guys to watch From it. From TLC, okay. huh? It's like for Paul. Is that a Is that a If you want to talk about fucking birds. Hotel. Kareem's parents diary. aren't psyched for Paul to take her Call to me. a hotel for the night. <laughs> Bye, Vivo! I ask her parents for so, Here you go. Take Kareem to a, a hotel um, to stay with me. But based on his facial expressions, this is definitely not going well He's right asking now. this girl's parents if he can take her to a hotel room. Aqui no Brasil, motel só é para encontro sexual. Aqui no Brasil. Não, porque o hotel. Não, 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 não. Não, 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 não. 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 Não, não, Go on. Father said, What is this? Dude goes to this. Yeah, he flies down to Brazil, buys himself a bride. And then he go. He has the balls to go to her parents' house and say, "Hey, can I take your daughter to a hotel room?" How about just don't tell him? Don't yeah. tell him that. Just That's a weird her. thing to say to your 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 girl's parents. Just take right. her, right? Yep. But well, hey, some people just aren't. You know. Oh, so they you want to talk that. about social cues? Hotel. This wouldn't work in Utah. <laughs> or actually, Utah's oh. a bad example. This wouldn't oh, work in, in Los Angeles. Father yeah. thought I was asking, "Hey, can I take your daughter to have sex with her in a in a?" In a a motel or something of that nature. That is a Which thick is ironic because I'm not looking to rush into anything like that right now with Karini. In the past, why you got your sex arm around her so hard? Why do you look so sweaty, dude? Why do you have a cross on? I haven't told Karini about any of that. Oh, yet. Hey, can I that take your daughter? Don't do that. Yikes, warning. Love the clips. Keep, uh, this dad is like mental. man. I fucked up. Mental. This I life. Up. Why is he translating he this when the? Mid- By the way, the they, girl obviously knows how to translate what he's saying. Wrong. She doesn't speak English and he doesn't speak um, Portuguese or Spanish. And Portuguese is in Brazil. Oh, well, they this don't is communicate. A, this is a bad matchup. Yeah. Money. I want to keep her on her. Look at his face. Oh my God, oh my God, they're, so, they're really jazzed. These parents are so jazzed. That's how you get murdered. Oh. I'd murder him if I was a Okay, that's he's basically like, why the fuck are you Good talking for him, to that's me? progressive, but anyway. Jesus Christ, that's that's our cringe? That should be yeah. the front, cr- front that's, page of our yeah, cringe? Yeah, that's where I found it. That's how oh, for real? Yeah. That's hey, how they... go me! <laughs> Good lord. That's, uh, that's Is that fun. how the kids in It got out of the sore? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take your daughter to hotel? <laughs> he does yeah. the accent. Can I take your daughter to <laughs> hotel? That's the language. <laughs> Can I run train on your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> does your daughter want baby? <laughs> I want to take your daughter to a hotel, but keep her on her. Oh, my word. Her... <laughs> what a fucking mess. Oh, uh, that's fun. TLC uploaded that, like. Oh, they knew what they were doing. Yeah. They knew exactly what they Look were doing. Look at this dickhead we right. got on camera. 100%. Yeah. All right. That's Dan, cool. bring in the news. Let's fucking wrap this shithole oh, up. That's great. Bring we're in the done? fucking news. That's well, great. no, we're not done, but Dan's going to come do the news. I thought we were doing this until we pass out. Well, keep drinking, because this news can last a while. All right. What time is it? It's, oh my God, we've been going for three and a half hours. Really? No. Yeah. Holy shit. It's time for another shot of Henny. So All nobody's right, watching go. anymore. We could just do it. Well, no, the there's, we still, there's still 11,000 people watching this nightmare. <laughs> Eric, give me your glass. Dan, bring okay. in the goddamn news. Don't be a post. Oh, got, got some that? callers. <laughs> Dan, hold off. Yeah, Don't yeah, come in. Caller. I love the callers. Isn't this? Oh, I thought you meant like a shock. By caller. the way, this caller feature is like my favorite part of the show now. I like it. It's yeah. nice. It's so cool. I do. Yeah, they're they're nice people that are calling in too. It's gonna have some interaction beyond the chat room, I think. All right, Carissa. Hello, Carissa. Oh my God, Ethan. Hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> what up? Hello. How are you? Hello. Um. Firstly, before I ask a question, it's my brother's birthday tomorrow, and he's a big fan of you, Ethan. What's Can his I name? get a happy birthday? What's his uh, name? Yeah. Dion. Dion. Dion happy Nelly. birthday, Dion. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. I don't know, son. Happy birthday to your you little guys. girl. Tell him God bless you. Are you from Australia, perchance? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I What am. time is it there? Cool. Uh, I'm late for work, but it's 9.30, but it's worth it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Tell your boss what alert. you were doing. Nah, yeah. This is more worth it. Nah. Um, uh, Ethan, I have a question for you. Okay. Um, how are you going since ela has gone? Do you have anything planned this week now that you're by yourself? Are you doing okay? <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me. It's rough. I'm not gonna lie. My life is a dumpster love fire. You, Thank you so much. I we love saw you too. It in his Appreciate eyes you. When we walked in. Mm-hmm. There was something gone. Oh, you could tell. You could well, tell. okay. Me and Ela, we've been married for four years, but we've been together for like ten plus years. Mm-hmm. 
And she, we've lived together continuously for like seven years from the moment she moved into in with me in Santa Cruz. And since that time, we have never been separated. Hmm. So it's pretty bizarre having her gone. Like, it's only been two days. I'm not going to lie. It's fucking rough. I am so dependent on her. It's kind of scary and fucked up. Do you need me and Jack to come cook for you? We're not I need, dude, you got any of those uh, Smithsonian sea slugs? Yeah. Oh, couple. I can make one <laughs> with my hand. <laughs> No, that doesn't work. That's not. No, nah, it's, it. it's the same. It's the I same did, thing, basically. <laughs> All right. Well, I can work with that. Just put some saran wrap on the. Use inside your imagination, and, dude. Come on. Yeah. Um, Come on. I. How is this different? It's. I can work with it. <laughs> uh, so but, what do you, how do you fill the hours? It's fucking weird. It's really weird. You know. It's. It's probably a good thing that like we, do it. But it's it's kind of just pathetic almost how dependent I am on her. Like I came to the studio today, I forgot the cameras. I had to go back to the house, I wasted a whole hour. Ah. I don't know. It's like you when you're in so intimate and you're so tied up with someone in your life, mm-hmm. they really are like a limb. Yeah. And and I feel like I'm missing a limb. It's very, you know, it's beautiful, but also it makes you very vulnerable. But that yeah, that's the beauty of it. Um I I, I can, it's, it, it, it's not quite the same, but, um, I can kind of relate when, um, Aaron has a, uh, a long day at work, you know, and she doesn't come back. <laughs> long day at work. I know. I she love is, it. So my fiance, for those who don't know, my fiance has an office job. I'm the YouTuber you who like, you know, sits at home and does my own shit. And, uh, my fiance, Aaron has an office job and like a nine to five, but sometimes, you know, she goes long hours right? and if she doesn't come home until like eight or nine, like... I don't know what to fucking do with myself. Or right. occasionally, occasionally she'll go on a business trip for a few nights. I don't know how, like, all of a sudden it's three in the morning and I don't know where the fucking time went. Right. I didn't have dinner or whatever because that's, that's my rock. She's my rock. Yeah. We like, we're, we're so used to like a limb. We're so used to doing stuff together. It's fucking weird when we're apart. Right. So I get, I can fucking relate to what you're going through, man. You ever seen this movie Stuck on You with um, Matt Damon I didn't and see, I Greg know Rutledge? I've seen trailers, yeah. And so it's about these Siamese twins. They're attached literally at the hip. Mm-hmm. And it ends, I'm going to spoil it. It's a fucking 30-year-old movie, but it's great. Yeah. Watch it. Yeah. They get. It ends when they get separated, and they have like this crazy separation anxiety. Oh. And um, yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Because she's like, my thoughts... My the way I communicate, the way I think, the way I spend my free time is so wrapped up in always having her with me. Yeah, that it's really, uh, it's really wild. You're a family unit. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. And that's really cool, though. I mean, like that's <laughs> two weeks. Man. That's a good. Honestly, that's a. Fuck. I hate to say it. That's a good problem to have. Yeah. Because you know? that's no. a beautiful thing. No, I'm very fortunate. And but but what you do is. You do stuff that you couldn't do with her. So, like, my, whatever, what, what that Masturbate. means. Masturbate. Fur- furiously. There's that. Hours, you know, well, hours, I do hours. that, you know, uh, yeah. uh, beyond. On Twitter. You go to, <laughs> you 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 go to sexual posts <laughs> yeah, right. on Twitter. Right. Sexual right. posts, right. Tech right. News, baby. With two L's. Jerk Hell off yeah. to some incest two L's, porn. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I was, I was going to say, you, you watch, like. <laughs> Cheers, by the way. Cheers yeah, to oh, Dick Groove. Hey. Woo! Sexual posts. Thank oh, you, by the way. Oh, this has been a good week, by the way. I oh, mean, for me. Dude, this has I been say, Eric's Christmas. This has been the best week of his Ted life. Ted Cruz is your god. Yeah, Ted well, Cruz and, got caught. Well, I just want to say off. thank you so much. I forgot your name, but thank you so much for the question. <laughs> Appreciate you so much. It was, god it was bless you. Carissa? Love you. Carissa. Carissa. Carissa explains mm. it all. Oh, you! Oh my God! You oh, that's it all. Close. Wow. I appreciate you. Wow! Cheers. Shout out to that demographic that gets it. <laughs> right, nineties kids only. Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Was that but, the boy? Was that the brother, Ferg? Ferguson. Ferg. Ferg. Uh, Whatever. I don't Ted Cruz jerked oh, off. Sam. Incest Sam point. was the guy who put the ladder up and fucking raped her at three a.m. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a weird her. special like the episode. Would play. <laughs> Several. Hey, well, that's how they got out of the sore. Sewer. Are you sorry? saying sore like I'm a sorry, cold what? sore or no, like, like a, a sewer? It's a, it's a kid banging each other. It joke. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, where were we? Where the uh, fuck were we? We're talking well, about. Okay, so Ted Cruz got caught Ted jerking Cruz. off the incest porn, and then yeah. fucking Shkreli. That's it. That's it. That's Mr. it. Mr. Shkreli, idiot. idiot, putting a bounty on <clears throat> what Hillary's hair. By the like way, a lock of her hair or something. <laughs> yeah. Yes, idiot. A lot of people I've seen them complaining like, oh, why would someone get thrown in prison for? 
making a joke. Well, okay, let's break this down. Yeah. So Scarelli was <laughs> out basically on the goodwill of this judge right. who set his bond at $5 million because he's a fucking convicted criminal. Mm-hmm. I'm not judging the guy. He was convicted in a court of law. He's a convicted criminal. That's the statement of fact. Right. Okay? Matter of law. It's a matter of Ma- law. Nice. Incidentally. Nice, nice. And so the dude is tweeting out, even in jest, it's a little alarming to be like, I will give $5,000 to anyone who can get me Hillary's hair. And he ended that statement with, by saying, not kidding. Not Right. Not joking. Not, yeah. And so I'm not, I, one way or the other, I'm not. You might I'm, want to leave that last part out, you know. Yeah. Not kidding. So I'm not saying one way or the other, you know, I'm not passing judgment. I'm only saying I understand where the judge was coming from because it only takes a couple of lunatics to be like, I'm going to grab, I'm going to get some of that of her hair. Uh And there's a lot of people who wish ill on Hillary Clinton. And again, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just stating facts. So I, I think it's within the realm of understanding that the judge would revoke his bond and say, you know what? I don't want you out on bond. I want you in prison because you're unfit. You're dangerous to society. That's what she said. I understand it. I'm not passing judgment on what she said. Uh, right. Uh-huh. Right. Right. His apology yeah. was dog shit. By I the didn't way. Hear what it. was his apology? I don't he, think I uh, heard. Well, it's obviously an apology that his lawyer wrote that he just signed on the bottom. Oh, one of those. Well, his lawyer sucks then. <coughs> Yeah, uh, well, I think they did the best with what they had, right. <laughs> which was him. Right. And that's not the best. Okay. He's, it was the best that uh, they had. Yeah. But well, he's, yeah. he's kind of a uh, a dick. Certainly. Yeah. I wish you could call in right now so we could ask he's him a bunch jail. of incriminating oh, fucking questions. Right? How serendipitous would that be? Yeah. Jesus Christ. By the way, I'm, I'm... He called in last yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, I know. I, uh, I'm sorry I went all Barbara Walters on him, by the way. That... <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. It just kind of <laughs> happened. But long story short, Merry Christmas, Eric. This is the best week you'll ever have. It's a good have. week. It's a really yeah. good week. This is a great way to end that week, too. I, yeah. I'm just hanging out with, with some of my best friends. We're eating pizza. We're getting drunk. There's a bunch what? of people watching who are going to post on the subreddit after, like, hey, you know what? I think uh, I hate Eric. At least you have a loving subreddit, man. Mm. That's, you know, good for you. Good for you. No, Eric. Okay, yeah. Well, you, both of you guys. But that's not true. Man, subreddits are great. Okay, we have one on standby. Jufro Ninja. Hey yo. Oh, Jufro Ninja, talk to me, baby. Hello, Ethan. How's hey. it going? Hey, how are you? All right. Uh, cool. First of all, I'm a huge fan. Been a Thanks. fan since Steak in the Boot. Oh, it's a damn Steak in the Boot. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> My question is, if uh, bringing it back to aliens. Here we go. Yeah. If uh, if all of history was erased except for 2017, and you guys had to preserve one thing from 2017 wow. to give to the aliens, what would it be? Wow! Holy smokes! Wow, we wow, got a, wow, wow, we got wow. a lot to chew on, dude. Fuck! Thanks for the question, man. That's Appreciate you. That's a great you. question. Fuck! Okay, okay, okay. One thing from <laughs> 2017. What? Okay, so now we got to go back. Ted January. Cruz looking at porn. Yeah, that's pretty great. Now that, that's yeah, pretty great. Yeah, but that that is just the most recent one. We got to think about all of 2017. I'm thinking what of like fa- yeah. what what happened. I'm I'm thinking of like Well, we had the Salt Bay meme. The what what? Salt Bay? Nah. 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 No. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just giving eh, Get eh, out, Eric. Eh, I'm just I'm just eh, cool throwing Salt out, Bay. Uh, Fuck off. Oh, aliens. This is all uh, uh, No. Uh, wait, fuck what you. what does that have to do with aliens, by the way? <laughs> you made you made it weird, Ethan. You made a fucking weird. What did weird... I do? He said aliens. Yeah, he, what, <laughs> what did I do? Hey, what was his name? I don't know. Clarissa. His name was Clarissa. Yeah. Jufro. That's yeah. what his name was. The fuck that have to do with uh, aliens? <laughs> what are you fucking Rick? How about how about the? I'm Morty. tired of that. How about just season three of Rick and <laughs> Morty? Fucking every time I burp, I would give that to the aliens. It's a good fucking show. Rick and Morty ruined Eric's whole shtick. I burped long before Rick and Morty was on television. Rick, Justin yeah. Roiland invented burping. Yeah. He sure Although, did. Justin sure Roiland did. also invented House of Cosby's, so... Uh, <laughs> Which you referenced a I lot. I like, fucking like... love that oh, so much. Yes, you do. When I, yes, you do. When I, was, I, I met he him... Got, I think he got threatened by Cosby. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and his response to it was goddamn brilliant. Yeah, what was his, his response? He, he, got, he made this whole show that was actually a, a, a good show. Right. About a guy who clones Bill Cosby, but he right. clones him too many times, and it sort of follows the rules of multiplicity, where each clone has their own quirk. Yeah. Um, and he got threatened by Bill Cosby's legal team. This is before Bill Cosby, we knew that he had raped right, 47 right, right. women. Um, they sent him a, a, a legal threat, 
And their response was to make like a way dumbed down version of the show. I think it was devoid of color even. I think it was just black and white. And it was just like the <laughs> stupidest version of the show that they had already made possible. <laughs> and like it, it looks like uh, like fan art almost of, of what they were making. And it, it just be, it turned into this fucking. Right? Can I can I ask you, Can I? this is going a little tangent, but I, I, I've always been curious. Um, how did you guys meet? How did you become friends? And, and I apologize oh, yeah. if this oh, yeah. is a topic a, of conversation because yeah. I have was, no clue. Yeah, it was really quite a funny thing. Um, <laughs> Psychic Pebbles, Zach. I don't know if you guys know him. Mm-hmm. Love him. So I was friends with him. In fact, I was working with him in New York on a project with John Tron and Psychic Pebbles. And it was right around mm-hmm. the time we posted our Fine Bros video. And apparently, Justin saw it and he really liked it. And he was friends with Zach at the time. Yeah. And I was sitting next to Zach. And Justin texted Zach. I was like, hey, do you know anything about H3, H3? And he's like, yeah, he's sitting right next to me. Huh. <laughs> it's just really weird. And so then, I don't know, you, he gave me, or he gave Justin my phone number. And we're like, hey, dude, nice to meet you. And <laughs> so funny. A- anyway, there's, I didn't talk to him for a long time. And then I moved to L.A. Yeah. And we're like, hey, let's hang out. And that was it. Jeez. We just started hanging out. No. He's one of them dope. normal dudes who also happens yes. to be an absolute comedic he's genius. Fucking he's genius. such a that's, normal dude. That's really so nice is. to hear. It's because the best like, that's thing you want. Like down to earth comedic geniuses are hard to find. <laughs> well, he also has like autistic. He's like slightly. He's extremely autistic. Okay. He has like autistic outbreaks. Like he'd be hanging out with him, be like, ah! M- "Mommy, put poop in my butt," or some shit like that. And I'm who like, doesn't? "I love you, Justin." Who doesn't? That makes, that makes me love him more. That honestly makes me love him more, man. I'm like, just yeah. he has like these these very endearing autistic outbreaks, uh-huh. which I love him for. He's a great guy. That's awesome. Okay, so so shout out Piss to fucking, come. shout out to Psychic Pebbles for like really making it possible. I'm not he gonna basically lie. invented the phrase "piss and cum buckets." <laughs> oh, I love that phrase. So that was from him. Yeah, I don't know that. that. Psychic okay. Pebbles is an interesting dude too. Yeah, he I is. yeah I miss that guy. I haven't seen him in a uh, in a while. He's uh, in L.A. He's doing great. Good for him. I, lo- yeah, I like his it. um his podcast a lot. It's it's just like when he yeah, makes it, yeah, yeah. his Oh well I wouldn't I mean I catch up on him. He makes like one a freaking three months, Zach. <clears throat> I'm pissed. Well he's a busy animator. Give him some fucking space. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can step it up, Zach. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's now a we're the friends. <laughs> Fake Let's go to his fucking subreddit. <laughs> Let's shit all over the Where's place. Where's Hellbenders? Yeah. Give me more Hellbenders. Anyway. I wasn't happy with the way that the blah 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 right, blah, right. blah blah blah. Sorry, we derailed so hardcore. I apologize. Yeah, my favorite moment of 2017 was uh, this right. podcast. Wow, way to remember. I yeah. I didn't even remember the uh, yeah. What was our what what did if if every other year was erased? And we only had 2017, mm. 2017 to go 2017. off of. Okay, okay, okay. Um, fuck. What what else happened in 2017? Uh, uh, uh. God damn it. Uh. Oh. Right. Not a great year for I took humanity. A shot and then I took a bite. I'm just Did you just like? Vodka. You missed all. No, you got only the cheese on I've that. I've been sipping my pizza in the shot glass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for reminding me that we still have shots to do. That's good. I just finished mine. Mm. Uh, cheers. So yeah, oh, cheers. what of 2017 we would we would send to aliens? What's like a decent YouTube video that what made would the we rounds send in 2017? To aliens? Right. Is that what the question was? I mean, yeah. history of the world. I didn't catch that by that guy, but I mean, like, eh, we could do better. I would definitely send Ted Cruz Jack and off the incest <laughs> porn. <laughs> There's got to be something better, but I can't think of anything. Isn't well, that depressing? It's that tough. like we can't boil down 2017 to like a decent meme I, or a decent anything yeah. beyond Ted Cruz Jack and off. I don't know what's happened in the year until the end of the year when exactly. CNN tells me what's happened in the year. Or YouTube you rewind. Have everyday bro? Uh-huh. No. Yeah. I don't want to give movie? That. Uh, the, yeah. Uh-huh. That's you. You can really that's, identify Yeah, that. that's my shtick, but... Eh. No. Yeah. We can do better. We can do better. <laughs> I don't know. What YouTuber really, like, blew up this year that, like... I, not that I want to give him a fucking YouTuber. I'm just trying to, like, go off... Like, I want to legit answer this question. I don't think I'm going to, but... Yeah, I mean, it's the Hennessy talking at this point. But well, this is this is the year of Donald Trump, isn't it? Yeah, it but is. But what's one moment you could crystallize? Exactly. There's there have been so many. And oh, Milo Yiannopoulos getting banned from Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> send that that's out on a spaceship. That's what you took away from 2017. I would go, hey, look, it's not all bad. <laughs> we got this fucking freak out of there. <laughs> oh, you're all right, Dan. Bring in the news. 
Let's wrap this fucking hellhole up. Oh my yeah. god, I love it. Speaking of sh- child orgies, right? Oh what a god. shit show. What a shit show. You are talking about the Joe Rogan? No, I just know that guy got fucked as a kid oh way too god. many times, and he's cool with it. Well, did he? Mm-hmm. That's he was smart. on the yeah. He was on Joe Rogan. He said that he about... was the predator going after the priest. Right, right. Learned to blow people from a young age. Oh, Milo. I thought you meant Joe Rogan. No, no. Joe, oh. Joe Rogan just grills elk meat. <laughs> he loves his But I, I did fame. hear about the Milo. Yeah, yeah. I heard, heard about that. Okay. News. His whole Instagram is Ranger, just uh, elk meat and fried it. eggs. Yeah, yeah. Here's what I cooked today. I wonder Jalapenos what, and elk. I wonder what Joe Rogan had for uh, lunch today. I bet you can find out. Yeah, it's probably... Um, what? I need the oh, uh, elk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got send in the nudes. Do you want some uh, lint? Lint oh, pubes? I got, I got my fix earlier. You got your fix? Okay. Oh, yeah. I snorted Good some man. in the yeah, bathroom. It was a fantastic. You did, I saw. Yeah. I, I boofed I really, that bottle and I, then took it back out. Is anyone else excited for Christmas as I am? Because Christmas is my favorite time of year. <laughs> Christmas just, can. I see this and I get real horny. That's I'm an just ornament. Really excited for you know, if Give you it guys a drilled into the top of Give that. Give it a sniff. Give it a sniff. I it, love it, your eagerness to smell. You put, see, the first time you were really hesitant. Well, I mean, I was also sober. It couple, just smells like a couple laundry. shots deep. You really get your nose in it's there. It's actually not that bad. I'll be honest. I, like, I, I don't know. It's so musty. It smells it like unwashed laundry for months. It it, yeah. it does, but it's like it's it, it doesn't smell like bo. You know what I mean? Like it, it's because he picks it out of oh, his belly button, so nice intense. and fresh. It's so it doesn't strong. stay in there long. You're really grossed out by that. It's smell? such a strong. Did you ever smell this, Dan? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! What a trooper! It's not as bad as. You Thank think. you. Really? It's not. I mean, it's let me not. Eat. It's bad. I'm I mean, gonna eat a little bit. That, that is definitely it's like bad. the strongest musk. Yeah. No. Oh man. Yeah. It really does smell it's like. It's not a good one. I can tell what cleaning products he uses. <laughs> really? That's the problem. What do you see? What do you he, smell? You can tell what he has for breakfast. He uses that day. Irish Spring soap. Right. No, I don't smell. I that. remember that shit. You're right. Hell yeah. I definitely Irish don't smell Spring that. soap. He wears Hanes. <laughs> oh, oh wow. give me the fucking jar comfort back. soft. Hey, MJ. <laughs> jar. I'm plugging this up. All right. Seal it oh, up. Boy. Seal the hatch. I'm putting this away. God. But I'm, I'm we were at this. eleven thousand viewers. I'm, I'm right. freezing this right. so that we can clone Skippy in a thousand years. Oh, that's important. And maybe he'll get laid. <laughs> <laughs> in a thousand years from now. You know, it. Wow. It, it get a prostitute, man. Fucking shit could be solved in the night. He's religious. Ah, whatever. Nah. Look at the church. <laughs> they fuck right? kids. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah. They fuck, fuck kids. Yeah, gotta God draw a line somewhere. Come on. All right, Dan. Help All right. Me. Uh, let's go here. We're going to see ourselves. Give me the yeah. news. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hey. Ayo. There's a, this nice, a one second delay, delay here. Ooh. One Ooh, second. This is Ooh, weird. I think it's one, yeah. It's like half a second off. Me likey. <laughs> we good, Ian? What the fuck? All right. Oh, Hit yeah. me up, big boys. <laughs> We're drunk. End this shit quick, Dan. Just all right, sit all right, all right, We, we got to go. finish this Hennessy. Uh, yeah, definitely. God hey, help uh, us if we actually finish let's, that Let's bottle. hit the bumper. Let's do this. Play it. I love Send news. in the news. Nobody noticed that I was trying to pour it with the Jake, cup, I wouldn't cap do that. Oh, I did. I love that Jake is the post for there. this clip of all time. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Close the fucking door, Ian. For Christ's sake. Ian, you're the best. <laughs> you're a toast to <laughs> Yes. Even more so than the other That's so what I'm saying. End it. All right, all right. All right, what the hell you got for us? out of the misery. All right, so welcome. Welcome, everyone, to the news. Um, so first up, uh, this one. This one's for Ethan, really. Oh, my God. Sort of tangentially related to, to his hero here. Um... We had a, a vote in the uh, House of Representatives last week on Wednesday about right. uh, self-driving cars. Okay. And kind of surprisingly to me, uh, they're completely for it. And we have now huh. nationally legalized self-driving cars. I guess it was on a state-by-state basis. Mm-hmm. Some states had legalized it. A lot of them hadn't. Uh, I think California is one of the few that was down with it, but on a very limited basis. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, in Congress, they have voted to cross the board, lessen the regulations, um, which is, like, a little scary. So, yeah. like yeah, gay yeah, marriage. Sure. Uh, yeah, it's a lot like gay marriage. Gay marriage, yeah. we did it. <laughs> Slippery slope. Trucks marrying Just like gay trucks. marriage. You yeah. start, cars start driving themselves, and next you know, people are fucking animals and marrying them. Next thing you know. Next right. story. <laughs> next story. Uh, <laughs> 
one little statistic in here, though, that I thought was interesting. Um, Dan's computer is black. It's black? That's what Ian said. He might be fucking with me, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, it, no, is that like an insult black to you? Black screen. Black screen. Yeah. All right, let's rejigger this. Nobody say anything. Just quiet. Just silence. It's going to work. Dead air. Dead, dead air. <laughs> this is called dead, <laughs> dead air. Well, guys, we just, we, I, I replugged it in. We got it? Ian, talk to me. Tell me. Talk to me, Ian. Please Ian! Play. Still no. Still no. That's what Ian says. Ian, I don't on, trust man. him. That's Killing what he right says. <laughs> the segment is this going is great. all gonna be left in. <laughs> 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 all no right. edits. Ian, I don't know what's going on. Dan. We're gonna just describe what's on the I mean, television. Do, uh, do I need to go out there and yeah, you crack should some go. skulls? Yeah, cra- right. go fuck those. All right. Kill Kill okay, okay. So <laughs> officially we've broken into the second bottle. <laughs> God damn! Yeah, woo! All right, man, it's happening. I fucking you guys are the fucking best. I got it. We have to make this like a monthly. Occasion. Say the word, buddy. Say the word. (laughs) We'll just follow PewDiePie. (laughs) Whatever he's doing. His journey. Yeah. You good, Ethan? His journey. I want the fucking news. All right, dude. All right, Dan. Get on with it. All right. Do do we start from scratch? I mean, that was kind of blown from before. Uh, But you already heard it. No intro. Just do it. I got a bunch of I got some other shit. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, (laughs) So. So we all live in LA, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, great. Get on with so, it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been hot as fuck uh, the last couple uh, weeks here, and it's terrible. Um, so the mayor of Los Angeles is going to do something about it. He's going to dab on the haters. He's going to dab on the sun. <laughs> there you go. Straight up dab on that sun. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck that sun. I love sun. that guy. Good for him. Uh, yeah. And that's uh, his official diagnosis. No, dab this, on the this sun. This is a real thing. Uh, Garcetti, Mayor Garcetti, he is sort of like a. Evil scientist, I guess. He's huh. weather manipulating. Uh-huh. Uh, LA's mayor wants to lower the city's temperature. How? Apparently, so they did this big study. Turns out there's like all of these simple things that you can do to actually just across the board <coughs> lower the ambient temperature of the city. Huh. The biggest thing is asphalt. So asphalt, huh. black asphalt absorbs a ton of energy. Yeah. And that heat is just kind of locked in and it radiates off. And when you multiply that across the Los Angeles area, which is fucking huge, it actually has a net effect like it, it's raising the temperature okay. by several wow. you know five to ten degrees basically so <coughs> they're going to repave the whole city with this new like special coating that will bounce all of the light off and they estimate just that alone will lower the temperature in the city by three to five degrees no shit yeah how fucking cool That's is that awesome yeah. and then there's other things too uh so they can put uh maybe you guys have seen this before they they've figured out how to put grass on Roofs. Roofs. I love that. Right. And so mm-hmm. same thing. That uh, Having grass up there instead of black shingles is going to absorb... It absorbs the heat. A huge amount of heat. Oh. Um, uh. Planting more trees. So he, he has actually set a goal that by, what is it, uh, in the next 20 years, he wants to lower the average temperature in the city of Los Angeles by 3 to 5 degrees. So it just that 100, 100 degree day will be a 95 degree day. Wow. wow. That, that adds up. Noble effort. Yeah. Yeah, noble effort. Do they yeah. account for asphalt heat when they do temperature readings on the news? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's actually pretty interesting. So, yeah, a traditional asphalt, it absorbs 90% of the sun's radiation, which is like, you know, 90% is a lot. Uh, yeah. Just to clarify, FYI, I, yeah, I know for all the yeah. for all the percentage out buffs there. out there. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have AC in my room, so uh, here, I definitely feel it. Here is a uh, here. Hold on a minute. Let's, but uh, Eric, it makes your video so bit. much better. I I'm a sweaty boy. The, uh, so this kind of demonstrates it. This is a, a picture oh, of some asphalt, um, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. in the background there, the the darker asphalt that is the asphalt that we all know and love. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is the new stuff that they want to put on right wow. here. And you can see in the infrared wow. reading yeah, yeah, yeah. what a difference that makes. That's, this cool. is almost 138 degrees Fahrenheit Versus right here. 96. Versus 96 Jesus. or below. Yeah. So, that's, yeah, that's huge. So they want to redo the entire city, which, you know, it, it's a sprawling city. I mean, we have a couple of highways in L.A. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A few. A, a few. few. Yeah. Jeez. I like the lay on for that. Y- yeah, you do. But now yeah. it'll be I've seen you do it. Lay it. on the highways? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. It's a good hobby. Hey. It's like a, a rush. I'll, I'll fucking bet it is, you weirdo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll bet, like, once we get to the age where we can't fry an egg on the asphalt, we'll have one. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> um, that's uh, Honestly, though, that is an ingenious solution yeah. to a problem that is inevitable. 
Like, let's let's face it. It's pretty it's impressive. Happening. Pretty impressive. He's like, dude, this is a 20 year plan. I need to be reelected 10 times. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Sure. Okay, so I'm he has okay something to gain. I love it. Like, he's he's got something to gain from it. Yeah. So, like, you have to think a lot that of people way. Do. I get the it. dude literally did dab on Jake Paul so hard that he can't <laughs> film yeah. in his own much house. Much respect for that. So much, much respect. The guy's got a good track record. Yeah, you took it to the top there with that one. I'm sorry. All right. So, okay, okay. All right, so next story, moving on. I got a couple a couple stories from Japan. So for all you we weeboos, weeaboos, weeaboos, yes. we- we- hell we-a-boos. yeah. Thank you. Um I'm more of a should be very exciting. Gaijin. Wow. Fucking uh, nerd. Uh, is that was does that mean white ghost? I actually don't know Gaijin. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the, white ghost means. I'm you're now. the fucking weeaboo right <laughs> now, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just right. saying. <laughs> what do we got? Um so you guys have uh, have you ever heard of CRISPR? I think yes, it, it's the you, you and thing I have ever, talked about. Yeah. yeah, so this is pretty interesting stuff. Um, so CRISPR is this. Uh, what is it? It, it? It's derived from a bacteria, a certain type of bacteria, and basically scientists have figured out a way to utilize it to, um, in a very targeted way, edit DNA. Mm. Wow. Um, and you know, this is still in development. They haven't really perfected it or anything, but they're getting closer and closer. <laughs> and the implications of that, as you can imagine, are pretty crazy. Right. Um, so. Scientists in Japan have just recently successfully been able to, on a cons- on a relatively consistent basis, they said uh, 75% uh, success rate for all you percentage buffs out there, hmm. which we know there there are many. A lot. Right. There are a lot. Um, but on a 75, with 75% accuracy, are able to change this uh, particular type of morning glory flower from white to purple. <coughs> huh. And so they yeah. can just... Huh. You had me at morning glory. It, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. So what you're saying is, in terms of uh, Twin Peaks, it is possible to have a blue rose. <laughs> it's a blue rose, Coop. It's a blue rose, Coop. <laughs> yes. In short. Exactly right. Yes, in short. And, and they'll be able to, to use it in the show on a consistent so, basis. That's amazing. 75% of the shots. So, will like, um, have you, blue can, rose. you can modify the genetics of a little baby. Yep, uh, a little, a little sapling, a little seed, if but you will. But a human being. Eventually. Well, that, that's kind so of the implication. Up to that's like what it's implication. going I towards. See, I see, I see. Is is you know. And so is this the new like Dolly the Sheep kind of shit, or like they're oh well, not Dolly, but I mean like they're trying. To, okay, so this is like baby steps. Uh, it's it's not really related liver. to cloning as much as it it's is more about uh, gene right, therapy. Right. Yeah, imagine curing got diseases. It. Right. Okay, so okay. Some, aging. So a couple is pregnant and they you know have the DNA tested of the embryo and they find out it's gonna have water. Brown eyes. Yeah. Or. Oh, or that, and they're like, something a lot more innocuous, brown eyes, right, 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 right. Well, that so that's where it I dips into race. like an unethical thing. Of I like, see. you know, I, oh, I want my baby designer babies, basically. I designer want, yeah. babies, blue eyes, big ass, ass hair, dick, right. yeah, big ass dick, huge, hung right. like a goddamn, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she's monster. gonna have a huge dick. She's um, gonna she's, be all fully. Can loaded. you give my all baby an adult dick? I'll I'll take my baby with all the options. I'll take all the upgrades. Yeah. Um and so him, so yeah. that's that's, that's cool. kind of like the morally gray area, but uh, sure, on sure. the flip side of that is, you know, you could have, uh, you know, you could have a baby that um, has some sort of genetic disorder that, you know, is going right. to cause a horrible life or a horrible pain. You go in there and literally splice out that little piece of DNA <laughs> that's incorrect and Jeez. correct it, and now you have a whole life ahead of you of <laughs> not having some kind of, of having a be- huge you know, giant cock. Palsy or, or <laughs> now let's say cock. I wanted a lobster hand, baby. Yep. Then you can make it. that happen. CRISPR can make your CRISPR, dreams a reality. Because I'm, I'm thinking in it. the future, and my YouTube channel is going to be Daddy O Lobster. Daddy O Two Claw. <laughs> Daddy O Two Claw. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, uh, and I'm going to throw him into a fucking dresser. It Quick. reminds me of uh, One Punch Man. <laughs> yes. Uh, to all my fucking pimps out there. <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you got, Dan? Uh, uh, quick, uh, quick update. Uh, a breaking news bulletin. Uh, oh, wow. Ga- Gaijin Ooh. means foreigner, apparently. Oh, okay. like well, in, I'm a derog- still that. in a derogatory sense. A yeah, stupid, yeah. a stupid you foreigner. Gaijin I'm still that gringo yeah. ass. So there that you go. actually, okay, okay, okay. In, in all of my um, negligence, was correct. Yeah, yes. that's right. <laughs> Which <laughs> fed into the negligence in the first place. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. Thing. What else we got? All right. So uh, also coming to you from Japan. Um, so Can recently, out in in the old uh, Japan here, uh, they had this outbreak of this yeah. um, disease that's spread by ticks, right? Gross. And it's uh, what is it called? Um, it has like a really crazy name here. the The abbreviation is SFTS. Okay, so S- SFTS. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, is this kind of uh, 
It's like a fever. It's kind of like hay fever yeah. or something. It has about a 30% death rate if you catch Ouch, it. Ouch, that's pretty rough. You know, and it, yeah. And it's just like a really By the way, fuck. it's yeah. been four and a half hours. <laughs> And you guys have been drinking the whole time. I, yeah. I started like say. ten minutes ago, and I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, when imagine I, us. So, when yeah. I go to the bar with these guys, it's four and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. Four and so, four and so wait, thirty percent death hours. rate. That's terrifying. Well, up to thirty percent. It depends to, on okay. in rural areas of China. Uh, okay, okay. And this is Still, a disease I don't like those odds. Yeah, no, it's not good, and no. um, it gives you low platelet count, uh, fever, vomiting, diarrhea. Well, let's basically get those out of this country. Build a damn wall. Well, yeah. Now we're talking. Keep them out. So <laughs> keep those damn ticks out. <laughs> Yo, lock that thing up. So check it out in uh, in the uh, Miyazaki uh, pre prefecture. I think it's prefecture. It's like their states, basically. Right. States. Miyazaki? I love his films. Miyazaki. 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 After the How, filmmaker, How's yeah, the Moving no, Castle, really absolutely. popular. Really. Damn, Jesus! Filmmaker. They really I, like I really that underestimated guy. that guy's uh, <laughs> feeling spirit that's like away. Their Smith or something like right. that. Yeah. But, oh, okay. Okay. well, yeah. I'm from Kevin Smith, Alabama. Right. Nice. Um, so uh, the officials in Miyazaki uh, held a news conference to, you know, warn everybody that this is a problem. Be on the lookout. And they brought um, two ticks to show to the audience: one dead and one alive. Um, and so they they went through going. they went through this whole <laughs> press conference talking about, you know, this is this is a serious thing, and you know, this is a deadly disease, and it can affect anybody, <coughs> and you know, this is a big problem. <coughs> After they get done explaining to the room all of that, they use a pair of tweezers and pick up the tick and drop it. Oh, fuck no. And it disappears. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was loaded with, like, oh, yeah. Ebola. <laughs> Bad stuff. And everything. Did they oh, clear out? Oh, my out? God. Well, apparently, uh, uh, everybody did freak out, but then every, like, all of the reporters, everybody, like, jumped into action. And they're, like, crawling around, and, like, everybody has, like, you know... Whoa. Their face to the floor, like where? Because it's a tick. Night, yeah, you know, like a tick. It's like nightmare. Almost microscopic. It's right. tiny. Oh right. my tiny god! Little motherfucker. It's like losing a contact lens. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. but way it's worse. Like... <laughs> yeah. But way yeah. worse. Yeah, way the, worse. The yeah. consequences are They're, yeah, a bit amplified. Yes, reach much farther. So, right. so they failed, and they eventually cleared out the room and just mass disinfected it. Just blasted the entire building. Yeah. Probably wow. too much like, of poison. That's somebody went home with a tick in their ass. Yeah, Let's be no. real. They yeah. San Francisco did. gone, and the country of Japan is fucked. And that's how basically. a new anime started. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this is the outbreak. Attack on Tickton. Uh, yeah. Oh. oh. Wow. We a boo. We a uh, boo. Just end this. We a uh, uh, boo. All right, I'm seriously, dude. I gotta end this. Are you done? I'm done. He's checked out. Yeah, we're done, uh, baby. It's been too long. Uh-huh. How many we more stories it. you got? Uh, a couple. Okay, so we can right, save we'll it for next it. time. Yeah. No, I mean, even after the charity uh, stream, <sighs> what do we have? You didn't by look this uh, toast. No, I'm fucking. Yeah. Dude, Yo, four we're and a half there. hours of straight. We are drunk as madness. shit. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm sober as fuck. I can talk about. You're oh, a cheers to that, you just baby. got back from Ireland. Yeah, yeah. I wish. No, I'm not. <laughs> you say um, hurricane. Let's... But I mean, is isn't this what a podcast is? You... Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Let's, what this are we is... at on the uh, charity? Oh, uh, let's check it out. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Great okay. question. Ethan. This is a great chance. Four. Two three four. Yeah. Two thirty four. We started at like two thirty two. I know, guys. Two That's grand. Do dumb. not want me to smoke skippies. <laughs> That's dog shit. Don't you want to see us smoke oh, this? Oh, oh, no, you mean, should congratulate. We gotta, we gotta, gotta raise donate the stakes. No, you're right. I'll, I'll I show you. my asshole you if will, it gets to two fifty. Our donations dick. are going down. <laughs> People are doing chargebacks. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll show you guys what, what my what, asshole what, what, looks did, like. Did you guys what? ever talk about the fact that this is in a jar of like amphetamine pills? Is it? I never looked at the actual. Stay person. awake no. during the meeting pills. Yikes. That's what it says. As in Yikes. stay woke. Is what that from the fifties? <laughs> it's literally called <laughs> saying stay awake during the meeting. Pills. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> what the I, fuck? Listen, and on we that did note, it. <laughs> I stayed awake during the meeting. Five-hour podcast, That's... bitch. Wow, USA, USA. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. As I said, thank you to my super troopers. Thank you to my dogs, Eric and Jack. Hey, I links sure to that. their channels are in the description. Dan, you did okay today. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I love you. It's all right. Ian, I love you. We didn't you. give you a chance, Dan. Sarah. I love you. All you guys are killing it. Um, Tuesday, we don't have a show. Tuesday, we <gasps> are. What the fuck? Basically, me and Dan are, we moved to a new house, so we're setting up the new studio We there. moved to a new house. Yeah. Not you. You're, yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> me and Eel, Dan is incidentally helping me. I am so trashed. 
Are, would you say would you say Dan is caring for you? In a sort, yeah. Anyway. Oh, he came over. He, thank oh, you. Shit. He came over yesterday and helped me took the garbage out. <laughs> that's a care. That's a care shit. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't even realize I'm the uh-huh. new care. Oh that's, man, that's he's my shit. temporary care. Don't worry, yeah. guys. We're gonna go over to Ethan's. We're gonna cook him a nice little pasta. Yeah, these guys yeah. take care yeah, of me. Yeah, we sure are. I got, I got some starve. salmon. Anyway. I got the perfect way to do crispy skin salmon. I love that crispy skin, just like I like my children. Crispy yeah. skin, mm, nice. gang banged in a, a sewer. In a sewer. In a I like, Stephen just King like book. I like my kids. <sighs> gang banged, banged in, in a, a sewer. sewer. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had as much fun as we did. Uh, we'll see you next Friday. There's no podcast on Tuesday. Thank you to our guests. We love you, Cooper Trooper Nation. Keep it strong. Keep it hot. Keep it spicy. This your boy signing out. Cut it.